chimbo chene chene Wete nero pare muka Wete nero pare makwa Aka binda pa nchimbo chene chene Wete nero pare muka Wete nero pare makwa Kuti ako mi we are over a casilla carry. I go upon a sa. Put it up, go be a samurai. We are over a casilla carry. I go upon a sa.
Yeah. 
people. Believers all over the world, every Zikla guide out there, it is a very good afternoon. And we want to thank God that we are continuing with our Sunday service, now enjoying the second segment. And I believe that everyone was blessed in the second segment. It was indeed a profound teaching that we got there from our dear pastor, Pastor Mzimba. We thank God for you, pastor, and we thank God for his word. We are so happy and uh, the grace of the Lord bestowed upon us. We will never be able to express how much we appreciate this grace to our Lord Jesus. Each time when I think of First John chapter 3, verse 1, it is, is something that I would always think, uh, what be was in... Yes, you can go. Behold, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Yes. Why did Apostle John say these words? What had the Lord done for him that necessitated him to bring out such a, a statement to say, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us? He looked at who he was. This is what I think, and this is what we think. Uh, I also think Zikla guides. He looked at me. He looked at this bastard this Gentile, this person who didn't have any God in life, this person who didn't know to live the godly life, and then to call him his son. What manner of love? Rudor wakadi rokaitwa nashi. Isuzu sagandi shamisa kutima apostora kutashike kutaura manzguaya. Aka zinzi kwa maari kuti, aka nga sina kufanira kuti, anzi mwana koma na wamari. The same with me. So I am so thankful to God this afternoon, and am I, I thank God for this. Thank you, Pastor. Greetings, Zikla guides. Greetings, the siblings of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you still know, believers, that the Lord Jesus is also our brother? Oh, yes. <laughs> he is our brother in himself. Yes. We talk about brothers in Christ. Yes. Yes. Christ is our brother. Yes. And we are the only people who know mm -hmm. that Christ is our brother. Oh, yes. Yes. And uh, it's a blessing to become a brother of Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we had not that capacity. Yes. Remember, we were not bona fide children. Yes. We, we are adopted children. Yes. yes. But the Holy Scripture in Hebrews chapter 2, from verse number 10 to 12, mm -hmm. is very clear. Yes. Yes. For it oh. became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Yes. For both ye sanctifieth, and they who are sanctified are all of one. Yes. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. Mm. For which cause mm -hmm. Christ mm. is not ashamed yes. to call us brothers. Mm. Could we find the NASB rendering to see if it replaced the word brothers with brethren, it didn't. Mm -hmm. It didn't. Uh, but the word brethren means brother. Yes. For which Christ, mm -hmm. for which cause, Christ is not ashamed yes. to call them brethren. Mm -hmm. yes. Which ones? The whole world, God forbid. Yes. The scripture is clear. Mm -hmm. Only those that he has sanctified. Yes. 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 Those who are sanctifying themselves <laughs> are not <laughs> brethren. For yes. both he that sanctifies yes. and they which are sanctified mm -hmm. yes. belong to one God. Yes. For what cause, for which cause, mm -hmm. he the sanctifier yes. 
is not ashamed mm -hmm. to call them brethren. Yes. So we are brothers of Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. And there is a scripture beyond Hebrews chapter 2, mm -hmm. which the apostle mm -hmm. alluded to, mm -hmm. where Christ had beforehand spoken about these brothers of him. Yes. Let's hear what he says in verse 12. Saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. He says, <laughs> I will declare your name to my brethren. Mm -hmm. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. Hallelujah. Yes. What a scripture now. Mm -hmm. Yes. The brethren of Christ are in the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are not in churches. Mm -mm. They are in the church. <laughs> yes. yes. In the midst of, of the, the church, church. Mm -hmm. will I sing praise unto okay. thee. Yes. The scripture that Paul was talking about, he was recording from Psalm 22, from verse 20 to 22. Deliver my soul from the sword. Yes. My darling from the power of the dog. Yes. Save me from the lion's mouth. Yes. For thou hast hid me from the horns of the unicorns. Yes. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. I will declare your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, will I praise thee? <laughs> <laughs> not congregation. <laughs> Pastor. <laughs> the scriptures are not really uh, ambiguous. Yes. They are always clear and certain. Yes. So those who claim the psalm was written about them, <laughs> were you the ones yeah. <laughs> who was going to declare your name mm -hmm. or your father's name mm -hmm. and your brethren. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. The owner of the congregation, mm -hmm. the scripture says, in the, the midst, midst yes. of the congregation, yes. mm -hmm. I will praise thee. Yes. So I don't want to preach, but mm -hmm. I am tempted to say something further. Mm -hmm. Let's highlight the phrase, in the midst of the congregation. Yes. In the midst of the congregation. Mm -hmm. So, the brethren of Christ mm -hmm. are not in the Methodist church. Oh, yes. yes. The brethren of Christ are not in the Anglican church. Mm -hmm. Because Christ cannot mingle with pedophiles. Yes. <laughs> and gays and lesbians. Mm -hmm. no. Which are now... Or, uh, 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 formally being married in these churches. Mm -hmm. Pope Francis has just recently announced mm -hmm. that it is his personal opinion that the Roman Catholic Church should legalize, mm -hmm. that the Roman Catholic priests mm -hmm. should uh, solemnize gay marriages. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I've just been looking at the letter that was written to the Roman Catholic Church mm -hmm. by the Nigerian Catholic bishops, right. mm -hmm. they distanced themselves mm -hmm. from the initiative of the Roman Pope. Pope. Mm -hmm. The Catholic bishops in Kenya also did the same. Mm -hmm. They wrote a very interesting letter. You may want to peruse it on the, on the internet. Mm -hmm. They said... The Kenyan diocese and the Nigerian diocese mm -hmm. of the Roman Catholic Church mm -hmm. does not subscribe right. to the legalization of gay marriages in the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. So the Roman Catholic Church is once again splitting mm. because of debauchery. Yes. Imagine hey. the so-called Holy Father, mm -hmm. yeah. His Holiness, <laughs> Pope Francis, the vicar. Ah, <laughs> the vicar of Christ. Yes. Uh, yeah. huh? mm. The so-called closest man to God mm -hmm. is legalizing something that the Bible has clearly mm -hmm. uh, frowned against. Yes. So the, 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 the Christ is not in the midst mm -hmm. of the Catholic congregation. No. no. Because you, he, he, he abhors wickedness. Yes. Not only are they practicing wicked mm -hmm. religion, mm -hmm. but they have no revelation yes. of the sound doctrine whatsoever. Mm -hmm. In the midst of the congregation, mm -hmm. the AFM congregation mm -hmm. does not have Christ at the center. No. 
the apostolic fighting mission <laughs> has politics <laughs> at the center of the congregation. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> The Java apostles mm. do not have Christ at the center of the congregation. Mm. Yes. They have Mgaja mm. at the center of the congregation. Yes. <laughs> huh? mm. UFIC mm -hmm. or the rebranded church is now called Imanu <laughs> Makandiwa. It does not have Christ ah, at the midst yeah. of the, con the congregation. <laughs> that, one. <laughs> that one has got a charlatan, a very tall, arrogant, pompous, proud, and empty, so empty headed charlatan. <laughs> yeah. Stealing money from people, and after that, he breaks about stolen money. Mm -hmm. A man who has never sought a job his entire life, mm -hmm. a man who failed the ordinary level. <laughs> He is now claiming to be the richest preacher in Zimbabwe. Mm. Of course, Christ is not in the midst of that bogus congregation. Yes. Christ is not in the midst of Magaya's congregation. Mm. It's, diff it's not difficult to tell. Yes. Just to yes. see yes. whose voice holds water mm -hmm. in that church. Mm. Yes. You realize that. They do not have Christ in the midst. Mm -hmm. The word Christ in the midst of the congregation, mm -hmm. it means he is the center of yes. the attraction. Yes. Huh? The, 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 the anchorage of the congregation is on him. Mm -hmm. huh? He is the center that holds in the congregation. Yes. And we can proudly say, Christ is in the midst of our congregation mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. our message is centered on Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. yes. Christ said, I will declare mm -hmm. your name, mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. to my brothers. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to tell God, mm -hmm. where will you do it from? <laughs> he said, I'll be the center of the church. Yes. I'll be the center of the congregation. Then the congregation. Yes. Congregation congregation New York didn't end the center of its attraction. Mm. Yeah. So only in Ziklag yes. is Christ the center of our attraction. Yes. Everything is centered on Christ mm. in the Mideast. Yes. of the congregation <laughs> I will praise you yes. Yes. it is not yes. difficult look yes. at our songs mm -hmm. yes. listen to our sermons yes. they are all centered on Christ mm -hmm. yeah. so we are justified mm -hmm. to say Christ is our brother yes. Yes. he said it we are not asking Christ mm -hmm. to become our brother mm -hmm. yes. he called us his brothers yes. he said I am not ashamed mm -hmm. yes to call you my brothers mm -hmm. on account of sanctification. Mm -hmm. Pastor, yeah. going to church does not make you a brother of Christ. No. Oh, yes. Buying expensive <laughs> uh, hymn books <laughs> and singing using expensive equipment mm -hmm. does not make you brothers of Christ. Yes. Look at verse 11 mm -hmm. of Hebrews chapter 2. Mm -hmm. For both he that it sanctifies and they which are sanctified mm -hmm. are all of one. one. For which reason, mm -hmm. in brackets, sanctification. Yes. Mm -hmm. He is not ashamed, ashamed. to call them yes. brethren. Yes. Mm -hmm. For which reason, paying mm -hmm. of tithes, no. <laughs> for which reason, erection of, of altars, no. God forbid. Sanctification. For which reason, mm -hmm. buying the man of God an expensive car, as a birthday gift, no. God forbid. Mm -hmm. Christ is not ashamed to call us brethren oh, yes. on account of him cleansing us yes. from wicked works. Yes. The Lord pruning you yes. from the things of sinfulness that you were used to mm -hmm. before the Lord found you. Yes. He is pruning you, yes. sanctifying you mm -hmm. from living a life of a prostitute mm -hmm. where you sleep with any man anytime you date a man you sleep with him yes. and in the meanwhile you walk around saying I'm a wife material I'm waiting for <laughs> God's time to give me a husband mm. God does not give husbands to prostitutes yes. you are not waiting for a husband mm. 
We are waiting for the next man willing to hire you mm. for sexual pleasures. Mm -hmm. You are not a woman. Yes. You are a market commodity. Mm -mm. You are selling your body for pizza, mm. for a nice watch and a nice, uh, a nice uh, dress. Yes. That's not a wife material. Mm. But when the Lord sanctifies you mm. from that life, mm -hmm. I used to sell my body. Mm. I used to make myself cheap. Mm -hmm. allowing every Jack and Jew to touch my body mm -hmm. when I'm not married. I do that no more. Mm -hmm. I'm now a child of God. Yes. I have been sanctified mm -hmm. by the gospel. Yes. For that reason now, yes. Christ is not yes. ashamed <laughs> to call you brethren. Yes. I used to steal from my employer. Mm -hmm. yes. I used to impregnate every girl that I meet in the street. Mm -hmm. I don't do that anymore. Yes. I am now a responsible man. Yes. I take care of my family. When I get money, I go home. Yes. I don't raise a family on stolen and corruption money. I use hard and money. I don't use ill-gotten wealth. Yes. For that reason, yes. he is not ashamed yes. to call you brethren. Amen. I used to be sent by politicians mm -hmm. to, to kill people, yes. to abduct people, to, 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 to hate them, yes. to beat them up. Yes. Some of them are on wheelchair right now. Mm -hmm. Some of them, they are suffering mm -hmm. from irretrievable trauma mm -hmm. because of I and my friends. Mm -hmm. But when the gospel found me, I walked away. Yes. I realized it is not godly mm. to be sent by politicians yes. to hate my fellow brothers and sisters Amen. for political reasons. Yes. If we have political arguments, mm. let's debate over them. Yes. Let's argue over them. Yes. Let's go on TV mm -hmm. and everyone share their ideas. Yes. The best men with the most uh, influential uh, 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 arguments, mm. the best men with the most reasonable arguments, mm. may he win the elections. Mm. Yes. It shouldn't go to the level where we kill each other to be elected into parliament. Mm. No, that's not civilization. Mm. That's not knowledge. Mm. That's not wisdom. Yes. That's not intelligence. Yes. That's not holiness. I walked away. Mm. Now I work for my family. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, my own small business. Mm. I wake up every morning to work hard and I bring food home. I pay fees for my children. Mm -hmm. I am now no longer a murderer. I yes. am no longer a state terror agent. Yes. I am no longer an agent of terror. Mm -hmm. I am no longer an assassin mm -hmm. sent to kill people mm -hmm. using state machinery. No. For that reason, yes. Christ is not ashamed to call, to call you brethren. Amen. 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 Sanctification. Mm. <laughs> not church uniform. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sanctification. Yes. Not receipts of church offerings. Yes. Sanctification. Yes. Not a position in the church. Sanctification. Sanctification. The Bible does not say for, for which reason. Mm -hmm. Huh? For both the, that they are elders and elders mm -hmm. are all of one. Sanctuary. For which reason the elders and deacons? <laughs> he is not ashamed to call elders and deacons yeah. brethren. No, 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 no. no. Sanctification. The church position is not what makes you his brethren. No. Yeah. Sanctification. Yeah. Amen. So we are brothers of Christ. Amen. On account of sanctification. sanctification. Yes. Yeah. When we hear us telling you the Lord does not want this, mm. the Lord does not approve of this. Yes. That's the sanctification. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Lord wants women mm. to be yes. pure at the point of their marriage. Yes. For that reason, he's, he's not, not ashamed, ashamed to call you <laughs> brethren. Amen. 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 The Lord does not want a man. Mm -hmm. To be seated at home mm -hmm. while the woman is working to feed the family. Mm -hmm. If you allow that, if you obey that, mm -hmm. for that reason, yes. the Lord ashamed. is not, not ashamed, ashamed to call you brethren. Amen. Yes. 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 Unogono to sanga ne muna ne mote ne madaga ije zvuka kuti ndikugezerewo unongobuda neka bucket ka kune ne sunlight liquid 
Nesma, nesma, mopu zako, nesma, clothes zako. Nesi polish woto pua dora. Muka zanto zika pamba pa, pa, pa kitchen wini dipaini love reaching. Kwa marwa na kupa mziku shanda, wote, ah, nda jibirika, jibirika, semunu emurume. Doba, zuno tangira ipa. Yes. For that reason, sanctification reason, Christ is not ashamed to call them Brethren, Brethren, those women who wear very beautiful outfits at church, but at home they do not honor their husbands. They claim that they are educated. Mm. Christ is ashamed to call them brethren. Mm. Yes. Some are now doing what they are calling separation. Mm. A small fight with the husband. The woman says, let's be separated. I want some time alone <laughs> to consider where my life is going. Mm. So they spend six months apart. Mm. The woman is staying alone in a flat. The husband is taking care of the children. Mm. The woman says, I need some time alone. And during that time alone, mm. she's sleeping with workmates at mm. work. Mm. She's going out for girls' night out mm. at resort areas and recreational areas. Yeah. and they are getting drunk, and they are spoiling themselves and defiling themselves with war mongers. Yes. And after six months, when she's done prostituting herself, mm -hmm. she says, I'm giving you last chance. <laughs> you should stop harassing me. You are emotionally abusing me. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> you are a prostitute. Yes. But yes. those are the women. Mm -hmm. separation kudaro. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Your civilization is going out of your end. Yes. A woman does not suggest that she wants to go away from her husband mm -hmm. to think about their marriage. If you want to think about your marriage, do so before you get married. Yes. Mm. Take enough time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And once you become somebody's wife, you stay in your husband's house. Yes. And there are men who are also doing that. Yes. Mm. They say to their wives, I am stressed. I want to be alone. So I'll be staying with my brother. I'll come back home after three months. You are a baby in a man's body. Yes. He was never supposed to get married. Mm. Mm. How can you be afraid of a woman until you, you move out of the house to stay with your brother? <laughs> Weeping during the night. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Your husband is a shame. It's a shame. And when he's not with his wife, yeah. he'll be sleeping around with every woman in town. Mm. Yes. And when, she, when he's done, he says to his wife, I'm coming back home. Mm. And you are bringing diseases yes. to a faithful yes. woman. Yes. That's not a man. Yes. You are not a man. You are a man. You are an imposter of a man. Mm. How can you lower your standards like that? Yes. But if you yeah. abandon all those things because of the gospel, yeah. because of sanctification, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. once you allow the Lord to sanctify you, yes. for the sanctification reason, mm -hmm. Jesus is not ashamed Amen. to call you brethren, Amen. brother. Yes. Christ is our older brother. Mm -hmm. yes. Remember Colossians uh, 2.18, mm -hmm. Colossians, Colossians 1.18. Mm -hmm. It says that he is the firstborn yes. from among the dead, mm -hmm. which means he is our elder brother yes. because he is the first one born to the New Testament. Amen. Mm -hmm. He was born into the New Testament a few months ago. Mm -hmm. So many other brothers were born, born before, before you. Yes. Timothy was born before you. Mm. Titus was born Amen. before you. Yes. Philemon yes. was born before you. Amen. Our dear Onismas. Mm. <laughs> Onismas was born before you. Yes. Tromphemus yes. was born before you. Yes. Tryphena and Tryphosa. Yes. Lois and Eunice yes. were born before you. Phoebe. Yes. Uh, you see now? Yes. 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 So, 
Even you dears and sinting, the trouble somewhere. We were born before you. Erastus, Erastus was born before you. Yes. Priscilla and Aquila were born before you. Yes. Yes. Priscilla, you said Epaphras. Yes. Epaphras was born before you. Yes. Mark was born before you. Yes. So, there are so many brothers who were born before you. You cannot be the firstborn now. No, you can't. Yes. Mm. Even Paul cannot be the firstborn. Oh, yes. Even Peter cannot be the firstborn. Mm. Christ is the firstborn. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when he calls us brothers, we are baby brothers. Mm. <laughs> so he, he plays jewel roles. Yes. On the other end is our Lord. Yes. On the other end is our brother. brother. Yes. It is not blasphemous mm -hmm. to say, Lord, brother Jesus, mm. help me. But the Christians who say who mock you, the Christians who take you to the hospital, to the psychiatric unit, they say he has lost his mind. Oh, yes. He has lost his mental balance. Mm. But of course they will do that. Yes. They are Christians. Yes. What can we do to Christians? <laughs> we can't help them. Yes. But yes. according to scripture, mm -hmm. Christ is our brother. Oh yes. Yes. And this is not the only scripture. Mm -hmm. By the way, we yes. don't form doctrine out of a single scripture. Yes. 829, mm -hmm. the book of Romans. Mm -hmm. 829, the book of Romans also says Christ is our brother. Yes. Jesu, Dr. Nishon and it. Jesu, Mkoma Wedu. Banaba banana amai. Ha? Bakoma na nevaskana. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 Amen. 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 Jesu mkoma wedu. Yes. Nekuti mga arisha haka tita vana. Yes. Iye wakanga gaza mwana wake mkoma na weda ngwe kare. Yes. Anga tita ereva zukuru. Iso haka tijara. James 1.18 is clear. Of his own will beget he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creation. Mm -hmm. So God beget us yes. using the word of truth. Mm -hmm. And Christ is the begotten son. Yes. So we are born the same way as Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Put the word beget in highlight. Yes. God beget us. Mm -hmm. God beget Christ. Yes. Are we not all sons of God? We, we are, are all sons of God. 829, mm -hmm. the book of Romans. For whom he did for no, yes. he also did predestinate yes. to be conformed to the image of his son. To be conformed to the image of his son. That he might be the firstborn. That the son might be the firstborn. Among men, brethren. Ah, <laughs> oh. is that not clear? Yes. It is very clear. Among yeah. many brothers. Yes. So Christ is only firstborn. Mm. Nice. But the family is of many children. Yes. Christ has many, many brothers. brothers. Yes. Many <laughs> brothers. Yes, all right. Romania, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
kuripo kutogoverwa mm. nekuti mutemo wa mwari mune the principle of the birthright oh, yes. so the first born holds the birthright mm. he delivers graces mm. according to his own will oh, yes. but we are his brethren mm -hmm. but don't forget what makes us brethren on account sanctification. of sanctification yes mm -hmm. And everyone who is resisting the teachings of sanctification, mm -hmm. he does not know that he is resisting brotherhood. Yes. <laughs> Pese ya message is sanctification. Yes. Ugura amba kutu ugezwe. Yes. Ugwe tu kwa mningi na wajeso. Yes. Ugura amba. <laughs> Muzua acha wea cha kutu wafana wangu wese huya. Iyo ndo ponda unusimu kakune. Yes. So it's going to go to the house. We're going to go to the house. Take a seven. We're going to go to the house. We're going to go to the house. Sit down. Only those that are clean are my brothers. And this is what he said in John chapter 15 verse 3. He said, now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Yes. Which means the sanctification mm -hmm. needs the word. Oh, yes. Without the word, mm -hmm. there is no sanctification. Kuto clean what's on. And and John 15 3 is exciting because it's not the apostles which said, now we are clean. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can just wake up one day feeling clean. <laughs> you wake up one day, you say, I declare myself clean. No. Go to Leviticus 13 and 14 yes. and learn about the law of leprosy. Yes. The leper does not declare himself clean. No. No. He needs the high priest. Yes. <laughs> uh, Pastor, yeah. is it not the job of the high priest it is the to high declare priest. the leper clean? Yes. Mm -hmm. huh? yes. Now you are clean, clean. Yes. through the word yes. which I have spoken unto you. Oh, yes. Which means the prophet's word mm -hmm. does not make you clean. No. Yes. The pope's word mm -hmm. does not make you clean. Yes. The pastors, the evangelists, the apostles' words mm -hmm. do not make you clean. Yes. It's the words yes. of Christ mm -hmm. that make, make you, you clean. clean. Yes. The only conditions under which you should listen to the pastor mm -hmm. is when he comes with the words of Christ. Oh, Amen. Yes. Yes. You understand? Yes. yes. Only the words of Christ yes. will cleanse you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when we speak to you, we look at you and we say, based on the word of God, mm -hmm. you are not yet clean. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't argue. Amen. Mm -hmm. You don't have the right to declare yourself clean. Mm -hmm. yes. Go and read John chapter 15, the yes. entire chapter. chapter. He didn't even ask them what they felt. Mm -mm. He said, Peter, do you feel clean? <laughs> James, do you feel clean? <laughs> Judas, how clean do you think, think you, you are? are. Mm. Mm. Judas would say, I was clean from my mother's womb. Mm. And the Lord would say, never mind. <laughs> it was a waste of time <laughs> talking to you about matters. You have no idea about. Yes. Now look at me, believer. The reason why it is only Christ mm -hmm who has the power and the prerogative to declare you clean. Mm -hmm. It is because he was coming from heaven. Mm -hmm. He knows the standards mm -hmm. that are upheld in heaven. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. Amen. So when he looks at us, he says, mm, no, mm -hmm. you are not yet ready. Yes. In your current state, my dear, mm -hmm. You are not even allowed to walk towards the gate of heaven. Mm -hmm. You are so dirty. Mm -hmm. So you can't declare yourself clean to enter heaven, which you have never been, mm -hmm. as if you are a shareholder in heaven. Mm -hmm. So the apostles could not have a contribution. Yes. Mm -hmm. clean. Mm -hmm. Chati nongo kumbira ni yuti rambaye mchiti tarira. Yes. Rambaye mchiti parizira. Mm -hmm. Pese pasi na kuru ramaishe. Di zore. Yes. Di gore gagu zora ambuka nesu vairoro. Mm -hmm. Di chinzi endai kwa maitira mabasa asaka rura. Mm -hmm. Wakanga vako kudenga jeso. 
achiziva kuti hakuna gwapa kana kunya na kana chipomerwa chidike zvakadi chinopinda saka ano takati tarisa so oti vanangu hamusati maita amen hausati vaibva manangu yes terra foot ziklag sound advice terra foot eh eh is is coming as a thief terra foot eh what is wrong with ruben you are not yet ready yes Don't argue. Yes. Don't argue with him. He knows the standards of cleanliness. Amen. So what we now have is we now have a pig calling another pig clean. Kungoita chipiani so makuseni na 7 ze Sunday. Watonzi nafata wava clean. Wa kutoimba tipe iwo tipe iwo. My Maria msande ndi makabereka Jesu mudangare why kubva katirwa kangoma kai kuduru 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 after one hour 20 minutes dismissed no mona visa band am bawa muromo wakazara masese what ndi manzi muri clean makuzenana aye aye Agusiriko kuna mata kwa tinofanyirwa kuita. Mm. Kutonzera magwaro mufunge. Yes. Mwaya muchena achitibatsira. Amen. Mm. Kuti tidzidze kuti kweyuko kuchena kunodiwa namwari. Mm. Yeah. Kunobva papi kuchitangira papi yeah. kuchishika papi. Amen. Kana mwara kati zvatiri kuita handizo. Mm. Kungoti amen kwa kutochinja. Amen. Zvinobatsire yes. kuzvi declare clean. Mm-hmm. Musuwa anosvika otand ndi kukuona mm. wakashiba zvisingaiti. Mm. Iro basa ne kudeclare clean risiri rako. Amen. Wakarembera ere pamchinji kwaiwe kuti declare munhu clean. Mhm. Basa ne kutaura kuti uya va clean uya hasi clean. Ndera akarembera pakauvhara. Amen. Ndiye anoziva tsvina isingadiwe kuna mwari. Mhm. Nda waigara ikoko. Yes. Waigara na mwari achiona mwari. Mhm. Anoziva kurura makuru ndiwa na mwari. Yes. Uno kuna kudzanya for five days. Uchipedza mtsanyo kutanga kufila o time clean. <laughs> Izito kuburitsira gwaro kuti Moses atsanya 40 days and 40 nights anga ari unclean. Iyo mm. kurunga shuga uchisa mvura inodziya manire gega onwa wa kufizuka nenzara. 7 days wa kutanza I feel powerful, I feel very clean. Moses did 40 days and 40 nights and the Bible called him unclean. Yes. Topo ono ndi kuinga ndi kutambisa ngo vana. 40 a 40 ndi lofani kuzvishitsa. Kana twenda kuna munhu anoshita twenda akararama. It's a lie. Abana. Abana. So the bottom line is sanctification. Amen. Is that who make, makes us his brethren. His brothers. brothers. Yes. Those who are resisting sanctification You are not his brothers. Yes. Don't claim something that you are not. <laughs> you can't be stubborn and a liar at the same time. Zvino mm-hmm. kuwandira. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dr. Jeremiah, can you welcome our believers into the service before we go into the admonition that shall precede our message of the day? Yes, greetings the beloved of God. Uh, we really thank God for today's service. Indeed, we should thank God for the teachings that we are having. We are being sanctified, brethren. Let's all listen, let's all learn, let's all make adjustments and correction because it is indeed to our benefit. It's so wonderful for the Lord to declare that we are his brethren if we really really are sanctified. But if we resist the teachings of the Lord, then it is very shameful unto us. He will be very ashamed to call us his brethren. And Amai Daitiro Zaganaga also to look at the aspect that in Psalm 22, 22, the word that was used there is congregation. And in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 12, then we have the word church. Mm-hmm. And he's saying in the midst of the church, in another Bible pattern, we see it in Hebrews 12, 22, mm-hmm. where he then explained what the church is. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. it's not possible. Yes. <laughs> it yes. is the church of God, uh, the New Testament church. We yes. thank God, am I? We yes. thank God, uh, Elder. 
<laughs> Perhaps I want to come in. I, I, just looking at it, how the Lord called even his disciples after resurrection. Yes. He said in Matthew 28, verse 10, Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid, go tell my brethren. Yes. That yes. they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Yes, he so, called them brothers. Yes. Go and tell my brothers. Yes. <laughs> it was after the resurrection. Yes. yes. You have now been officially adopted. Mm. Tell my brothers. Yes. <laughs> that I will go ahead of them. Yes. We shall meet in Galilee. Yes. Amen. Peter Agatons, Sans Nim Komoko. Sans Nim Komoko, Gatsanga Nim Galilee. Chona Gusanga Naguneta Masemon. How sermons emerge mm -hmm. to bring out the broader perspective of sound doctrine. Oh, yes. We were yes. teaching about the law of family duty. Mm. Yes. And, and we spoke about inheritance. Yes. Yes. And we said, without identifying mm. the order of the birthright, mm. yes. the family estate is in ruins. Yes. Yes. We need to know who is our firstborn. Mm. Because the scripture gives him the power mm -hmm. to inherit all oh, of the father's estate. Yes on behalf of the whole family. Yes. He will then di distribute yes. among his siblings. Mm -hmm. And we now see this understanding useful now yes. when we learn about the issue of Christ being the firstborn. Mm -hmm. Amen. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now he's giving an order. Yes. Go tell my brethren mm -hmm. yes. that they go into Galilee. Yes. yes. Because he's the firstborn, yes. he gives orders mm. to his siblings. Amen. Yes. respect. Yes. 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 Peter Gunungo to Fana again, Diana, and this infernal. She had to infana when he did. When you go over when you want to know me. Who knows, Jora say, you could do wounds in Fana. The moon only has a zero tea. What did you call Panyama? All right. Yes. But they understood the spiritual connotations. Oh, yes. He, he, was, he was before me. John said mm. he, the, he, he came before me, before he was before me. Yes. He's always ahead of all of us. Yes. Yes. He existed before, before existence he... existed. Oh, yes. 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 In, in, in our families, mm. he can take a fatherly role. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. Just mm. yes. like also see our Lord in John 20, verse 5. Yeah, he said the children. Children, children yeah. every minute. <laughs> yes. He called them children. Yes. But in Matthew 28, he called them brothers. brothers. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there is this also, uh, what we call spiritual expediency, mm -hmm. where people try to use cultural values, traditions of elders, to, to appear spiritual mm -hmm. in a, a voluntary humility way. Yeah. Right. Because when you are not used to the Lord speaking like this, mm -hmm. you, you start to feel like, is it not blasphemous? Kushan sawe direkutu wafana, mchipariza. Kana kutititi jeso mkoma, azizi za nyanya. Takajera kufuga mani kuchukura mzura Toti tenzi wedu Jesu Christu Mambo Jesu Tenzi Tocheme raimi Handiti Kutititi mkoma Jesu Nikaena zoti maakura sika Izo nikayoru kutora Yaka soda kwa kare kare No chikokia na che Eresi Ne chikokia na jezu hivi Ajo kuti nyika ino tukudi kangani wadia. Ajina kana maturo. Hanyi nga nani? Hanyi nga nani? Kana nyika ikateta 
mariro mm-hmm. atimbo kendenga mm-hmm. akuna mpenyu kunyika ofunge yes. paka favese apato yes. rinaka na mumwe chete mm-hmm. anga tudze pamusoro pezva mwari yes. kana mumwe chete hapana yes. Saka uchona ma journalist aka popota aka di mm-hmm. atimbo wana simba rekuvadaira mm-hmm. zvitu na zvese yes. ije zvimuka tomba 500 mm-hmm. anatofuga mafoot mm-hmm. oti maita basa munhu wamwari mm-hmm. ambobva mukuti wakarasika yes. ukampa marunonzwa kuti munhu wamwari ndo yes. saine kuti hapana mpenyu zvitu na zvese ati kendenge ofu <laughs> Kutanzi nyika ino tukudi mm. kana shungu hakuna mm. mpenyu kunyika hakuna watino chika hakuna mm. yes. mpenyu kunyika ukuti akataura tinonzwa hana dzidi kurova hakuna mm-hmm. yes. isutiso va penyu yes. tingatokudze kuti kurera kwa mwari kuno vapa kuchishika mm. kutogara pasi mm-hmm. tokuvhura magwaro tokurairai hazvina maturo zvenyika izvi yes. Saka zviri mumagwaro kuti Jesu mukoma wedu ndo yes. paino perera nyaya yacho yes. zvekuti we BP yako inokwira kushika kupi inwa mvura iserere yes. paino serera BP yako unoshika yes. futi takangomira ipapa amen Jesu mukoma wedu yes. we don't care how you feel about it amen the bible says Jesus is our brother amen. and that settles the matter yes. that settles the matter yes Uh, yes. what about my my husband which doesn't believe if she, if he hears me saying in in prayer brother jesus, jesus my bro- my husband may think that i'm losing my mind <laughs> why do you care when a madman calls you a madman <laughs> does that make sense to you <laughs> because anyone who resists god is a <laughs> madman yes. anyone who is away from god is <laughs> running mad yes There is no sanity outside God. Oh, yes. Mankind was designed only to thrive within God. Mm. Outside are homongers. Mm. Outside are scavengers. Yes. Outside are predators. Amen. We were designed to only thrive when we are in God. Yes. God is our ecosystem. Mm. God is our life. Yes. He designed men after his image mm. after his likeness so if those who are not in god mm-hmm. they call us madmen it's a sign that they are not getting better mm. yes mm-hmm. huh? <laughs> <laughs> so there is a joke that circulated some time ago a mm-hmm. uh, man lost his mind they took him to a mental institution mm-hmm. yes. The doctor was very confident that he had done some good work. Mm-hmm. So the doctor called his mother and said, "Your son is getting better. Mm-hmm. Please come. I think if he continues like this in the next couple of weeks, mm-hmm. he will come back home. Mm-hmm. We think he's now fit, mm-hmm. but we still want to monitor him for a week or two." Mm-hmm. So the woman came very excited. My mm-hmm. son is now in his right mind. Mm-hmm. So the woman said to his son, to a son do you recognize me mm. the boy smiled he said mm. ah yes mm. i recognize you <laughs> <laughs> then the woman said who am i mm. and the boy said you are a cow mm. <laughs> and the woman started to cry <laughs> <laughs> my son is not better <laughs> Murimombe hanzi kuna mai wake kana kuti azvifunge kuti mombe ndotaura so the woman told the doctor don't waste my time call me when you have something positive to share with me this boy is not yet better he has lost his mental balance amen So even when you are insulted by a madman mm-hmm. it is a folly to get angry. Oh yes. What yes. madmen and mad women say mm-hmm. should not offend anyone yeah, sure. who is in their right mind. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can't lose sleep mm-hmm. over the words of a madman. <laughs> Pastor. Amen. Uchidarika so onzuri muroi wemunhu. Nebenzi. Nebenzi. 
Ungatanze kujikare mandere. Akana. Kufikura kushika pilo ya tota. Ufonera sisi vaku sisi handi sikumborara. Eh. Panye rimwe benzi randasangana naro pa makoni. Randi tindiri muroi. Sisi vaku andotanga kuchema iwe. People don't take it to heart yes. the words of made men yes. and words of made women. Amen. Made men need sympathy and comfort. Yes, sure. If they are hungry, buy them something to eat. Yes. If they are naked, give them something to put on. Yes. That's the best you can. Amen. And pray to God, perhaps, mm. <laughs> in his good time, yes. he will restore their mental uh, health again. Yes. So this is uh, what I wanted to share with you concerning the issue that you can even pray, and in your prayer, you can call him brother. Mm. Yes. There's nothing wrong. Yes. And it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Kuna <laughs> 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 What you used to know about God mm -hmm. is what causes you to feel that it's inappropriate. Yes. Because once it's provided for in scripture and in doctrine, mm -hmm. how can you be ashamed to practice something that is authorized by God? Mm -hmm. Your shame is not godly. Yes. Your hesitation is not godly. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. So we need to also calm you down on that area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just think about it, saying, Brother Jesus, in prayer, everyone holds their mouth. And then after your prayer, they ask you, where did you get this teaching from? Mm. You open these scriptures. Mm. And after opening these scriptures, they say, thank you so much. We didn't know all yes. these years yes. that Jesus is our brother. brother. If we are sanctified, mm. thank you so much mm. for shedding this light. Yes. We were in darkness. Mm -hmm. Imagine. Then considering and asking yourself, what could have happened mm -hmm. if I had not decided to do this? Yes. Yes. I got an opportunity yes. to bring light yes. into mm -hmm. the hearts of people who are in darkness. Amen. Because I was not ashamed yes. of the gospel of Christ. Yes. I am not ashamed of the gospel yes. of Christ, yes. for it is the power of God unto salvation, salvation to ever
Pamaka atida Amuna kutipa zinora Makati paso kore upenyu Ise pamaka atida isu Amuna kutipa zinora Makati pa kutenda tinotenda Nasitiri kupembere rasi saruko Kupembere raru poneso Kupembere rasi saruko Semwa na kumaru Kupembere rasi
All right. Uh, we thank God for you believers, and we pray to God that we are all going to continue to worship God, to honor him as well, and also never to forget that if we are truly of God, then what gives us in that which causes us to thrive is always based on what is allowed and what has been instructed by God. Voluntary worship is what all these churches are doing. Mm. They sit down to decide how they want to worship God. They come up with their own doctrines and they then smuggle scriptures to justify a man-made doctrine. Yes. But what we want to do today now is to talk about the Basilai gesture. Uh, it's a very exciting scripture. I want us to start by reading Proverbs 19, verse 17. Proverbs 19, verse 17. Proverbs 19, verse 17. He that has pity upon the poor lended, lends unto the Lord, and right. that which he has given will he pay him again. Let's read the NASB version to understand in context. One who is gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his good deed. All right, let's go back to the King James Version. He that has pity upon the poor lends unto the Lord, and that which he has given will he pay him again. The NASB. One who is gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his good deed. Right. How many times did we read these chief scriptures over and over again? Twice, Twice right? Mm -hmm. yes. What have you seen so far, Pastor? Uh, if I may read again. Uh, uh, it will be the third time. <laughs> yes, the third you, time. You should not read the third time. <laughs> <laughs> Elder, if you, you want have to come pity in. on the poor. Yes. Yes. You it, are borrowing God. The Lord. Yes. yes. You have become God's borrower. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And it's no longer the poor responsible for paying back. It is God. Yes. yes. God will pay you back. Yes. Elder, is that what you have also observed? Yes, that is what I have also seen because it was saying, He that it pity upon the poor yes. lends unto the Lord. All right. Yes. For you to have pity in the first place. That seed had been sown into you by the Lord. You are now preaching out. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to just tell us what the scripture has said uh, so far. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, believers, maybe someone has picked up something. But the reason why we read the King James Version and the NASB twice over and over again, mm -hmm. yes. repeatedly like this, mm -hmm. My purpose was to show you how misinterpretation can take us into irrecoverable confusion. Yes. Mm -hmm. According to the King James Version rendering, mm -hmm. the Bible poor mm -hmm. is open-ended. Mm -hmm. Not only is it ambiguous, mm -hmm but it is giving unlimited access to this scripture. Mm. Because every time you meet anyone who is poor, mm. you are bound to apply Proverbs 1917. Mm. Is it a poor woman? Mm -hmm. The Bible doesn't say the poor. Mm -hmm. It says the poor woman. Mm -hmm. Is it a poor old man? Mm -hmm. Is it a poor child? Mm -hmm. Is it a poor community? Mm -hmm. Is it a poor school? Okay. If you give to the poor, mm -hmm. you are lending God. Mm -hmm. 
if you give to the poor, mm -hmm. it's a debt mm -hmm. against God's name. Mm -hmm. God will then make sure mm -hmm. he will pay you again. Mm -hmm. And this is the reason why we have a corporate social responsibility. Mm -hmm. yes. All right? Mm -hmm. Where we have um, companies donating to poor communities. And if we are a little bit more wiser than we were, and we are some of us, mm -hmm. you would realize that if proper governance policies were employed by a government authorities, mm -hmm. these communities that are poor would not have become poor if there is a rich company operating within that community. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So the money that this company is ostensibly donating to these poor communities mm -hmm. is the money that the company has taken from the same poor community. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Yes. So the company is making the community poor mm -hmm. and then do donating pittances <laughs> as a gesture of kindness. Uh, yeah. so that the community mm -hmm. does not see the marauding predatory practices mm -hmm. of this company yes. to wake up and demand mm -hmm. that the companies plow back to the communities they operate from. Mm -hmm. It should be a government policy. Yes. And then because the company has bribed the community mm -hmm. with these so-called donations, instead of these communities to demand mm -hmm they are now thankful and they are now pitied. Maita basa. Pache njimbo chekuti kampani inzi. Maria diri kupi. Kampani ya kunzi maita basa. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. It should be a government policy. For example... If I was a president of, any, of, of my country, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. I don't desire to be one, by the way. Mm -hmm. I've got a better job. Yes. Mm -hmm. That transcends beyond this physical life. Oh, yes. That yes. does not give election headaches. Mm -hmm. yes. I don't have to lie. Mm -hmm. I don't have to kill anyone to yes. preach. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I have a safe job. Yes. I can do my job honestly Amen. without needing to kill anyone. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I don't desire to be president. Mm -hmm. But theoretically speaking, if I was to become a president mm -hmm. of my country, and I'm told that there are lithium deposits mm -hmm. in Murewa, mm -hmm. there is granite in Mutoko, mm -hmm. and there are investors mm -hmm. who want to mine and to harvest our granite. Yes. yes. And there are villagers where the granite uh, rock is. Mm -hmm. The first thing I would do was to make sure that the government has a policy. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. 15% of your annual profits from this mine mm -hmm. does not come back to the government. Mm -hmm. yes. It must develop social infrastructure where you are. Yes. We need the schools in that area. Mm -hmm. We need the safe water in that area. Yes. We need electricity to the in that area. Mm -hmm. Is there a local council authority? Is mm -hmm. there a municipal authority? Mm -hmm. Let them use that money. We will audit them. Yes. We want to see proper roads there. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. For us to see children sitting on bricks mm. in a rural area where people are mining gold. Mm. It's not just cruelty on the part of the companies. Yes. It's recklessness on the part of the government. Yes. Yes. It's inexcusable. There's no justification. Yes. But mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
who control my investors. Mm. Investors work with existing law yes. and existing policies. Yes. If you are not a strong and accountable government, mm. they make use of those loopholes mm. and take your money home to their own countries yes. to build their countries mm. and leave you with empty big pits mm -hmm. which are going to become breeding mm. ground mm. for mm. malaria mm. Uh, 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 insects like, uh, mm. like mosquitoes. How can you evict a family mm. and not build them an alternative place yes. with enough infrastructure, enough roads, enough clinics, enough hospitals, mm. enough schools? And how can you evict someone from his fatherland mm. where there are family symmetries, yes. family graves? Mm. That's unheard of. For you to relocate graves, mm. you don't need a funeral home or a funeral company to do the burial. Mm -hmm. You need more than that. Mm -hmm. You need the family's consent, number one. Mm -hmm. You need the traditional leaders mm -hmm. to do cultural procedures mm -hmm. so that they may not be upheavals among families because of uh, instability of the family structure based on desecration of the resting place of those who have departed. Mm. God does not want graves to be tempered with. If there's any reason why graves should be excavated, there has to be even the involvement of the church. Yes. Because once human life is involved, mm. God is involved. Yes. yes. So we have to tell you what you can do and what you can't do. Mm. How can a Chinese man beat up people in his homeland. Mm -hmm. That's not possible. It's not mm -hmm. possible. People like me will never allow that to happen. The gatos of Fanda, which is six, and that don't need the five, my China. As you both are getting together, so it's one more at number just that one. Taka Fava Steric. Pano to view one of us, I'm going to do find you which is seven, you can wish eight. Mu China kuya mba pangu. Mm. Ne chikata pila itada wichera gold. Mm. Dofa na wenda. Mm. Ah, never. Mm. We shouldn't allow that to happen. Yes. Mm. But anyway, I wanted to talk about our misconception of the word the poor. Oh. Yes. Anyone who is poor can be given something by you. Mm. And that's, that's not something that the preacher can preach against. Kindness is a gift from God. Yes. And God requires all of us to be kind. Yes. When we meet people that are in need, yes. I am not a hard-hearted person. I'm also kind. I help whenever I see need and I'm capable. I have the capacity to help. Mm -hmm. I help. Whether it's a man who is suffering in the street, mm. it's my relative in the village, it's a member of our church with a need. We are required to be kind. Yes. We are required to love. We are required to take care of our own people. Mm -hmm. Because there is no one who has a guarantee of poverty. Mm -hmm. The person you may help today, tomorrow he may be in a, in a better situation than you. Yes. And he may also come back to help you when you are in need. Mm. So helping a needy person is not... Uh, casting your money away. Mm -hmm. It's very necessary. Mm -hmm. Anyone who does acts of kindness mm -hmm. is doing a good job. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. However, the scripture we are looking at right now on the screen mm -hmm. is not talking about pitting our poor people in the streets, in the villages, mm -hmm. in the townships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm in the markets. Mm -hmm. And this is why I continue to say King James, NASB, King James, mm -hmm. NASB. Because the NASB shedded more light mm -hmm. on which poor mm -hmm. is the scripture addressing. Yes. Verse 17, the NASB. One who is gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord and he will repay him for his good deed. You see now, Mm -hmm. Yes. Then NASB mm -hmm. 
expanded from the word the words the poor in the King James mm. and then said to a poor man mm. women are no longer involved mm -hmm. and many men are also disqualified mm. the scripture is not addressing the poor people of the world mm -hmm. the scripture is addressing a poor man mm. not the poor among men mm. A poor man. Shokori ni kutaura kuti ane itira tizi murombo murume ane urombo akwere te samngari. Ukawyo kati ndine murume wacha irewa takuto advertise au tukuta kamurume irewa they seven of fungo tindo irewa uyai paka mweta tu 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 murugunye pa mese kuaruraka ti a poor man. So the Bible is not talking about helping the poor, mm. which is commendable mm -hmm. and godly as well. Yes. Huh? Yes. But as far as doctrine is concerned, mm. yes. the stakes are higher. Right. One who is gracious to a poor man mm -hmm. lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his good. Mm. Now, I want to ask this question, what kind of a man is that mm -hmm. whom if we are to help, mm -hmm. God takes it as a debt? <laughs> <laughs> you are poor today, you mm -hmm. want people to help you, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But just ask yourself, what are your qualifications? Mm -hmm. That when any man helps you today, mm -hmm. that becomes a debt to God. So are you telling us that poverty is only your qualification? Urombo. Do your qualification yako chete? Kungo shai wabasa so. Chatu wa chukwere tukunamu. Kufunga wako shiri easy kudaro. Pastor. Ask your neighbor, could that be your only qualification? Could that be your only qualification? No. That's a problem. Could say that you have to pay money, yes, yes. Chat with your friend, you can't marry. Hong Kong, you can't marry. And in that area, what? So we don't want to spend a lot of time because it's an admonition. We are going into a sermon. Let's read. Second Corinthians chapter eight verse nine, mm -hmm. because the Bible says when we help the poor man, mm -hmm. it becomes a debt to God. Yes. Let's see what poor man mm -hmm. was God talking about. Yes. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. That though he was rich. Though Jesus was rich. Mm -hmm. Yet for your sakes he became poor. For our sakes Jesus became poor. That ye through his poverty might be rich. Huh? <laughs> yeah. You see now? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Jesus was not naturally mm -hmm. poor. Mm -hmm. Jesus was naturally rich. Yes. Mm -hmm. So based on this mm -hmm. richness of mm -hmm. his, mm -hmm. he made himself poor. poor. He became poor yes. for our sakes. Mm -hmm. This is the poor man mm -hmm. that we must be gracious to. Mm -hmm. And by that gracious uh, attitude, it becomes a debt yes. unto God. Yes. God says, Whoever does good to Christ in his time in poverty, mm -hmm. it's a debt to me. Mm -hmm. Why does God take it as a debt to him? Mm -hmm. It is because it is God who made him poor. Oh. So God says, I made this man poor, mm -hmm. and anyone who is kind to him in this poverty, mm -hmm. it's upon me. Hey. It's like you knock down someone with your car, it is now your duty to pay the hospital bills. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what God did. Yes. God made Jesus poor so that he might make us rich yes. through the poverty of Christ. Yes. And this is why we thank God yes. for the poverty of Christ. Amen. Because the poverty of Christ made us rich. Yes. 
But that poverty of Christ now mm -hmm. is a terrible time for Christ. Mm -hmm. Anyone who is kind to Christ mm -hmm. based on his poverty, mm -hmm. it's upon God. God will say, I, I, I'll, I'll do something about it. <laughs> it's my effort. It's my works. Mabasa yeah. mngari. Amen. Ekumita murombo. Mngari ndia akaita jeso murombo. Yes. Mngari akati jino aninga itira titi murombo wangu. Ini ndisha kuona honi kutu watu ndi kavira nya. Nya za ndaka tanga ini domene. Mashona. Yes. So the reason why it becomes a debt to God. Mm. Number one, it is God who made Christ poor. Mm. Number two, the person we are talking about was without fault. Yes. His poverty was not based on his ancestral wickedness. No. No. Ancestral laziness. Mm -hmm. no. Poverty inherited from his own parents mm -hmm. who did not have any education. Mm -hmm. They did not have any job. Yes. So they couldn't send him to school. That's why he's poor. No. Oh. So when we look at your poverty, in most cases, it's you and your generation to blame for your poverty. Yes. In most cases. Yes. Mm -hmm. People who are poor today, it's either it's them to blame mm -hmm. or their generation to blame. Mm -hmm. Someone messed up and you grew up with a messed up family mm -hmm. and you inherited this mess. Mm -hmm. Look at you. You say, I can't get a job. Things are tough. Mm -hmm. But what job can you actually do? Any job. <laughs> so you are not lacking jobs because jobs are scarce. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. What is scarce is not jobs. Mm -hmm. What is scarce, if you are to tell the truth, mm -hmm. is a skill. Mm -hmm. yes. If you were going to be honest to people, you are going to say, Mabasari kuneza, because mm -hmm. inche kuita andi go, andi chando gona. Shikundi mm -hmm. shai basa, kuta andina, chandino gona. Mm -hmm. But as it is with all sinners, they always shift the blame mm -hmm. to something else or someone else other than themselves. Yes. Yes. It is when you ask, what education do you have? That's when you realize this one has nothing that they can do. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. I want to show you that it's not true that when you are skilled, you can't get a job. Mm -hmm. Because there are certain things that even if companies are refusing to hire you, mm -hmm. but because you can do it, you can volunteer. Mm -hmm. And if you are good at what you are doing, Volunteering work or voluntary work mm -hmm. will create a job for you. Mm -hmm. Someone will look at you and say, but you are good at doing this. Mm -hmm. Are you busy? I want to employ you. Say, no, mm -hmm. I'm actually jobless, mm -hmm. but I'm volunteering. Yes. Can a nurse be jobless? No. Pastor, can a nurse be jobless? No. Can a carpenter be jobless? No. Can a mechanic be jobless? No. Can a builder be jobless? No. So why are you jobless? Lack of skill. Lack of skill mm -hmm. and lack of right skills. Yes. You abandoned technical jobs mm -hmm. because you wanted to wear a white collar for a white collar job. Mm -hmm. And now white collar jobs are scarce. Yes. These are my questions. Mm -hmm. Can a chef be jobless? No. no. Do you need a job to cook food and sell it in the streets? <laughs> you don't need a job. Yes. You understand? Yes. So, when we look at our own poor people, mm -hmm. most of them, it's either themselves mm -hmm. or their families to blame. Mm -hmm. Because before we talk about money, mm -hmm. we have to talk about a job. Mm -hmm. Because a job is what gives you money. Mm -hmm. That's why we're not talking about money. Mm -hmm. Kutimunu. Aningari Murombo, Arusha wa Mari. Ah ah. Mara number is sick as you are. Urombo, Kuskushawa Mari. Urombo, Kushawa means of production. Mm -hmm. To go to poverty is not lack of money. Mm -hmm. To go to poverty is lack of means of production. Mm -hmm. Once you have means of production, you have kicked poverty and chased it out of your, of your life. Mm -hmm. yeah.
Money is a reward. Mm -hmm. You can't be rewarded for doing nothing. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not talking about money. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about work. Yes. Money is what? Is a reward. Yes. Either you, you give someone a product, mm -hmm. they reward you with money. Mm -hmm. Or you offer a service, mm -hmm. they reward you with money. Mm -hmm. It's a simple a, 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 a science. Yes. Money is a science. You get it in exchange for something. Mm -hmm. So those who want you to have money should not talk to you about money. Mm -hmm. They should tell you about the reward concept. Yes. What can you be rewarded for? Pesa pa wano ngoji, marini kune tsakuwana ka, hausu kutawara kutu marini kune tsakuwana, unuku shai wa chinu, shiri rewardable. You can't identify something rewardable. Mm -hmm. huh? are, you, are you following? Yes. Those who say we are poor, life is difficult, I can't, money, money is not, I can't get money. Mm -hmm. The right language is, mm -hmm. I can't get something, I can't figure out something mm -hmm. rewardable. Mm -hmm. yes. And do you see how obnoxious it sounds? <laughs> because the first reward is a thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for what you have done. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me that in the entire world, you can't find something to do that someone can say thank you for? Is that a true, Elder? It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> After a thank you, then mm -hmm. comes the price. Yes. And I'm using the word thank you to be a symbol of appreciation. Oh, yes. There is no one who can pay you for anything mm -hmm. that they don't appreciate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before you get money, whatever the person is giving you this money for must be appreciated first. Mm -hmm. So what we are having today is our poverty is wrongly attributed to scarcity of money. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Mm -hmm. Until we graduate to a higher level, yes. the means of production, is there anything, my brother, is there anything, my sister, you can do that is worth rewarding? Mm -hmm. Is there anything you can do that is worth rewarding? You are sitting on your hands. You know nothing. When the teacher was lecturing in the, before the class, you were not paying attention. Mm -hmm. The teacher wanted to give you skill mm -hmm. by which you can do productive work. Yes. I am a lecturer. That's productive work. Yes. I am a lawyer. That's productive work. Mm -hmm. I am a medical professional. Mm -hmm. That's productive work. I am a banker. Mm -hmm. That's productive work. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Do something that is worth rewarding. Mm -hmm. Right now in Africa, we look down upon jobs like cleaners and security guards. Mm -hmm. But to go to Europe, mm -hmm. they have white security guards. Yes. Mm -hmm. White people are cleaners in Germany. White people are security guards in mm -hmm. Spain and in Italy. Mm -hmm. They get those jobs. Yes. Some of them, after the security work, they sit for two hours on the computer. Mm -hmm. They do some consultancy work as well. Mm -hmm. And they earn a living. Yes. Yes. The job industry is very regulated. Mm -hmm. They don't do that work for 12 hours like we see our guards doing. Mm -hmm. They work eight-hour shifts. Yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they take their jobs very seriously. Mm -hmm. They love their jobs. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they earn a decent salary. Mm -hmm. And they take care of their families. Mm -hmm. So it's not true that the poor people are because they don't have money. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. poverty described as absence of money. Mm -hmm. Poverty in God's mind is not absence of money. Mm -hmm. Poverty is absence of productive work. Yes. I'm describing poverty at a natural world level. Yes. I want to go, go appreciate when I'm moon. Saka, anyone who can give you money now because you don't have any productive work to do worth rewarding. Mm -hmm. Everyone who will give you money from, from the day you became an adult, they give you money on the basis of pity. Mm -hmm. Outside the reward mm -hmm. is pity. Yes. It's not a good thing. 
Saka poverty yako ino kura. Nekuti vanu vane tsitsi. Vashoma. Mm -hmm. Kwa zo ita kuti vanu vane tsitsi. Vachigona kubatila. Vashoma food. Mm -hmm. Because tika unga nza vane tsitsi. Ticha ita vangu vanoti. Ini tsitsi ndi nazo. Mm -hmm. Asa ndina chekuburitza tsitsi zo zonacho. Tino mm -hmm. tsitsi ze kutinu kuti. <laughs> Dai maona chiku jirasika. Mm -hmm. Kwa Nino kushuira yoro mburaka naka. Mm. Dozo konai. Mm. Munu uye ano torine tziti. Mm. Asa ana means ye kuexpressa tziti. Mm. Nenzira ye chini chino batika. Mm. Saka, unashika kupi uchirara maupenyu woku nzugiri wa tziti. Mm. Because God never designed anyone to survive on sympathy. Yes. Sympathy is not a means of production. Mm. There is not a single person on earth mm. whom God designed to live on mercy. Sympathy. Huh? Mm. I feel pity my sister. Take this $10. Mm. I sympathize with you, my sister. Mm. Take this $100. Mm. Right now you are surviving on money sent to you by your relatives which are overseas. Mm. Your relatives are not sending you money because they love you. They are sympathizing with you. Yes. There is no person who can love you enough to send you money every month mm. and yet you are not disabled. Even those among us which are disabled, mm. they still can figure out something yes. by which they can be productive. Mm -hmm. Paul Matavire was blind, mm -hmm. but he employed the people who had eyesight yes. in his music band. I but Ravan Paul Matavire Lanoona Iasingaone. Iwe unu awone sa po matavire. Mm -hmm. Waka mira parodi. Upe mamari. Mm -hmm. Saka mwaraka sika po matavire. Aka siya neri na mwaraka sika iwewe. Mm -hmm. Anditi wori bofu. Po matavire angari bofu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. You see now. Yes. So our poverty. Ourselves. Is not something that is spiritual in most cases. Mm -hmm. There are rare circumstances where spiritual reasons can cause you to be physically poor. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. But they are not the majority of cases. The majority of cases is your poverty is based on you and your family, your upbringing, your generation, your ancestry. Something went wrong and you became a family that is not organized. As you were growing, no one in your family explained it to you. Our son, our daughter, money is a reward. You need to do something to get money. Yes. You need to sell something to get money. Yes. Expecting money to come without following this law, it's called theft or prostitution. Mm -hmm. It's called crime. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you getting this, Pastor Elder? Yes. Expecting money yes. without following the reward principle. Yes. It's called crime. Yes. It's called sin. Yes. This is the only process that gives people money. Mm -hmm. So knowing this principle, God could not write Proverbs chapter um, 19. 19. Yes. And also we are going to read chapter 9, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. God could not write it to address our own people who mm. are poor because our own people who are poor, they are not in permanent poverty situations. Yes. One awakening will take them out of poverty. Yes. Your poverty is short-lived. Mm -hmm. Either you lack the correct upbringing mm -hmm. Or you lack the correct information yes. to come out of poverty. Anyone can come out of poverty yes. any day. And so if you can come out of your poverty any day, your poverty is temporary. That means this is scripture, the day you come out of poverty, becomes moot in your life. Mm -hmm. Doctrinally speaking, that is problematic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You understand? Yes. I hope this is clear, right? Yes. The poor man mm -hmm. should be pitied. Mm -hmm. And when we pity the poor man, mm -hmm. it's a debt unto God. Yes. yes.
Can we check the RSV or the ESV rendering of this scripture? As well as the amplified version, I would also want to look at uh, the, the NKJV. Mm -hmm. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord and he will repay him for his deed. I think this one is enough. Mm -hmm. it, is, it has replaced the word pity yes. with generous. Yes. I like that. Mm -hmm. It has replaced the word pity mm -hmm. with generous. Mm -hmm. This means it's 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 um it's now a, a transliteration and a further elaboration yes. simplification that makes the word pity mm -hmm. look like looks looks less like an emotional expression. Yes, but it is more mm -hmm. of a deed. Mm -hmm. So one can say, I pity you, Pastor Irengui, mm -hmm. God owes me. No, <laughs> it's not about emotions. It's about your act of it's, generosity. Yes. Yes. God was not talking about feeling uh, uh, empathetic mm -hmm. or sympathetic mm -hmm. to people's uh, deprivations. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. God was talking about expressing a generous uh, uh, act or gesture mm -hmm. yes. towards someone who is in need yes. that becomes a debt to the Lord, mm -hmm. which is God the Almighty. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at these things to show you that the scripture was never talking about our own poor people mm -hmm. because it, it brings within itself this interpretation, mm -hmm. a myriad of complications when we talk about the doctrinal structure. Yes. Number one, well, the scripture was not talking about every poor person. Mm -hmm. The NASB was clear. It is one poor man. Mm -hmm. And when this becomes one poor man, yes. we can't all equivocate into this scripture and say, we are claiming that the scripture applies to us. Number two, poverty cannot be the only qualification. Yes. This man should not only be poor. Mm -hmm. He should have something else yes. that is attractive to God. Mm -hmm. For God to say, based on these qualifications, mm -hmm. whoever does any good act on you, yes. I will be taking responsibility for settling those debts. Mm -hmm. yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. yes. And then, ap apart from your own poverty, you have nothing else good towards God. Mm -hmm. And that dis disqualifies you yes. from applying this scripture in your life. Mm -hmm. your, your poverty cannot be the only uh, qualification. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. You understand? Then yes. the last complication was applicability, tenure of application. Mm -hmm. For how long mm -hmm. shall this scripture apply in your life? Yes. If you win lotto tomorrow, mm -hmm. will this scripture, scripture. continue? <laughs> huh? Write a letter to God and say, Lord, we thank you. That bogus scripture no longer applies to me anymore. But least the room and people. You know, if you have money, you don't want people to call you poor. Yes. So once you are no longer poor, mm -hmm. you would do as much, much as you can, can to distance yourself from, from poor people. Poor. Yes. Mm -hmm. And by so doing, you are looking down upon the provisions of God. Mm -hmm. That cannot be the way God establishes doctrine. Yes. That no. this day it applies to you, tomorrow it doesn't apply to you. You hate it because it is now misrepresenting who you are. Mm. That's problematic. Yes. Pastor, can you see that? Yes, am I? Mm. We, we always say we, we do forensic analysis of scripture. <laughs> yes. I'm yes. seeing you're looking dead. <laughs> we are still analyzing the scripture <laughs> to show you that the scripture is not talking about the poor people of the world. Oh, yes, yes. am I? When you look at it, yes, you really know. I, I was thinking of that uh, charlatan who had opened a church, <laughs> and then when he won the lotto, he said, no. He was in Kenya. <laughs> yes, he won he a lotto, he, he closed his church. <laughs> he said, go home. <laughs> I have made my money. 
<laughs> I don't want to waste my time with this church issue. I'm no longer poor. But he did the right thing. He was lying to the people. Oh, yes. He shut down the franchise. He went back to his family. <laughs> I wonder what his elders and deacons said to him. They believed him. Yes. And they told them the truth. Mm. It was not said by God. Yeah. It was poverty. Poverty. <laughs> yes, in Africa, when you need quick money, you can start a church. Mm. Mm. Believers, <laughs> are you here? <laughs> Sagan Hoka Wabo, Wam God, you cannot watch one man so which is what post over. She don't go to Guaro. Sacasemon Yajer would do Tagarin Tazuana would have this three sutire. She said, I never pay for ten to be at the pizza. Only as a grand out of Zuire. Yes, you understand. Mm. Yes. So I, I see that. When you say anyone who borrows me, anyone who helps me, I'm poor. Mm. You are pro you are lending God. God will pay you, I promise you. Mm. And this is why every time you help a poor person, yes. they say, God bless you. <laughs> and and I find that problematic. Yes. I, I don't feel comfortable. Mm. Yes. This is why sometimes I send someone to help someone mm -hmm. without telling that someone that the money is coming from me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I try to distance myself. Mm -hmm. First of all, if you are not a believer, mm -hmm. you are not related to God. Mm -hmm. You don't know what God does mm -hmm. and you don't know what, goes, what causes God mm -hmm. to do what he does. Mm -hmm. As a sinner, you can't pray to God. The Bible forbids the sinners from praying to God. Mm -hmm. The scripture mm -hmm. is Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. The scripture is John 9, 31. Yes. Sinners cannot be heard mm -hmm. in their prayer to mm -hmm. God. Yes. So as a believer, it's a mockery for me to say amen <laughs> when a sinner says, God bless you. Mm -hmm. yes. It's also disobedient to God. Mm -hmm. I already know that God won't hear you. Mm -hmm. Why can I say amen to you? Yeah. Pastor. Yes. <laughs> yes. How can I say amen to you? Yeah, I can't say amen. Uh, yeah. Because I didn't say amen to you. I can't 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 say amen to you. She would demand it to Maracumbo, Gumbura, so God does not hear sinners. Yes. But when sinners receive charitable gifts, yes. acts of charity, yes. they say, God bless you. Mm. They are trying to apply Proverbs 19.17. Mm. But that's inappropriate. Yes. That scripture is not talking to our poor people. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Secondly, between me who has given you sugar, mm -hmm. And you who can't afford the sugar, mm -hmm. who needs God's <laughs> blessings more? <laughs> you who can't afford the sugar. <laughs> First, between yeah. me, yes. who can buy sugar yes. and bring it to you, mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. who embarrassingly can't feed your own children, yes. who needs God's <laughs> blessings more? It's me. <laughs> What gives you the audacity to dish out God's <laughs> blessings in that sorry state of yours? Because yeah. God bless you, kwa kuto gova kama rupa fazo. Imi ma kwa na eri, shamu sina kana ne sugar ese kuda iso. Ne ma mto mbori mi wachu, mto ti God bless you. Instead of saying God bless you, you should say God bless me. Yeah. It appears you need these blessings more, more than, than I do. Me. Yes. <laughs> But to Gadaro knows when he laughs, who's one person, she knows who one of our one of she could. But the truth is, before you bless, mm -hmm. you must understand the no, no, look at me, believers. I, I, I speak with a very bold approach, yes. 
Because when you want to treat people with a very serious epidemic, mm -hmm. you need to be aggressive to the epidemic, mm -hmm. yes. lest it kills more people. Yes. Whenever you hear me preach, there is nothing that I say that is not scriptural. Yes. This is why when I said God does not hear sinners, yes. I told you where it's written, yes. Isaiah 59, 1 and 2, mm -hmm. and John 9, 31. 31. Mm -hmm. For the sake of time, let's just read John 9, 31. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. God does not hear prayers of, of sinners. sinners. Yes. Yes. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Yes. But if any man be a worship of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. You see? So the Bible does not say, but if any man be poor mm -hmm. and begs, God will hear him. Mm -hmm. That you are a poor person who is begging mm -hmm. does not bring you closer to God. Yes. yes. Suddenly, because someone has given you a dollar or fifty dollars, mm. you are now blessing bless. people. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 7, verse 7 is clear mm -hmm. without any contradiction. The less yes. is blessed <laughs> oh, by the better. better. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I give you something that you don't have, mm -hmm. It is actually me who can bless you. Yes. You can't bless someone mm -hmm. who has something that you do not have. Yes. In that area. Yes. According to the law of blessing, he who blesses must be better than he who is blessed. Yes. So, but I'm just praying to God for him to bless you. The point is, why don't you pray to God for God to bless you first? Mm. If I, have, I had found you blessed already, mm. would you have been in this state you are in right now? Mm. Since you are an expert in praying to God, <laughs> that God should bless people. When are you going to pray for yourself that God may bless you? Yes. This is again a religious and a very corrosive yes. act of voluntary worship. Yes. And when people are desperate for God, mm -hmm. they go around dishing out gifts and money to poor people mm. simply to feel better yes. when a poor person says, God bless you. Yes. But the truth is, a poor person who is not a believer mm -hmm. cannot ask God to bless you. Yes. The principles of blessings mm. do not work like that. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. You don't know So those who do not want to work, Apostle Paul said, anyone who doesn't work, mm -hmm. let him not eat. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who learn how to say God bless you the most. Mm -hmm. They will send you seven paragraphs of a message. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you when you go out. God bless you when you come, come in. in. I pray that your children be blessed. I pray that witches and wizards, when they come into your house, you might disappear by the blood of Jesus. <laughs> and because you are also religious, you say, thank you. This one knows how to appreciate. And these people, they are being knowledgeable. Ah, one of them are very One of them are very Apa religious nonsense. Mm. Yeah. To show you that they don't care about God, send them a sermon. Mm. That's when you realize that when he said, God bless you, he was Never. joking. Yes. <laughs> he wants nothing, mm. absolutely nothing to do with God. Yes. It's just a pleasantry. Mm. It's just a couch. I go to Kapi, I want to go to God bless you. Mm. But we want to move away from that pastor. Do you understand this? Yes. As yes. believers, 
we must move away from that. Mm -hmm. Yes, believers can say, thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. May God bless you. Yes. They have a relationship with God. Yes. You understand? Yes. Because spiritually, you are at the same level. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So according to 2 Corinthians 8, 9, mm -hmm. the Bible says in clear mm -hmm. uh, language, yes. it is Jesus who became yes. poor. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that by his poverty, we you might become be rich. rich. Mm. All right. Last time, I discussed with some people that Jesus became poor is a very versatile matter mm -hmm. that until this day, Christians have no knowledge about mm -hmm. to understand what dimension of his life Yes. was poor. Mm. Because the word poor, it means without. Mm. Yes. The word poor, it means lacking. Mm. The word poor, it means under-resourced. Mm. The word poor, it means without ability yes. to do something. Yes. So when we say Jesus became poor, that we might become rich. Mm -hmm. Charlatans use this scripture to promise you wealth Mm -hmm. based on the death and resurrection of Jesus. Yes. You are going to become a millionaire. Mm -hmm. Jesus became poor so that you might become rich. Mm -hmm. I told you, not only is it a lie, mm -hmm. but it is a demonstration of an acute and degenerated mm -hmm. mental disorder. Mm -hmm. For someone to say, because of Jesus' poverty, mm -hmm. you are going to become a Mark Zuckerberg, or in Elon Musk <laughs> in terms of money. <laughs> you must be an idiot yourself to believe that as well. Mm. For the simple reason that you are not the first believer mm. in this gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. If that theology was true, mm. the first billionaires of God must be in the Bible. Oh, yes. Yes. They are supposed to be billionaires at Corinth, mm -hmm. billionaires at Philippi, yes. billionaires at Galatia, yes. billionaires in Rome. Yes. If all these people who believed in Jesus as recorded by the Bible mm -hmm. never became billionaires mm -hmm. because of this poverty of Jesus mm -hmm. recorded in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9, mm -hmm. it means the pastors are reading it wrongly. Yes. It's as simple yes. as that. Yes. We simply apply modest tolerance. Mm -hmm. We don't need to speak in tongues. <laughs> we test your theology yes. with the reality of Scripture. Amen. Why was Paul not a billionaire? Mm -hmm. Are you saying you believe in Jesus more than Paul did? Yeah. How many dead people have you raised this over? <laughs> None. <laughs> How many crippled people from birth have you raised from the Uche? Yes. How many churches have you established? Mm -hmm. How many books have you written about Christ mm. that God has rat ratified? Mm. Don't you see that your eyes have seen your ears? <laughs> Yeah. Now, based on this analogy alone, mm -hmm. we can throw this theology into the dustbin. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's waste time on those who are given to spiritual fraud that fraudsters are perpetrating by manipulating scriptures mm -hmm. to those that are lasting after worldly wealth. Yes. No one is ever going to be a billionaire based on the cross of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. That's not true. Jesus never said you are going to become rich in money mm -hmm. because I have died on the cross. The first billionaire should have been Peter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he was not a billionaire. Yes. Yes. So the theology is false. Yes. Let's thrash it mm -hmm. into the bin. Yes. Magandua is a fraudster, <laughs> and Magai is a fraudster. Angel is a fraudster. Yes. Pastor Chris is a fraudster. Yes. Mark Zou, uh, sorry, uh, Tudor G. Bismarck mm. is a fraudster. Yes. T.D. Jakes is a fraudster. Yes. Joyce Meyer is a fraudster. Yes. Uh, Creflo Dollar is a thief. Yes. <laughs> Benny Hinn is a serial thief. Yes. All these are fraudsters. Yes. Amen. They manipulate the scripture that you are going to become rich in money <laughs> because of Jesus' cross. Mm -hmm. It's not true. We have preached about this for the past 11 years. Yes, yes, yes. I just wanted to remind it, mm -hmm. to remind you of this one. Mm -hmm. uh, since we are at the scripture, mm -hmm. lest you think that we have changed our position <laughs> yes. since 2016. Mm -hmm. We haven't. Yes, yes. 
and we don't plan to change. Amen. At the at the talk here, we can have a box. More that you can have that Shake <laughs> 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 so let me spend another 10 minutes or so uh, showing you the versatility of this scripture, Second Corinthians 8 9. Even yourself today, you don't understand this scripture. And I will show you. The word poor, it means without, it means lacking. Yes. It also means unable mm -hmm. to do something. Yes. If you are poor, you don't have money, you are without money. Mm -hmm. yes. Because you are without money, you are unable to buy anything that you desire. Yes. Right now, you want to live in a better house. You can't mm -hmm. because you are poor, you mm -hmm. are without money. Yes. That's what the word poor means. Yes. But whoever then said Jesus was without money, was now adding to the scripture. Mm -hmm. yes. The scripture does not say Jesus was, was without money. No. No. It simply said he was without. Yes. Elder, read it again, verse 9. Mm. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, mm. yet for your sakes he became poor. Why? That ye through his poverty might be rich. You see, it is the charlatans who then edited this scripture and said, though Jesus was rich, he became poor in monetary terms, mm. that through through you, through his poverty in monetary terms, you might become rich in monetary terms. Mm. That's what this scripture means to Makandiwa. Mm -hmm. yes. But it's not true. Yes. It's not true. You understand? Yes. Before we say Jesus was poor without money, mm -hmm. we must tell you what Jesus needed to use that money for. <laughs> what did he need money for, which he lacked? Mm -hmm. According to scripture, he had a treasurer mm -hmm. who used to steal money. Yes. And he ne yet he never reported this theft to the police. Yes. No. How can you say that man is poor? According to scripture, mm. he rented a boat in Matthew chapter 14. Mm. Mm. According to scripture, he wanted to feed 5,000 people yes. with his own money. Yes. <laughs> the people, when they were asked to buy food yes. from his pocket, yes. Mm. Yes. they did not say, we don't have enough money. Mm -mm. They said the shops are too far away. Yes. <laughs> you understand? Yes. <laughs> So we are disqualifying the bogus interpretation mm -hmm. of 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. Yes. Mm -hmm. But what I will do is, I will show you the things that Jesus had, mm -hmm. which question his poverty. Yes. Because the word poor, it means without. Yes. Mm -hmm. How poor was Jesus when he was here on earth? Mm -hmm. John 7, 37. <laughs> We want to list four things that Jesus had yes. at the time of his life on yes. earth. Yes. And we are going to ask, can such a person with all these assets mm -hmm. be described as poor? Yes. Yes. In the last day. In the last day. That great day of the feast. It was the great day of the feast. Jesus stood and cried. Jesus stood and cried. Saying. Yes. If any man is thirsty. If any man is thirsty. Let him come unto me. Come to drink. me and I'll give you to drink. Yes. He that believes on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. According to this scripture. Mm -hmm. Jesus had the rivers of living water. <laughs> Verse 39, what living water was he talking about? But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. Yes. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given. Yes. Because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Now, the question is, 
He had the Holy Spirit mm. yeah. and he was offering Holy Spirit. Yeah. When he said anyone who is thirst, he simply meant anyone who doesn't have Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Come and I'll give you. Mm -hmm. yes. A man with Holy Spirit, number one. A man with the ability mm -hmm. to distribute Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because that ability we don't have. Mm -hmm. But he does have it. Yes. There is the scripture. Yes. Mm -hmm. How poor is this man? <laughs> um, yeah. huh? Matthew 11 28 mm -hmm. we are describing what Jesus owned that question is poverty Yes. how poor is such a man yes. who has the ability to distribute Holy Spirit to anyone who is thirsty <laughs> how poor is such a man come unto me <laughs> Yes. All ye that labor yes. and are heavy laden. Yes. And I will give you rest. Twenty-nine. Take my yoke upon you. Yes. And learn of me. Yes. For I am meek. You are meek. And lowly in heart. Yes. And you shall find rest unto your soul. You see? Mm. Yes. According to this scripture, mm. Jesus has a rest for the soul. Hey. Now, have we ever met a man with the capacity to rest your soul? The Bible says he was poor. <laughs> poor and yet able to distribute Holy Spirit. Yes. Poor and yet able to give rest to the soul. Yes. What kind of poverty is this? <laughs> huh? yeah. John chapter 6, 48. Four yes. things that Jesus had yes. in those poor days. Yes. I am that bread of life. I am that bread of life. Your yes. fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. Yes. This is the bread which comes down from heaven. Yes. That a man may eat thereof and not die. Jesus can give immortality. Mm -hmm. yes. At that point, yes. he says, I will raise you from the dead. Mm -hmm. Verse 52. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Yes. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. 54. Whoso eats my flesh and drinks my blood. He has eternal life. Yes. Yes. And I will raise him up at the last day. Jesus <laughs> offers eternal life. Yes. And Jesus offers the second mm -hmm. resurrection. Yes. <laughs> That poor man. <laughs> that poor man. <laughs> and the question is, yeah. what kind of poverty is, yes. is this? Mm. Yeah. Huh? Mm. The fourth that the fourth thing that Jesus had, mm -hmm. which also questions causes us to question his poverty. Utishe. Mamuri murumba atirambe. But isuzu tine urombo unoto shamisa kuti urombo wai. Kwa manga minao. Matthew chapter 14. Mm -hmm. huh? Yes. Matthew chapter 14. Eh, verse number 26. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea. They were troubled saying. The disciples were troubled saying what? It is a spirit. It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. What was Jesus doing? But straight away. Jesus, what was Jesus doing? He was walking, he was walking on, on water. Mm -hmm. How many of us have walked on water? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Huh? Uh, <laughs> yes. So they said, it can't be Jesus. Mm. It's a ghost. Mm. But straight away Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. It is I. Be it's, not afraid. It's, it's me. Mm -hmm. 
do not be afraid. Mm. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, if be, it is you, bid me come unt unto thee on the water. Yes. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Let's end there because of time. Mm -hmm. So we are asking, what manner of a man is he? Mm -hmm. Yes. That he is able mm -hmm. to, walk. to walk on water mm -hmm. and to give someone power to walk on water. Peter, Jesus is able to walk on water yes. and Jesus is able to give that power mm -hmm. to Peter yes. to also walk on water. Mm -hmm. How poor is this man? <laughs> Go and read uh, uh, Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, Jesus went about mm -hmm. doing good mm -hmm. and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, mm -hmm. for God was, was with, with him. him. Mm -hmm. The Bible does not say Jesus was healing some mm -hmm. that were oppressed by the devil. <laughs> the Bible says he was healing all oh. of them yes. mm -hmm. that were oppressed. How many of our men of God have gone into a hospital and healed all the sick people in one day? <laughs> if a man is able to heal all sick people mm -hmm. and God is with him, mm -hmm. how poor is that man? <laughs> That's the richest man. <laughs> That's what? That's the richest man. <laughs> He's rich, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> The buzz like gesture is the message, <laughs> yes. the admonition. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really amazing. Pastor, can you see that? Yes. yes. It's amazing to realize that. We don't understand scriptures. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. We say Jesus was poor and yet we never yeah. ask it. How In what poor? terms mm -hmm. was, he, was poor? he poor? Yes. In what terms was Jesus poor? Mm -hmm. As far as the power of God is concerned, our Lord was not poor. He wasn't. He raised Lazarus from the dead. Mm -hmm. yes. He healed all that were oppressed by the devil. Yes. Mm -hmm. That man cannot be poor. Mm -hmm. So what poverty mm -hmm. did he have? Mm -hmm. We go back to Proverbs 19:17 mm -hmm. and then cross another line yes. and say, Well, anyone who says, if I am poor, help me to in debt God and then compel him to pay you back at, at a future date. You have not yet thoroughly explored the connotations of this scripture. Mm -hmm. What kind of poverty mm -hmm. are you suffering from? Yes. Is it any kind of poverty? Mm -hmm. Well, in our present day world, when people are described as poor, mm -hmm. all that is recorded there all that amounts to is money. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. All that it amounts to is money. money. But do you know what Matthew chapter 2, verse number 9 to 12 says? Mm -hmm. What happened when the wise men came to worship our Lord on his birthday? Yes. Not first birthday, mm -mm. on the day he was, he was born, born. That yes. same year, that same month he mm. was born, yes. they came to him. Yes. For those who say poverty means lack of money. <laughs> I can prove that Jesus was not presented as a poverty stricken man no. yes. in monetary terms. Mm. Yes. God made sure we have evidence from the scriptures mm -hmm. that say Jesus was not poor in monetary terms. Yes. This is the scripture mm -hmm. concerning the wise men. Yes. Which came to see Jesus on his birth. When they had heard the king. They spoke to Herod, remember, and then Herod searched in the scriptures. And it was uh, established that the place of his birth was recorded in, in the scriptures to be Bethlehem. Yes. So they had to continue with their journey mm -hmm. to go to Bethlehem mm -hmm. to look for Jesus. Yes. The king which they were looking for, mm -hmm. they described Jesus as a king. Yes. Mm -hmm. They did not ask, where is the baby? <laughs> the Bible says the wise men were asking, where is the king? king. Yes. Oh, 
Yes. <laughs> Verse number one and two. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of when Judea. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, what happened? In the days of Herod the king. Yes. Behold, there came wise men from the east what, to Jerusalem. What did the wise men say? Saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? Yes. For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. So they were not looking for a baby. Mm -hmm. No. They were looking for, for a, a king. king. Yes. <laughs> and so their preparations mm -hmm. were not preparations to see a baby. No. They were preparing <laughs> to see a king. Yes. And yes. that settles uh, the argument. Yes. Amen. True. Amen. When people come to see a king, <laughs> that's not a poor man. That's not a poor man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But let's see how they arrived at Jesus. Yes. When they had had the king. They departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. Arunzi king, Andori a young child, a baby, a newborn baby. Yes. Verse 10. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. They started celebrating. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> we have arrived where the king was yes. born. Yes. We glorify yes. God for leading us here. Yes. Verse 11. And when they were come into the house, yes. they saw the young child with Mary, his mother. What did they do? And fell down. They fell down. And worshipped him. They worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures. They opened their coins. <laughs> their treasures. They opened their bond Zimbabwean notes. <laughs> their treasures. They opened the Zambian quachas. <laughs> their treasures. The South African rand. <laughs> their yeah. treasures. Yes. They presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense. And mirror. Other scriptures say precious minerals. Yes. yes. A man who has gold deposits hey. on the day of his birth yeah. cannot be described <laughs> as <laughs> poverty stricken. Kutango bata gori deso mai Maria. Muswa azaro. So to mai Maria wakanzo gomi ti jesa ngaga broka onra simno di shura. As I'm wearing my baguaro, Elder. Kushinu kuta se kuwearing my baguaro, Chi. Kurava zaganyo. Diana kapu wa gori demswa ka zaro ka paka di peyi me say. Huh? Jesus said, "Gold on the day of his birth." Yes. Go and read uh, John chapter twelve, mm. and ask whether mirror and frankincense are cheap yes. ointments. Mm. They are very expensive. That yes. even the disciples grumbled <laughs> when Jesus was anointed with these uh, yes. uh, spike nuts. Yes. Huh? Yes. But the day of his birth, they presented great mm. uh, amounts of mirror yes. and frankincense. Mm. Yes. All right? Yes. So Jesus was not poor in manger terms. No, he wasn't. <laughs> what does challenge <laughs> conclusion? <laughs> Yeah. Yato 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 argument. Yes. <laughs> Jesus was not poor in monetary terms yes. because they gave him gold yes. the day he was born. Yes. But what then does 2 Corinthians 8, 9 say? Because mm -hmm. we said the poor, the poor mm -hmm. man mentioned yes. in Proverbs 19, 17 mm -hmm. is Jesus. Yes. We are now inquiring how poor was he? Yes. Lest we are also confident in our own conceits <laughs> yes. to our own demise. Mm -hmm. yes. So we have proven also mm. that despite the attestation of his poverty in scripture, yes. there's also evidence of his wealth. Mm. Yes. He offered living waters. Yes. Yes. He offered resurrection. Yes. He offered eternal, eternal life. life. He walked on water. Mm. Yes. He raised the dead. Yes. The Bible said he healed all that were oppressed by the devil. Mm. Amen. That is a spiritual wealth, my dear. Yes. Yes. Such a man can never be described as poor <laughs> yes. by any standard. Amen. 
Muna anota ora kutukumba kwa bongo kune jimbo ze kugara. <laughs> Na utono vaka ije, jimbo kutora imese. <laughs> ah, kwenye kuzano shai wa muna kandara. Azikuwa. Zato nema. Do, sinja muka dae mchifuza vunu wa mwari. Yes. Amen. Amen. Pasona? Yes. Yeah. Right now when people want to store their money, mm -hmm. they are no longer keeping their deposits in bank accounts. Mm -hmm. They are now buying gold and storing gold into mm -hmm. their vaults, mm -hmm. into their treasury chests, yeah. mm -hmm. into their safes. Yes. Because gold does not lose value over time. Mm -hmm. yes. Money loses value because of inflation. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. So those who have money are poorer than Jesus on his birthday. Oh, yes. yes. Because those who have money today mm. will need to go to the market yes. to have gold, gold to store money mm -hmm. so that it can store and reserve its value. Yes. Yes. On the contrary, Jesus did not receive money. <laughs> they gave him pure money. Yes. A man with dollars and a man with gold. Yes. A man with dollars have an image of money. Yes. A man with gold has real money. Yes. Gold is more real than paper money. Yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Jesus had real gold. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the thing is not to understand what poverty mm -hmm. did he have? Mm -hmm. The answer, my dear, the answer, my dear, is in Philippians chapter 3, verse 21. Mm -hmm. That's where the answer is. But we'll start from verse 20. Yes. Look at me closely and let's follow each other closely. We have to pass through this. Yes. This uh, uh, digression yes. to go back to Proverbs 1970. Yes. <laughs> yes. For our conversation is in heaven. Our expectation mm -hmm. is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Why? From whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. We are expectant towards heaven because that's where Jesus Christ, our Savior, is. He will come from heaven mm -hmm. to receive us out of this world. Yes. So what shall happen, Paul? We shall change our vile body. Jesus, mm -hmm. when he comes, he will change our vile body. That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Yes. According to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. The poverty of our Lord mm -hmm. was not in his capability. Mm -hmm. The poverty of our Lord was in his nature. Yes. yes. It is the nature of Jesus yes. that made him mm. poor. Yes. Mm. He was given a vile, vile body, body. Yes. by God. Yes. Mm. Remember, we said the reason why God says I'm in debt, mm -hmm. each time anyone is kind towards Christ, yes. it is because it is God, God. Yes. who yes. made Jesus poor. Yes. You understand? Yes. So God is the one who gave Jesus a vile yes. body. Mm. It's Hebrews 10, 5 now. Yes, yes. It is Hebrews 10, 5. Yes. That tells us that <laughs> the body of our Jesus yes. was not given to him by Mary. Mm -hmm. It was given to him by God. Yes. yes. Wherefore, when he comes into the world, he says, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared. A body mm -hmm. hast God prepared, prepared Christ. Amen. So God, God gave Jesus a physical body, body. Yes. a mortal body. Yes. Number one, it dies. Mm -hmm. That's why it is vile. Yeah. Yes. It is not immortal. Mm -hmm. yes. It does not abide forever. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number two, it loses value over time. Yes. It grows old and it then gets rotten and buried in the ground. Yes. Number three, the vile body has spiritual limitations. Mm -hmm. yes. There are certain things you can't do with the vile body, yes. which yes. you can do without it. Mm -hmm. You can read 2 Corinthians chapter 5 mm -hmm. to understand the limitations of the vile body. Mm -hmm. You can read 2 Corinthians chapter 4 mm -hmm. from verse number 16 to the end mm -hmm. to understand the limitations of the vile body. Mm -hmm. yes. But John chapter 4 shows us the limitations of the body when our Lord was inside mm -hmm. that body. Yes. It's a very embarrassing moment mm -hmm. for our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. John chapter 4, verse number 3, 
to verse number 5. Yes. He left Judea and Jesus left Judea and he departed again into Galilee. He departed again into Galilee and he must need to go through Samaria. He, he, it was necessary for him to go through Samaria. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, yes. which is called Sychar, yes. near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Six. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus went he, to Samaria. Mm -hmm. There was Jacob's well there. Mm -hmm. Jesus therefore being wearied with his journey. Jesus, therefore, being tired yes. of his journey, yes. set thus on the well. He set on the well. And it was about the sixth hour. It was 12 noon. <laughs> huh? Yeah. The it. almighty God of heaven <laughs> was tired, was tired <laughs> of walking. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is very old body. Yes. <laughs> How vile can this body be? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It was an expression of poverty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Sese zinetika kumviri wangu kana waneta zvakaitika hokwari. Yes. Akato filo denda wana cold shower. Yes. Tambo geza. Denda wana mvura inotonhura ndanwa. Hapana ane mazowe ndi mbonwa. Yes. Philippians 2 5 to 8. Let this man Let, be in you yes. which was also in Christ Jesus who being in the form of God. Although he was God thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Yes. But made himself of no reputation. Made himself of no reputation. He's talking about his poverty. Yes. yes. And, and the, the poverty is described classically mm -hmm. in Philippians chapter 2. Yes. It, it is an emphasis on his nature. Mm -hmm. Yes. Made himself of mm -hmm. no reputation. What did he take? And it took upon him the form of a servant. And was made in the likeness of men. The word nature and the word form, it means the same thing. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. We can replace the word form in verse mm -hmm. 7 and say, and he, may, he took upon him the nature, nature of, of a servant. Yes. yes. And was made in the likeness of men. Yes. And the word nature is not my invention. Mm -hmm. You will find it as it is in Hebrews 2, verse number 18 to 20. Mm -hmm. The scriptures are there, my dear. Mm -hmm. We might not have money but we have the scriptures. Yeah. For in that he, he himself has suffered, being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Mm. Yes. 19. Oh, it was 2.19? No, it ends at 18. It ends in 18. Okay, mm. okay, okay. Mm. Verse 15. Verse, and deliver them who through fear of death, were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Yes. For verily he took not on him the nature yes. of angels. Yes, he took not the nature of angels. But he took on him the seed of Abraham. So the seed of Abraham is mm. nature. Yes. Yes. He took upon him the nature. nature. Yes, huh? of the seed of Abraham. The nature of Abraham. Mm. Yes. The nature of angels. Mm -hmm. If you are wondering... What exactly is the nature of angels? Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says when Jesus came here, mm -hmm. he did not come with the nature of angels. Yes. He took the nature of men. men. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you are wondering now, what is the difference mm -hmm. between the nature of men mm -hmm. and the nature of angels? Yes. The Bible is describing the nature of angels in verse 30 mm -hmm. of Matthew 22. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, for in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God, God in heaven. heaven. Yes. Yes. And concerning angels, mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 5 and 6 mm -hmm. and 7, yes. it takes us through the nature of angels. <laughs> yes. For unto the angels... So from, not... from, from Matthew 22, 30, yes. angels do not have biological processes in their body. Yes. 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 Angelic beings mm. have no biology in their bodies. Yes. Angelic beings have no chemistry in their bodies. Mm -hmm. Angelic beings have no physics in their bodies. Mm -hmm. Yes. They yeah. don't feel. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. They don't fall in love. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. They don't even feel pity. Yes. <laughs> we talked about it in yes. times past. Yes. Yes. But let's look further into the nature of angels. Yes. We are looking at the nature of angels to explore issues of capability. Amen. Because we opened John chapter 4 mm-hmm. and we were describing the capability limitations of our Lord yes. based on the vile body. Yes. He lived in, yes. which is a dimension of poverty mm-hmm. that God preached about yes. in a plethora of places in the scripture. Yes. Some of that we have already covered. In 2 Corinthians 8, 9, mm-hmm. Jesus was poor. Mm-hmm. And we looked at Proverbs 19, 17. We have to be compassionate towards him when yes. he is poor. Yes. But we wanted to know what poverty is it that we are talking about? Yes. So that we do not describe our Lord as a man who had no money, mm. yes. like what the charlatans are doing. <laughs> we have proven <laughs> that he had money. Yes. So let's look at the nature of angels. Proverbs 1 5. Hebrews, 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 Hebrews 1 5. I said chapter 2, verse 5. It's yes. chapter 1, verse 5. All right. Yes. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten so thee. So verse 5 is telling us that angels do not qualify mm-hmm. yes. to be called sons. Yes. yes. They, are yes. Yes. they are underqualified. Yes. And again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. Six and seven. And again when he brings in the first begotten into the world, yes. he says, and let all the angels of God worship him. With all their spirituality, yes. Yes. they are required to worship Jesus. Oh, yes. What is so special about angels and of that the Jesus angel. did not have mm-hmm. for those 33 years? Yeah. Yes. And of the angels, he said, of angels, concerning angels. Yes. Huh? Elder. Yes. Yes. Regarding angels. Yes. About angels. Yes. God said. Yes. Who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire? Angels are spirits. Mm-hmm. Yes. They are flames of fire. Yes. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, verse number 16 of Hebrews chapter 2, mm-hmm. it says... Our Lord Lord did did not not come with the nature of Mm -hmm. angels. Mm -hmm. It then has to be read in conjunction Mm -hmm. with Hebrews chapter 2, chapter 1, verse 7. Yes. Yes. Angels are spirits. Mm -hmm. They are flames of fire. Yes. Yes. Imagine the Jews Mm -hmm. crucifying a flame of fire. (laughs) Imagine a flame of fire riding a young one of a donkey entering into Jerusalem. Uh Imagine Mary giving birth to a flame of fire. (laughs) <laughs> amen, uh, amen, uh, amen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so he was, he was yes. poor. He was very poor. Ah, that would have been a tragedy. Mutomro we rego tolega. Imagine if the Jews had brought a flame of fire to Pilate. Pilate would run into his house and say, "God help me! Yeah. I don't want to die before my time." Yeah. Jews. Leave me alone. Yes. There was no mm. Jew actually mm. who was going to arrest a flame of fire oh, no. and take him to Caiaphas. <laughs> <laughs> Caiaphas would faint. Caiaphas, I'm going to fight. Put my Jude on a dura. One knows that I read me a moto and spend a moto and a para. <laughs> a, flame of fire. a pregnancy of a flame of fire. <laughs> yeah. So let's apply Hebrews chapter 1, verse 7, mm-hmm. upon John chapter 4, mm-hmm. verse 6, mm-hmm. which says Jesus, Jesus was tired. tired. <laughs> if he was mm-hmm. a flame, flame of fire, of fire. Yeah. was he going to get tired? Uh, no, <laughs> not at all. Not at all, right? Yes. That makes the matter concluded, right, Pastor? Yes, yes. The nature that our Lord took upon him had limitations. Yes. He needed to physically travel mm. from one place to another. Yes. He also got hungry. Yes. He also relied on Mary for his raising, for his upbringing, yes. for his nourishment, yes. for his nature. Yes. He breastfed, mm-hmm. he was breastfed, by Mary. Mm-hmm. 
kutora ramisi kwa ne munhu wakasika mm-hmm. nekuda kwe nature mm-hmm. yes. nature yacha tukutora ne zvayo mm-hmm. anga akaipiwa na mwari mm-hmm. saka mwari wakati mm-hmm. anozomitira <laughs> tsitsi mm-hmm. ari muurombo iwohu mm-hmm. chikwere tikwandiri mm-hmm. mwana wangu anonidzwisa tsitsi mm-hmm. wanaita mwanangu <laughs> ibogara patsime ra jacobo <laughs> umbofema <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Is it not exciting, Vasta? <laughs> Let's now read the mega scripture I was holding on to for all these hours or for all these minutes concerning the poverty of our Lord. Yes. Isaiah 53. Mm-hmm. There is no better scripture yes. in the Bible mm-hmm. that describes how Jesus, how poor Jesus was. Yes. Yeah. Than Isaiah 53. Yes. yes. <laughs> Who has received our report? Yes. And, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. Yes. And as a root out of a dry ground. Tell us more about Jesus. He has no form. No he has no form. <laughs> no is he not talking about nature? <laughs> Did about I not Jesus. tell you? <laughs> that when Philippians 2 says he took the, the form, form of a servant, of yes. he was talking about his the nature. nature. Yes. He mm-hmm. took the nature mm-hmm. of man, yes. according to verse 7 mm-hmm. of Philippians chapter 2. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now we are in Isaiah 53 verse mm-hmm. 2. Mm-hmm. Yes. The Isaiah prophet was clear. Yes. He goes straight mm-hmm. to the crux of the matter. Yes. I'm talking about the nature yes. of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yes. He does not have a good nature. Yes. What shall we do when we see him? And when we shall see him, yes. there is no beauty that we should desire him. Aha. Halala, <laughs> halala, <laughs> halala. Uh, yeah. Now, when we talk about beauty, are we describing your pocket or you are describing, we are describing your nature? It's your nature. nature. Mm. So is this a... a, 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 a <laughs> <laughs> a bogus interpretation of scripture. It's uh, not. No, yes. It's not. Verse 3. He is despised. He is despised. Mm. And rejected of men. Yes. Mm. A man of sorrows mm. and acquainted with grief. And so the grief of our Lord was the pain mm-hmm. of the life he had to live, mm-hmm. yes. knowing his spiritual capabilities, yes. but being contained in a body. Yes. Constricted in, in a, a body. body. Yes. You understand? Yes. There was so much he wanted to do, but he couldn't. Yes. Because of that body. Yes. But that was the price he should pay yes. for the redemption of his people. Yes. And what did we do with our faces? And we hid as it were our faces from him. Mm. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Verse 4. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Who smote him? Smitten of God. Of course, he was smitten by God. And afflicted. So this is where we can end from Isaiah chapter 53 Mm. to show you that all the things that happened to him, Mm. it was God's doing. And this is why Proverbs says, it's my debt, I will pay it. You see now? But let's go back. Please, let's let's remain in Isaiah 53 verse 4. Look at verse number 4 at the end. Mm -hmm. Smitten. Of yes. God, yes. afflicted. Mm-hmm. So to Jesus, mm. his body was an affliction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know where you are going to go. The flesh that he had, yes. he was living in, mm-hmm. was an affliction to him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A man of sorrows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He is a man of sorrows. Mm. All right. So this is what poor means in respect of Jesus. Mm. Yes. The nature. Mm -hmm. He came with a human nature. Yes. And this is what God wanted to redeem us out of. Mm -hmm. Remember, we started this nature inquisition. With the Philippians chapter 3, verse 21. Mm -hmm. Why exactly Mm -hmm. did he become this poor poor. in terms of his form, Mm -hmm. in brackets, in terms of his nature? Verse 20 says, for our conversation conversation is in heaven. From where Jesus Christ our Lord shall come. Verse number 21. 
Who shall change our vile bodies? He shall change mm. our vile body. The That's program yes. was to defeat the body. Yes. What can I do yes. to give these people a different capability? Yes. This body is an affliction upon our lives. Yes. All the sins we are battling with, they are in the body. Yes. You steal with your body. Yes. You lie with your body. Mm. You gossip with your body. Mm -hmm. You commit fornication with your body. body. You hate with your body. Mm -hmm. You imagine vain things with, with your, your body. body. Imagine one day mm -hmm. God redeeming you out of this body and giving you a glorious body. Mm -hmm. You understand? Amen. Yes. Apparently, Philippians 3.21 tells us that though Jesus wore a vile body mm -hmm. for 33 years, yes. he has a glorious body. Mm -hmm. By the way, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And those who want to know more mm -hmm. about the Lord's glorious body, mm -hmm. it's not the same body he had on earth. Yes. John spoke about it mm -hmm. in 1 John 3, verse number 2. Mm -hmm. John spoke about this body. Yes. Yes. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. Now we are sons of God. And it does not yet appear. We don't know what we shall be. What we shall be. Yes. But we know that. We know what. When he shall appear. When he shall come. We shall be like him. That was the plan. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want when I return mm -hmm. that I may change these people. Oh. That what I am, mm -hmm. they may be like that. Yes. So the spiritual capabilities of Christ. Mm -hmm are part of his spiritual nature. Mm. So instead of worrying and arguing and fighting with us mm -hmm. to have a spiritual capability, mm -hmm. he pledged to give us a spiritual nature. nature. Yes. Because our spiritual capability mm -hmm. depends on our spiritual nature, yes. Amen. which does not begin with us receiving a glorious body. Mm -hmm. It begins with us having a resurrection of the inner man. Yes. So in the case of Christ, he had left out his glorious body, mm -hmm. but he came with a spirit that was alive to God. Mm -hmm. This is why despite the hindrance, mm -hmm. despite the inconvenience of the vile body, yes. he still had the capacity mm -hmm. to yes. do certain spiritual body, yes. a spiritual activities, mm -hmm. so that when he tells us now, yes, to overcome sin mm. where we are still in the vile body. Yes. And we ask, how can we achieve okay. that mm. when we still have a sinful body? Mm -hmm. He says, if you are alive in your spirit, mm -hmm. you can manage the excesses of your body. Amen. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. So he had a spirit that was alive, yes. controlling a vile body. Yes. <laughs> and this is what he expects us to do yes. so that if we achieve that, yes. just like what happened to him, mm -hmm. we are going to receive as a crown yes. that spiritual glorious, glorious body. Amen. Well done, faithful servant. <laughs> yes. You have overcome the world yes. by a living and a glorious godly spirit yes. living in a vile body. Wakakunda ya mupenyu waigaramunyama Yakawora, <laughs> nyama isina simba, <laughs> nyama ine utera. Yes. Asu waka i kontrola, mm -hmm. uka i rove zera, Amen. i karara masesu no diwa mngara. Yes. Uka vunzote, shino gone kaire, mm -hmm. isho tindaka shuita 33 years. Yes. Dini template racho, yes. shino gone ka. Yes. And that he might present to himself a glorious a church. A glorious church, yes. yes. So you see the poverty of our Lord. Mm -hmm. It was in his nature. Mm. Yes. It was mm. in his nature. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. So understanding that the nature of Jesus is the element of his poverty mm -hmm. in those 33 years. Yes. We can now read 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9 mm -hmm. in the right perspective. Yes. For you know the that grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that though he was rich mm -hmm. in his nature, mm -hmm. yes. yet for your sakes mm -hmm. he became poor in his nature. Yes. Yes. That you Through who are his... poor in your nature <laughs> may become rich, rich in a new nature. Yes. That's yes. the correct understanding yes. of Second Corinthians chapter 8. 
verse 9. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Did you know that it would take us more than an hour <laughs> to clarify just this scripture? <laughs> <laughs> to raise all these questions <laughs> to show you that we are indeed yes. required to learn. Yes. Don't start a prosperity message. Mm. Receive your money <laughs> with this scripture. You are losing your mental balance. Yes. Calm down. Mm. Come to us. Yes. We can educate you yes. on these doctrinal matters. Amen. The Lord has given us such a grace. Amen. You don't have to argue with the provisions of God. Yes. Who is he that can fight with his maker? Mm. <laughs> Before we do another tete a tete, I want us to read it again. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 19, 17, some have forgotten. Mm -hmm. And we are going to read it to understand why we needed this to explore Basilai. Yes. We will not do uh, a part two of the Cyrus genealogy crisis. Mm -hmm. Let, we'll end this service with this <laughs> admonition. It is yes. sweeter than I expected. Yes. I am getting excited myself. Yes. <laughs> The poor man, yes. whom we must be gracious towards, mm -hmm. is Jesus mm -hmm. in his flesh days. Yes. That's the key word. Mm -hmm. In his days of the flesh. Yes. Yes. He that has pity upon the poor lends unto the Lord. And that which he has given will he pay him again. Yes. 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 So... We wanted to know which poor man, mm -hmm. please go to the NASB and then to the ESB. Mm -hmm. We want to remember that we are talking about Christ mm -hmm. in his earthly days. One yes. who is gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his good deed. Yes. Who, whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord. Whoever and, is generous to the poor. Mm -hmm. He borrows to he borrows God. And he will repay him for his deed. So Hebrews 5, 6, and 7 says, uh, as, he is, as he says also in another place, mm -hmm. thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Yes. Who in the days of oh, his yes. flesh, yes. when he had offered up prayers and supplications mm -hmm. with his strong crying and tears unto him, that was able to save him from death mm -hmm. and was heard in that he feared. Yes. So I want the first part in verse 7, which says, yeah. Who in, in the days, days of his, his flesh, flesh. Yes. Uh, he yes. offered prayers mm -hmm. and supplications. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is days of his flesh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which means there are those who know him before these days of his flesh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we are going to be required to learn about him after the days of his flesh. Yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I would want us to read 1 uh, Timothy 6, mm -hmm. because this scripture sounds very strong to me from verse 14. Mm -hmm. I would like to understand whether Paul mm -hmm. at some point transitioned the believers mm -hmm. to understand the the dichotomy that exists between the flesh days of our Lord mm -hmm. yes. and the glorious days of our Lord. Our Lord. Yes. Because these two uh, phases of his life are distinct one from another. Mm -hmm. yes. And the distinction mm -hmm. is of huge mm -hmm. proportions. Mm -hmm. yes. It's great, massive, mm -hmm. and it's something that is unavoidable mm -hmm. for those who want to grow in their spirituality. Yes. The days of his flesh are mad with his sorrow. Mm -hmm. yes. And when we, we, we learn the word sorrow from Isaiah 53, mm -hmm. we only focused on the pains of the cross. Mm -hmm. We did not understand that just staying in the body mm -hmm. was painful to him. Yes. Yes. Because according to scripture, it was an affliction. Mm -hmm. Yes. So because we have never taken another nature, mm -hmm. we don't know how, how painful, painful it is, is for him to take off the glorious body, mm -hmm. come into the earth, mm -hmm. take on a vile body, and live, and live for 33 years. Yeah. To us, it was normal. 
Anga ngo ri munhu isitiri vanhu vanhu chi zvinonetsa. Hausatwa bo buda munyama. Hausotwa bhonga ndiri hone ngirozi usina muviri dzichikunama ta ugere pachigaro. Uchikudzwa ngirozi chikanda corona pasi, makiru pachikanda corona pasi, ma elders kanda achikorona kanda corona pasi. Vopfuga mavoti muri muchene muri muchene. Sotwa bo zvona izvozvo. Musi wano ya uita munhu. Opinda futi mumunhu. Oita yeah. nine months ari makanyara. Maria achita makuwa ne mabhurura ake achinzi na mwana. Haudaire makuwa iwayo. Uri mwana remember usi mwari uri mwana. Mwana hadaira America na vachitaura ne mango vakadzi nao dze makuwa. Unozobuda time time. Iyo but nye dzaur dzora dzina mzoro dzodze dozizi. Siana nadzo nyenzi auna inadzo. O zvarwa o iswa munapkin. Handidi. Vanhu vatanga kuna matava akurara. Iyo kumkuti vanhu matava kurara vanhu rasikaire kurara kudiko zvine iko nekuna mbata zvekurara. Vanhu vatanga kana tanga kurara manje prayer ndo payakatokosha manje. Because varwe varozouya. Midnight prayers. Mami iyo kuti bata hazvina matwe zvichidaro. Mwaro kuti uchiri mucheche. Mucheche hataure remember. Chato so zidzira kutaura time time. Yes zvine zvya mamuka kuvhorara. ndaro <laughs> So the, the the matter is becoming more mm. a, a visible, right? Yes. We have presented it even in a more graphic manner mm. to show you yes. that the sorrows of our Lord mm. do not begin with his arrest yes. in the garden in the Kidron Valley. No. The sorrows of our Lord mm. begin with him yes. entering yes. into a vile body. Yes. That was painful. It was. It was an affliction. It was. Someone who is asthmatic feels better mm. than the way he felt himself. <laughs> yes. Someone who has been diagnosed of stage four cancer mm. has a better feeling yes. than the feeling of our Lord. Yeah. All right. Yes. You see now. Yes. So we want to read First Timothy six mm. to show you that this vile body mm. is mortal. The body that our Lord had. It's, it, we said the elements of being vile are, first of all, mortality. It's mm. a body that can die. Yes. It's a body that perishes. Mm. Yes. We have known this so many times. And we have cited first Corinthians, Second Corinthians 4, 16 to 18, mm -hmm. Second Corinthians 5, 1 to 11, mm -hmm. to show you the weaknesses of the vile body. body. Yes. But we could also add on First Corinthians 15, 50 and 51 yes. to show you that the other vile element of this body mm -hmm. was that it was placed bad yes. to heaven. Yes. Yes. God said, I don't yes, want to see it flesh. at any time in heaven. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. as long as our Lord mm -hmm. lived in that body, mm -hmm. he knew that he couldn't go to heaven. Yes. Because God had said he does not want to see that body in heaven. Mm -hmm. And these are the scriptures. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 15, 50, yes. as no, well as no. Second Corinthians 5, uh, mm -hmm. 6 and 8. We are going to read these ones to show you that Jesus knew that as long as he is in this body, he can't go to heaven. Mm -hmm. He couldn't even surprise God. Gabriel, <laughs> he knew also that I can't go to heaven yes. even for one minute mm. this body is banished from heaven yes. 1 Corinthians 15 50 mm. now this I say brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God neither doth corruption inherit in corruption mm. yes 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 mm. behold I show you a mystery 
we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In order for us to go to heaven, yes. we shall all need yes. to be changed. Yes. We can't go to heaven yes. with this body. Yes. Yes. Chapter 5, 2 Corinthians, verse 6 and 8. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. You have to be confident. As long as you remain in the body, you are guaranteed absent, absent from God, yes. from the Lord. Yes. Seven. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Eight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. You see, mm -hmm. so those who are fond of their bodies are mm -hmm. in trouble. Mm -hmm. Because it's a certain thing that one must be confident. Yes. yes. To be with the Lord, you have to be absent from, from the body. body. Yes. Mm -hmm. To be present in the body mm -hmm. is to be absent, absent. from the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord knew this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know uh, those who bury bodies mm -hmm. and as pastors and prophets. Mm. Sorry, then they say we are burying, we are they pray at a graveside. They mm -hmm. say, Lord, protect mm -hmm. this body <laughs> until the day of Christ. <laughs> Do you know that we are the only church yes. that knows that this body does not go to heaven? Yes. Oh, yes. We are the only yes. church. Yes, yes, we are the only yes. one. Yes. Pastor, did you know this when you were in the Method Methodist Church? No, not at all. Elder, did you know this when you were in the Baptist Church? <laughs> no, I did not. You actually thought that your bones shall rise again. Yes. And yes. you go to heaven yes. with your body. Yes. Look at the embarrassing <laughs> scripture there. <laughs> <laughs> huh? We are the only people yes. who know that this body is banished from heaven. Yes. God does not want to see this body. Yes. So when God gave this body to Jesus, mm -hmm. what was God saying to Jesus? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he was making him poor. He but was what was he saying? He was bad to come back to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> he are not going to live with me as long as... The Lord said, don't come back. <laughs> don't never come back yes. until your work is finished. Yes. And so the finishing of his work mm -hmm. is at the cross. Yes. This is why he pronounced, it is finished. <laughs> he was heaving and breathing a great sigh. Hey. <sighs> Finally, hey. I'm going to come out of this vile body yes. and never <laughs> to come back. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine you a size seven shoe yes. when you are a size nine. A size ten. <laughs> a size nine is a better situation. You it will be a burden, but there's no pain. Yes. Imagine a size ten foot yes. entering into a size six shoe. <laughs> On for the square years. Or for 33 years. <laughs> the foot is bigger than the shoe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. First Corinthians six fourteen. Yes. <laughs> First Timothy, sorry. Okay. First Timothy six fourteen. Yes. That thou keep this commandment without sport. Yes. And rebukeable unto the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Fifteen. Which in his times he shall show who is the blessed and only potentate the King of kings and the lords of lords. What more do you say about this Jesus, who is the only blessed? Huh? Who, who only has immortality, yes. dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto. Who only mm -hmm. has immortality, immortality, who also dwells in a light mm -hmm. which no man, no man can approach unto. Mm -hmm. Whom no man has seen. No man has seen him. Nor can see to whom be honor and the power everlasting. Amen. Now, I, I want us to pause. <laughs> yeah. How many people have seen Jesus? Mm. No, no man can see. <laughs> there is a word decay, yes. which is a connotation of possibility. Yes. And then there is a word death, yes. which, which is a connotation of past events, yes. which simply means no, no man, man has ever seen him. him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Was he talking about God? 
he was talking about Jesus. And yet he says, no man has ever seen him. No. So who was with Peter for three years? <laughs> Tell me, whom did the Jews <laughs> crucify? <laughs> this is why I said, yes. I find this scripture to mm. be so hideous because you want to understand mm. how does Paul throw such a heavy scripture mm. on such a seemingly average matter that he was discussing. Mm. The Jews and the poor men. Huh? <laughs> Paul says no, no man, man has seen, seen Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yes. No, man can. Yes. no man can see Jesus. Yes. And yet we have men of Israel yes. who walked with a man for three years, yes. who was around for 33 years. Yes. The scripture says no man has seen him. It's a lie. Hakuna mnatambo ona Jesu. Kutonye pa iko. Uh, yeah, Hallelujah. That Amen. is why I first talked of immortality. <laughs> yes, yes, Elder, thank you. <laughs> That's why I wanted us to see <laughs> whether our eyes are opening <laughs> more and more. Yeah. The key word in verse 16 is immortality. Yes. yes. Remember, the Lord lived in a vile body. Mm -hmm. That body was mortal. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to argue about mm -hmm. it. Yes. The proof that the body was mortal mm -hmm. is that he died on the cross. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you know that people who are doing a PhD in theology mm. do not know what I'm teaching you here? Oh, yes. yeah, they have no idea. Yes. These are deep things of God. Yes. I am a bones and root down. Yes. When the Lord rose from the dead, mm. he took off the mortal body. Yes. He did not enter heaven yes. with that mortal body. Yes. He put on his original body, mm. which is immortal. Yes. Mm. Philippians 3.21, mm. describe it as a, a, a glorious yes. body. Mm. Yes. Of course, the immortal yes. body mm. is glorious. Yes. In that yes. state of his immortality, he has never appeared to men. Mm -hmm. Because the glory of the immortal mm -hmm. God yes. is consumptive to mortality. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. We will die if he comes with that body. It will kill us. Yes. Yeah. This is why the Bible says, No man can approach, no man can approach that light. Mm -hmm. yes. It simply means no body, body can, can approach that light. Mm -hmm. Which simply means... Um, we, we can tentatively say, simulatively speaking, God can say, come with your mortal bodies. Mm -hmm. We will still not arrive. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Even if God was saying, I've changed my mind. My mind. I said, no mortal body can mm -hmm. come to heaven. I've decided to be generous. Mm -hmm. I've decided to, uh, to make my terms and my rules uh, flexible. Mm -hmm. You can all come with your bodies. Mm. We won't arrive at God. Yes. Because the light in which it dwells, mm. it consumes any aspect of mortality. Oh, yes. It will dissolve, it will melt mm. into non existence. Mm. Yes. It will disappear. Yes. Pano Sarapasina moon. I know Zogera Pangara, Garing Grosza. Yes. What cover very and got a queer and a good. Grosot, ah, your highness. Actually, it was a mistake to ask them to come. Your glory consumed all of them. Mm -hmm. They are now perished forever. Yes. You can't even recover them. Yes. So, verse 16 of 1 Timothy chapter 6 mm -hmm. tells us that. No man yes. has ever seen mm. him in his glorious nature. Mm. Yes. That nature he took off before coming into the earth. Yes. No man has no ever man seen has it. Seen. Yes. And he's not being mean or cruel. Mm -hmm. It's actually for our own safety. <laughs> <laughs> for him to not bring that glorious yes. body, yes. it's for our own safety. Yes. Hey. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you, believer, as you listen to me like this, look at the level of our Lord's humility mm -hmm. that with such a body that can kill all of us without him lifting a hand, mm -hmm. how did he not say it when they were beating him up? Mm -hmm. 
Imagine such a Lord being beaten mm -hmm. by a body that he knows <laughs> he can consume it yes. without lifting a finger. Yeah. Yeah. He never mm -hmm. sucks. He never loses his cool. Mm -mm. He doesn't even say, do you know the body that I have? I can bring it right now. I was on jail, man. <laughs> <laughs> a man smote his, him on the face mm. and he asked, did I say anything worthy of what you have done? Mm. If I have done nothing, why did you beat me? Mm. He asked a mortal man mm. why he was beaten. Yes. And yet he has such a powerful body. Mm. I am going to him down again, but throw a body for five seconds. Mm -hmm. Don't go try to have a show, man. This is what pets are. I is a Sarah car and build up a change. Go on, invest in a camera. You're watching the car fast. Look at us. I'm trying to get a cool one. I can go. 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 I no saka mara chukuni masimbara kire umari. Ne kuti ma gumbukira unai tayi we we ne kukurumiza. Ne wakanga wapu wa basiro ne kufiravana. Awai zombofa. Kuda izuji bidero pani orwega. Mani vesi waka pera. Kuti wanga wa zonya ni daka wa chera. Kango karande kwa problem ni pone kuti manje mara kati. Tika sape zaba basiro ande ndeo denga saka nika zonzingo denga. Tau karande kwa pani. Ne wawega pani kama. Yes yes yes. All right, uh, believers, this is an amazing scripture. Yes. Um, it's amazing scripture. Yes. It is. The Lord has a glorious body. Mm. And imagine that this is the body he wants to give us. Mm. Yeah. According to Philippians 3.21. Yes. <laughs> All right, Ecclesiastes 9.13, before mm. we do our tete tete <laughs> Ecclesiastes 9.13 This wisdom if I seen also under the sun What is it? And it seemed great unto me What is it, Pastor? Is it not wisdom? It is wisdom Did you know, believers, that people can see wisdom? Mm -hmm. I saw wisdom under the sun mm. And it seemed great unto me mm. Solomon saw a great wisdom yes. That caused him to marvel mm. All right, go ahead. Yes. There was a little city. There was a small city. I want to tell you in summary because I don't have time. The little city is the earth. Yes. Continue. And few men within it. The yes. men of the earth are fewer than demons. <laughs> so when the word few appears in verse 14, mm -hmm. he's comparing the population of the underworld yes. and the population of the earth. Hey. The population of the underworld is two-thirds greater than the population of the earth, <laughs> yeah. which means they are, they are twice a population of demons, mm. more than twice than the population of all the human race yes. that is going to exist from the time of Adam mm. up to the time of Christ. Yes. The 7.8 billion we have right now mm. are a small no fraction, fraction of the whole population of the universe yes. since the time of the first man, Adam, yes. up to the time of Christ. Mm. It's a small population. Yes. That population of the whole human race, mm -hmm. during its entire era mm -hmm. of existence mm -hmm. up to the time of Christ, mm -hmm. it's one third hey. the population of demons mm -hmm. that the hey. devil has command over. Mm -hmm. And yet the population of demons mm -hmm. is one third of the population of angels in heaven. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as we sit here on earth, yes. the population in heaven mm. is already greater mm. than the population of people on earth, on earth yes. including those who are not going to heaven. <laughs> 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 so there is no loneliness in heaven if yes. you don't make it to heaven. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you may think that if I don't make it to heaven, God is going to be lonely. Yes. No. No, no. As we speak right now, the entire population of the human race since the time of Adam mm. is less than one third of the population of angels in heaven. Yes. Yeah. So God is, is not in, 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 in any crisis. Yes. Heaven is calm. Yes. Heaven is settled. Yes. You are going to go to hell mm. with no, no qualms with God. Mm. God yes. is not going to have any problems with that. Yes. Some of you are going to go to hell with no qualms with God. Yes. Some of you are going to go to hell with no qualms with God. Yes. Some of you are going to go to hell with no qualms with God. 
na Adam kushikira pango ya Jesu toma wanjira adzaka ita tudakurega kuna mata takuno timwarani ita say yewe eh zvipo wakasprea bagon wakambovere ngoti nonzi dzafaingani to zvireta mwari izvo he doesn't count those that are not going to make it to heaven they are like flies which we kill with insecticides without mm. even the need to count them pakambona muna zvirenga mapeta aura akana spoilless adzivirengwe kakamba mapeta haverengwe kana nzinza adzirenga kungo tsvaira mutesambi unoverenga dzine basare all right the little city is the earth Mm-hmm. The few men is the population of men kind on earth mm-hmm. compared the comparing them with the population of demons mm. that the devil is in charge of mm. yes and there came a great king against the it the great king that came against the earth is the devil and besieged it and he besieged humanity with sin yes yes and built great bulwarks against it the great bulwarks that the devil erected against the earth is sin yes. in all its forms yes. mm-hmm. verse 15 how was god planning to redeem this city with this uh, few men if it is contending with a great king yes. who has the capacity to build bulwarks mm-hmm. to consume this city yes Now there was found in it a poor wise man. Aha. Yes. There was found in this little city mm-hmm. a poor wise man. Yes. What did the poor wise man do? And he by his wisdom delivered the city. He used wisdom to deliver this city out yes. of trouble. Yes. Yes. Yet no man remembered that same poor Of course man. people have forgotten about Jesus. He is the poor man verse 16. Then said I What did you say? Wisdom is better than strength. Wisdom is better than, than strength. strength. Yes. Nevertheless the poor man's wisdom is despised. So according to verse 16 of Ecclesiastes mm-hmm. the poor man did not deliver the the, the small city mm-hmm. with his strength mm-hmm. he did not use strength, strength yes. he used wisdom, wisdom. Yes. Mm-hmm. and this is why the book of peter mm-hmm. first peter chapter 3 verse 16 mm-hmm. you can't forget this yes huh having a good conscience that way as they speak evil of you as of evil doers they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ okay For, uh, before we read the book of peter i want us to read chapter 5 second corinthians mm-hmm. the last scripture right. second corinthians chapter 5 the last scripture for he has made to be seen for us god has made christ to be seen for us yes who knew no sin christ knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of god in him that we might he might become the righteousness of god we might become the righteousness of god mm-hmm. through him mm-hmm. all right uh verse 18 of first peter chapter 3 says for christ right. also hath once suffered for sins yes. Yes. the just yes. for the unjust mm-hmm. yes. that he might bring us to god mm-hmm. being put to death in, in the, the flesh, flesh. Yes. but quickened by the spirit, by the spirit. Yes. yes so how did christ defeat the bulwarks of sin mm-hmm. which the devil had built against the earth mm-hmm. he died right. the death of the flesh yes. he was put to mm. death in the flesh yes. mm. highlight that part mm. being put to death, death. Yes. In, in the, the flesh. flesh yes so we want to understand is the flesh of jesus his strength or his weakness mm-hmm. the answer is in second corinthians 13:4 mm-hmm. for though he was crucified through weakness yet he lives by the power of god let's end there mm-hmm. christ was crucified through weakness yes. Yes. and not through strength mm-hmm. yes. this is why ecclesiastes does not say the poor man mm-hmm. delivered the small city mm-hmm. using yes. strength, strength. Mm-hmm. he says the poor man delivered the little city with his yes. wisdom yes mm-hmm. 
So we are going to read verse 15 of Matthew 11 to 18 mm -hmm. for you to understand why he used wisdom. Mm -hmm. He that has ears, let him hear. Verse 16. But where unto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows. And saying, we have piped unto you, yes. and we have not danced. Yes. We have mourned unto you, yes. and we have not lamented. Yes. For John came neither eating nor drinking, yes. and they say he has a devil. What about the son of man? The son of man came eating and drinking. The son of man came eating and drinking. Look at the son of man. Yes. He had a vile body. Yes. He yes. needed food and drink. Yes. So when he says he came eating and drinking, yes. he's describing his vile body. Yes. What did they say? And they say, behold, a man gluttonous and they a did, wine Did they say, behold, a glorious son of God? I know. They described him as, as a, a common man. man. Yes. Behold, a common man, gluttonous. Mm. Yes. A wine biber. Yes. A friend of publicans. And sinners. And sinners. Yes. What do you say about your behavior? But wisdom is justified of a children. <laughs> <laughs> it's wisdom. Yes. For him to come with a physical body. Mm -hmm. And in weakness. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 13 verse 4, mm -hmm. he was crucified through weakness yes. and according to Ecclesiastes mm -hmm. chapter number 9 yes. the poor man did not, not use strength, strength to yes. deliver the city mm -hmm. from the king the great king yes. and his boars yes. he used wisdom yes. and weakness mm -hmm. yes. and so Solomon concluded in mm -hmm. verse 16 yes. wisdom is it's greater than, than strength, strength. Yes. Mm -hmm. you understand Yes. so God gave Israel the law mm -hmm. at Mount Sinai. Yes. And he brought the law with strength. <laughs> there was an, an earthquake. Yes. <laughs> there was blackness and darkness. Yes. And there was a cloud, a thick cloud. Yes. There was a mighty thundering. Mm -hmm. God demonstrated strength at Mount Sinai. Yes. And even though God used strength mm -hmm. in giving people the law, yes. You look at how they came out of Egypt with mm -hmm. a high mighty arm of God. Yes. God delivered them from Egypt mm -hmm. to give them the law. Yes. And yet sin mm -hmm. remained in power. <laughs> he could not defeat yes. the great king. Yes. So after testing strength yes. in the giving of the law, yes. God said, my next strategy yes. will definitely, absolutely yes. exclude strength. Yes. I'm going to deliver people out of this besiegement, <laughs> but I am not going to use strength. strength. Yes. Mm -hmm. So God brought Jesus through weakness. Mm -hmm. yes. Look at 2 Corinthians 13, 4. Mm -hmm. It was weakness yes. by which Jesus was, was crucified. crucified. Yes. Read it again. For though he was crucified through weakness. Through strength. Through, through weakness. weakness. Was there a lightning? Throughout his life, did he give people into lightning? No, <laughs> through weakness. Yes, yet for yet he, he lives, lives by, by the, the power, power of, of God. God. Yes. yes, God then used his power mm -hmm. to raise him from the dead. Oh yes. But Jesus was waking in weakness. Yes. He walked through weakness. He worked in a weak body. Yes. So, the climax of the. Poor man mm -hmm. in Proverbs 19, verse 17, yes. is in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, nine. <laughs> from verse 13 to 16. <laughs> he is the poor man. Yes. We must be gracious to him. Mm. Yes. During those 33 years, yes. when he is delivering people out of this great king yes. in his poor state, yes. we must be kind, we must be peaceable, we must speak to him with a kind and a, 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 a hospitable attitude. Yes. Yes. And if we do that, we are going to put God into our debt. <laughs> God will say, I can't ignore you. Yes. I will meet you at your point of need. Yes. You met my son and you were peaceable to him mm -hmm. in his poor days. Yes. He had gone into the world yes. to be the poor man that Solomon prophesied about, mm. to deliver a little city, mm. the New Testament, yes. the city that Abraham was looking for. Mm. Yes. Hence, he could not build a house. Yes. He lived in tabernacles yes. with Isaac and Jacob, Amen. the heirs together with him. Mm. 
Amen. of the promises of God. Amen. That was the city yes. that God wanted to deliver. Mm -hmm. So the few men mm -hmm. are the few that are asked about mm -hmm. in Luke 13, 21. <laughs> are the few, few that <laughs> are saved. And the Lord said, yes. uh, uh, enter ye mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. The, 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 narrow the, the narrow gate. gate. Yes. There are not too many mm -hmm. that are going to enter heaven. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Verse 24. Verse 23. Start from verse 23. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Yes. <laughs> Strive to enter in at the straight gate. Yes. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. They will not enter. Yes. So according to the Ecclesiastes scripture, mm -hmm. how many men were in that little city? Few men. Few men. Huh? Few men. Few men. Yes. As in Dova, I got the king river. I got no show my own to know that. To the Quenda Pamchinjiqua, did you feel our show my babo? But a pinta panzira camanicana, to know that I should go a feeder. Yes. But Akava feeder, I remove on bo. Anna Guyari Mufuma, Casimba, Kakura, Akawiari Murombo. Ashidakunu Nunura Guta. Never remember show ma. Rakangaraka Kombo and Amambo Nesimba. Dear Muromba, I remember. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the Proverbs scripture says, be gracious, yes. according to the ESV. Mm. Be it's gracious generous. to the poor yes, men. Yes. You are lending God. Mm -hmm. He will repay you for yes. your deed. Yes. yes. Our Lord warned mm -hmm. about the Proverbs 1917 mm -hmm. in Matthew 25, 31. Mm -hmm. He says, in that day I shall say to them, Mm. You saw me hungry, yes, and you gave me not food. Mm -hmm. yes. I was thirsty. Mm -hmm. You are not. You you did not give, give me, me water. water. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was a stranger. You yes. received me, me not. not. Yes. I was in prison yes. in in hospital. Mm -hmm. You did not come, come to, to me. me. Yes. And they are going to say, Lord, Lord when, when did we see you poor? Mm -hmm. yes. The descriptions in Matthew twenty five. Yes. Are descriptions of poverty. Mm. Yes. Mm. And yet, as we have never imagined, the poverty is always mm. in nature. Yes. Look at all the things that said, I was, I was, I was. Mm. They are on, on his nature. Yes. If he is not in the body, he will never get angry. If he is not in the body, he will he never, never be thirsty. Be if he is not in the body, he, he will, will never be, be naked. He, yes. get into the hospital. he will never be sick. Yes. So yeah. the ministry of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. is a main ministry. Yes. The ministry of Jesus Christ is a flesh yes. ministry. Mm. Yes. This is why mm -hmm. the moment he rose from the, the dead, dead. Mm. He stopped doing his crusades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, I can't go into the streets of Nazareth oh, and yes. preach again. Yes. Yes. My ministry to preach is a main ministry. Mm -hmm. yes. It's a body ministry. Mm -hmm. yes. This is why angels are not allowed to it's preach. preach. Yes. <laughs> you can't preach <laughs> if you are a flame of fire. Imagine <laughs> seeing a pl placard or a poster on the on the street mm -hmm. that is saying there is a flame of fire mm -hmm. which shall conduct a crusade yes. at Arare a, a, a grounds <laughs> in, in, in high fields. <laughs> Kuna mm -hmm. flame of fire, it's at a baptism, so Saturday. This was now baptism. Kuna flame of fire, it's a baptism. What I want you to pause and do a tete a tete on is when we shift to the Basley matter, mm -hmm. we shall not take too long in that matter. Mm -hmm. The focus is going to not be on. The 33 years of our Lord, mm -hmm. the focus is going to be on the entire New Testament era. Right. Yes. The three years of our Lord in the body mm -hmm. as a preacher, because he was not a preacher for 33 years. Yes. 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 He was only a preacher for three years. Mm -hmm. yes. He was showing the template that we, the present day preachers, mm -hmm. yes. are supposed to 
understand and function in. Yes. The reason why he then sent preachers after rising from the dead, mm -hmm. go ye therefore, in Matthew 28, go ye therefore, mm -hmm. in Mark 16, 15. Mm -hmm. He was now saying, I'm not going to remain in the body anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take it off very soon. Mm -hmm. Once I take upon myself a glorious body mm -hmm. and go into heaven mm -hmm. to be glorified with that body, mm -hmm. after that, I won't be able to preach anymore. Mm -hmm. The principle of preaching is that the preacher must be in a vile body uh -huh. <laughs> so that those who are receiving the message yes. may be deceived yes. to think that they are in a better position yes. than the one that is preaching to them. Yes. And this is why 1 Corinthians chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 21 says, For the preaching of the cross is foolishness. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Mm -hmm. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching yes. to save them that believe. Yes. But in verse 18, he had mm -hmm. said, for the, the preaching, preaching of, of the cross mm -hmm. is foolishness, foolishness to them that perish. Mm -hmm. yes. But unto not us yes. which are saved, it is the power of God. Yes. Yes. Outside wisdom mm -hmm. and revelation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm everyone would conclude it was foolish yes. for Jesus to put yes. away yes. a glorious body mm -hmm. and start preaching mm -hmm. from a vile body. Yes. This is the design of God. Yes. It is called the foolishness mm -hmm. of preaching. Yes. So people think that the flesh vile body days of Jesus mm -hmm. were over. The moment he took it off, and went into immortality, mm -hmm. as, uh, as spoken of in 1 Timothy 6.16. Yes. Mm -hmm. The flesh, mortal, vile body days mm -hmm. are not over. Mm -hmm. What is now different is that Jesus has now been exalted and glorified. Mm -hmm. yes. In his place came the Holy Spirit yes. to continue mm -hmm. with the work that Jesus had started. Oh, yes. The same work that Jesus was doing <laughs> is continuing. The, the only difference is Jesus has sent his brother. Mm -hmm. I want to use the word brother <laughs> in courts. Yes. To continue with the work mm -hmm. that he was doing. Mm -hmm. Preaching to the sinners yes. to bring them unto repentance mm -hmm. while in a vile body. Yes. In that state, mm -hmm. Holy Spirit is Christ in us. Yes. The hope of all glory. Oh, yes. It's not yes. Holy Spirit yes. in us, mm -mm. the hope of all glory. Mm -mm. Because Christ is residing mm -mm. in mm -mm. us through the Spirit. Yes. The Spirit is Christ's a nature. Mm -hmm. It's another nature of Christ yes. that is different from the one he had and that is different from the one he is yes. right now in mm -hmm. heaven. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the scripture continues. Believers or those who are going to meet Christ in us, in brackets, in them, mm -hmm. they are supposed to be gracious. Yes. Yeah. They are supposed to be gracious. So, wakanga waka ita ishe vari munyama. Ndo so waka ita nanasi. Vari po, vari munyama shakari. But avasiri vo mbune, watu mira mumwe wawo anunzi mwe ya mchwene. Kutendai muno furi ramberi, nebasa randaka ita njiri munyama. Na mzikura ndaka zoona manji. Yeruti marizo iya nda ipariza. Haifu mizu kwa kuti ipariza kwe ne asiri munyama. Shunonda zokera mwiri uya unokuzwa. Nyama eka uya paduze ne mwiri uno. Ino nyungudika. Chenda iwo usina mwiri. Uno pinda munyama. Nchakura tiza nyama ya kupinda mahiri. Wapinda munyama imomo. Uno go zokera. Mustetia urombo. Mm -hmm. Wavakuno kudenga wakafuma. <laughs> Wavamurombo shakare. Ni uturuku garamu yes. So in the New Testament era, mm -hmm. the poor man mm -hmm. is now Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Yes. inside the body. Hey. Yeah. He's poor because he's using a vile body mm -hmm. yes. to do spiritual work. Yes. This is why Paul says, we have this treasure. Yeah. In earthen vessels. vessels. Yes. 
to say earthen vessels is to say useless vessel. Mm. You can compare that scripture with the second Timothy chapter 2 from verse 20. Mm. It says there are vessels of honor yes. and vessels of dishonor. Mm. Yes. You understand? Yes. And so this body mm -hmm. is a vessel mm -hmm. of dishonor. Yes. Because it's a vessel, it's an earthen vessel. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It's 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 Second Corinthians chapter four verse seven. Mm -hmm. To those who are looking for that scripture, mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter four verse seven, mm -hmm. which says we have this treasure, treasure in, in earthen. earthen vessels. Yes, that but the early excellence of the power may be of God, God. and not, not of God. us. Mm -hmm. Yes. The poor days of Christ mm -hmm. have continued after his exaltation yes. Amen. through his proxy, mm -hmm. his representative, yes. the Holy Spirit. Yes. He is the true vicar of Christ. Yes. The Romans, the Roman Catholics are misplaced mm -hmm. when they make Mother Mary the vicar of Christ mm -hmm. or the Pope the vicar of Christ. Yes. The true vicar of Christ is not yes. any man. Mm -hmm. It is Holy Spirit yes. because he bears the record yes. of the true testimony of Christ mm -hmm. established in heaven yes. according to First John 5 mm -hmm. from verse number 6 to verse number 9. Let's mm -hmm. not read it. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says, Be gracious mm -hmm. to the poor mm -hmm. and God shall be in your debt. Mm -hmm. We are going to sample this theology we are going to go deeper into this admonition. Yes. All right? Yes. But this is the message. Mm -hmm. yes. The poor is Christ. Yes. It continues to be Christ. Yes. yes. And yes. Christ and Holy Spirit are the same thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit is not another person. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit is a component of Christ. Christ. Yes. Holy Spirit is the nature of Christ. Mm -hmm. So when we receive Holy Spirit, it is not robbery to say Christ is residing in yes. us. Yes. That's why Paul said, Christ in us, yes. the, the hope. hope of all glory. Mm -hmm. So when Christ is in us, is he in us with another human body? No. Mm -hmm. He took it off. Mm -hmm. But he puts Holy Spirit inside of us. Yes. But when we look at the preacher, mm -hmm. we see a higher dimension mm -hmm. of Christ in us. Yes. Because Christ is in every believer mm -hmm. to identify, to give him the nature of a son of God. Amen. But there is a higher dimension presence of the Holy Spirit in the preacher mm -hmm. to achieve the mission of Christ. Yes. To birth many sons unto God. Yes. So Christ is in the preacher through the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to redeem the little city yes. from the great king. Mm -hmm. yes. Until today, mm -hmm. there is redemption taking place yes. through the preaching of the word of God. Mm -hmm. So when you meet a preacher, you have to understand that Christ is doing a work in that preacher yes. that he takes personally. Yes. This is why when the Lord spoke to Paul mm -hmm. in Acts chapter 9, mm -hmm. he did not say, Paul, why are you persecuting my church? Mm -hmm. The Lord said, Paul, why, oh, why are, you are you persecuting you? me? Yes. Mm -hmm. So everything that anybody does to a preacher, mm -hmm. Christ takes it personally. All right. yeah. You are doing it unto me. Mm -hmm. So in Matthew 25, they ask it, when did we give you water? When you were thirsty. Mm. He said, as much as you did it to one of these, my little ones, you did it unto me. The little ones, our Lord spoke in Matthew 25, are not believers. The little ones are the preachers. Yes. Are you getting this? Yes. Paul described himself as a little one in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. All right? Yes. In verse number seven, First Corinthians. After that, he was seen of James, then of the of all the apostles, and, and last of all, he was seen of me also. Who are you? As of one born out of due time. I am a little one. Yes. I was born out of due time. Due time. Yes. yes. <laughs> and that's why in verse ten he says. 
I am the least of the apostles. He says, I am not worthy, in verse 9, I am not worthy to be an apostle. I am the least of the apostles. I am the little one. He is now the place where Christ appears as a poor man. The preacher is not a poor man. But the Lord inside the preacher mm -hmm. is the poor man. Oh, yes. Because we said the poverty of Christ mm -hmm. is in him living in a body. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now he is gone into a human being yes. in the preacher yes. to accomplish his work. But I think Jesus is going to be a man. He is going to be a man. Yes. He is going to be a man. Yes. Shino basa ni kupinda mnyama kwa Jesu. Ari satira pera. Yes. Adoka foot apinda mnyama. Ari muna baloi. <laughs> ari muna paulo. Yes. Ari muna timoti Jesu. Yes. Wai tukwa shakari murombo. Yes. Ani vangwe wa asata peza. Kuvaita yes. wapfumi. Yes. You understand? Amen. So the redemption of us from poverty to becoming rich. Mm -hmm. It is through redemption. Oh, yes. That is achievable. Mm -hmm. Through the preaching of the word. Yes, yes. This is the Basel gesture. Mm -hmm. We have to conclude it. We can't leave it here. Yes. But let's have a tete a tete so that you may see each, each other and ask each other. <laughs> ask each other, are you alive? Mm -hmm. Are you still here? Mm -hmm. And then we conclude it. Yes. We have to conclude it. Stay with us.
All right. Uh, welcome, believers. We won't be able to go into the buzz light details. We have been here since uh, early afternoon. We don't want to do information overload lest you forget those things that are needful. But let's not forget uh, Proverbs 19. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at the NASB first and then the ESV. Mm -hmm. One who is gracious to the poor man mm -hmm. has indebted God yes. and he will repay him for his good deed. Yes. So, um, I want us to remember that we were looking for this poor man. Who yes. is he? Mm. And we asked a variety of questions. Mm -hmm. Are they the poor people of the world? There is no country without poor people. Mm -hmm. They are beggars in England. Yes. They are street fathers and street kids in New York City. Mm -hmm. So are those the poor people that we are to be gracious to in order for God to be in our debt? And he will repay us mm -hmm. for our good deed. So we identified that, no, that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. um, the poor man is Jesus Christ. Yes. And we saw a, 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 a many scriptures. We zeroed in on 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. Mm -hmm. It tells us, for what cause mm -hmm. did he become poor? Oh. For our sakes, mm -hmm. Jesus became poor. Yes. That through his poverty, we might, might become, become rich. rich. Yes. And we analyzed and realized that in monetary terms, mm -hmm. Jesus was not poor. Yes. yes. And also, in monetary terms, mm -hmm. believers did not become rich mm -hmm. on account of Jesus' poverty. Mm -hmm. We discarded that theology. Yes. Mm -hmm. We realized that the poverty of our Lord was in his nature. Mm -hmm. And this is also the nature from which he wants to redeem us. Mm -hmm. yes. He wants to give us a better nature mm -hmm. that overcomes evil that is not overcome itself by evil. Yes. So this is the, f the how far we have come. Mm -hmm. What seems to be a very, very plain scripture mm -hmm. took us into a very, very um, insightful journey yes. in search yes. of the true meanings mm -hmm. of the word of God. Mm -hmm. The Bible instructs us to study, to show ourselves approved before God. Yes. Yes. Rightly dividing the word of truth yes. according to 2 Timothy 2.15. Mm -hmm. So look at the mistake we could have made mm -hmm. like other pastors and preachers and churches mm -hmm. by preaching the doctrine of morality. Mm -hmm. Let's help the poor people of our villages. Let us help the needful people of our locations, mm -hmm. of our townships, of our rural areas. Yes. Whenever you see a man in need, help them. Mm -hmm. We started this message very well. Mm -hmm. We com commended yes. those who do charity works mm -hmm. to help the poor. Mm -hmm. Amen. We said it is good. Yes. Yes. We also said it is godly. Yes. God expects us to do that. Mm -hmm. yes. But we also said that it is not part of the doctrine of Christ. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not come here as a philanthropist. <laughs> That's why he never brought sugar from heaven. Mm -hmm. That's why he never brought blankets from heaven. Yes. That's why he never brought wheelchairs from heaven. Yes. Mm -hmm. He didn't even dish out money mm -hmm. to poor people. So we discarded that doctrine as well. Yes. But we also said, Proverbs 19, verse 17, mm -hmm. talks about being gracious to the poor. Yes. yes. God who consider you as a man who has borrowed God himself something, mm -hmm. he will surely pay you for your good deed. And we said, the Bible is not talking about all the poor people of the world. Mm -hmm. 
the Bible was talking about a poor man. Mm -hmm. That man is not many of us. Mm -hmm. And we said, in any case, mm -hmm. for you to say God is my data, mm -hmm. do you think poverty is enough qualification to render God your data? Yeah. Huh? Mm. All right. I gave a poor man money Mm -hmm. So God owes me some money, mm -hmm. which means all that you have to, to have God in your debt is mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Money makes you to be above God. Mm -hmm. How sure are you that you are still in your right mind? The moment you have money, mm -hmm. God becomes your debtor. Mm -hmm. and, and, and your money is not coming anywhere near God. It's coming to people who are poor in this world. Yes. Uh, All the yeah. poor people in the world, mm -hmm. they are actually opportunities for you to have yes, God in your debt. debt. Imagine if all the rich people understood this to be true. Mm -hmm. That every person who has capacity to help the poor men mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in the streets, in the villages, in the locations, mm -hmm. in the mines, in the farms, by giving to the poor men, Mm -hmm. He becomes a lender to God. How many people in this world does God owe? Mm -hmm. And what do you think makes him God if he is such highly indebted? How do we pray to an almighty God mm -hmm. who is always in debt, owing people their money? Mm -hmm. Because of what they have done mm -hmm. to other people. Mm -hmm. so who is the poor man mm -hmm. we saw that the poor man whatever he is he can't be powerful enough to put God in debt mm -hmm. poverty is not enough qualification yes. to put God into debt. debt and this is where Ecclesiastes chapter 9 mm -hmm. comes in mm -hmm. what else does the poor man have Mm -hmm. Which puts God into debt. Yes. According to Ecclesiastes chapter 9, mm -hmm. there was a little city and a few men within it. Mm -hmm. And there came a great king against it mm -hmm. and besieged it and built great, great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man. A poor wise man. Yes. Apart from poverty, mm -hmm. the man poor is also wise. wise. Mm -hmm. yes. How many poor people in this world uh, are also wise? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is not poverty a sign of lack of wisdom? It is. It is a sign of lack of wisdom. <laughs> yeah, <am I>? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because according to no. Matthew 11 to yes, 18 yes. and 19, wisdom mm -hmm. is known mm -hmm. of her children. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Wisdom is justified her by her children. Mm -hmm. So concerning wisdom, mm -hmm. we also know that Christ is God's wisdom. Yes. That's why the poor man is also wise. Mm -hmm. Concerning 1 Corinthians 1.24, Mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24. Yes. It's clear, but unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, mm -hmm. Christ is the power of God and, and Christ is the wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. yes. So the poor man is poor, mm -hmm. but he is also wise. wise. Yes. So he used wisdom mm -hmm. to deliver the little city. Mm -hmm. yes. The problem is no man remembers the poor, poor man. man. Mm -hmm. And God recorded, it's a problem yes. for you to forget this poor man. Mm -hmm. How can you forget a man mm -hmm. who delivered you, you from the hands of such a menacing great king? Yes. And this is why we can't forget Christ oh, yes. on account yes. of the great yes. deliverance mm -hmm. yes. he wrote upon us yes. from the tentacles of wickedness mm -hmm. by the devil himself. Yes. So, why why does God go into debt mm -hmm. on account of a poor man? Mm -hmm. The answer is because this poor man is God's only hope to redeem the little city. Yes. There is no other man mm -hmm. 
under heaven yes. by which yes. men can, can be saved, be saved. except Jesus Christ, yes. according yes. to Acts 4, 4, verse number 11 and 12. Yes, this is the stone which was set at not of you builders, which yes. has become the head of the corner. Yes. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given yes. among men. By which? Whereby we must be saved. By which we must be saved. Yes. yes. So the poor man is so important to God mm. that anyone who is gracious to him, yes. God will consider it as a debt. Mm. Because this poor man mm -hmm. has enough wisdom Amen. to deliver a city Amen. out of the hands of a great king. Yes. Look at the qualifications of this poor man Amen. and look at yourself. Each time you say, Proverbs is talking about me, you are claiming to having the same credentials as that which we see in Ecclesiastes 9.15. Yes. There was found in it a wise poor man, which means there are so many poor men in this city, but there's one poor man with a difference. Yes. You can't find a poor man and wise man at the same time. All the poor men of our countries mm. have a certain lack of wisdom mm. among them. Amen. But if you look at Jesus, mm. he is the only poor man who is wise, yes. who by his wisdom mm -hmm. delivered the church, the earth, mm. from the devil's uh, uh, bulwarks. And then the, the Lord said, yet no man remembered that yes. same poor man. Amen. How many poor men are in your village? <laughs> How many poor men are in your towns and cities? Uh, How many pure men, poor men are in your slums? Mm. Many. Huh? How many poor men are in your locations? Mm -hmm. And yet, according to Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 15, yes. this poor man needs to be searched yes. to find him. Yes. <laughs> the Bible did not say, now there was a poor man. Mm -mm. The Bible found. says, now there was found yes. a wise poor man, <laughs> which means in order for him to find him, you have to search him. Yes. Do we need to search yes. to yes. find a poor man <laughs> in your area of residence? I know. <laughs> We are not a child of God. Yes. We search the yes. scriptures. Yes. What are the poor men? We are not a child of God. Yes. We are not a child of God. 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 We so how many little cities mm. have you delivered mm. from the great kings? Mm. Yeah. You walk around, I'm the poor, please mm. be gracious to me. <laughs> but the poor man has a record of delivering a little city yes. with wisdom. Yes. Huh? <laughs> 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 Urombo wenyu uno nunura gutero. <laughs> Kana utu urombo wenyu ndo uruto saka mwenjengwe nevanu. <laughs> Amuno wa mwenu nunura. <laughs> Pese pa mashika. Dimi mruda uto nunurua. <laughs> Dipewa mwenyu. Dipewa shuga. Dipewa marie bazi. Dipewa marie kukeruwa mzoro. <laughs> Dipewa marie koko. Urombo wako unu nunura munere uiwe. Iwa usi mununurika iwe. Iwa uruto rimu nunurui. Where's our Sangre Nay? Blas, Dara, there's no good name of Ninavaguano Gunjenga. Where's Ango Buruka Mota Chet? Uno Fila with Gandhi City Man, Neguta Buda Mota. Anita Sekunga Musuaka Tenga Mota, Akapo, a change, Gunsiro was Sangre Nay, Unugo Chumpa Marude. Mota Tengo Mazuay said, San, you know Tengo Gamuichete. Smeng woman and a Mota and Gasnaka and a dollar more woman. I should go to the game, wait as a bazaar, my nose a chuck at time time. Mm. Saka, Nyaripo El Dande would Murombo, you are no Nunura Guta, mm. and Danita Gutagua. Mm. Saka could mm. 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 proverbs what a tango, Unoskego, Gordon, Zitreo, Munoro, 
kana masangana ne murombo mwara cha ene chikweleti nemi acha kubadarai o vote ndini muromba irewa ndipe mwara ano kubadarai ta kuchaga kuti murombo uyo anaisa mwari muchikweleti anenge akambonya tsoita sei nekuti haisi nyimore kuti mwara anzapinda pachikweleti mwari tomziva yeso haite zvikweleti nenzira yekutamba nayo to pata zonzi na mpari dzaye wa murombo wacho has pimbri manu ari pamrewa center murombo uyo ando rine uchengeri usina umbonekwa anonunura guta kubva kuna mambo anga akari bata akari mbunyikidza akari komba so akaita murombo uyu akachengera akanunura guta ne uchengeri wake is thought ah Asar jambo yetika kuti munanzi murombo ovhanza akachengera futi mm. zvekushika pa kununura guta mm. neuti kununura guta kununura vanhu zvinogara oh, yes. munhari murombo yes. adati zvagiru <laughs> mununuri wake mm. neuti homwe yake akaboka <laughs> mununure iwe <laughs> ne dora murume uyu mm. mununure iwe ne hupfu mm. mununure iwe ne mare chikoro yevana mm. uri kutsvaga mununuri mm. zvino uya anonzi murombo mm. asi mununuri futi hey. hazvina unyazo balance izvozvo yes. pita hapinda apa paulo hapinda apa Chuenga hapinda. Yes. Murombo uyu akaoma. Mm. Yes. Anununura guta, akarombo kakudaro. Yes. Ano change era zvekununura guta. Mm. Asata mbita murombo wakadaro. Mm. Mavhuko atina. Yes. Mamtoko atina. Yes. Mamtara muna murombo wakadai. Mujwani speak. Hamuna murombo wakadai. Yes. There is not such a, a, a poor man in mm. England. Amen. There is no such a poor man yes. in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. There is not such a, 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 a poor man in in span in in spain yes this man is a marvel mm. this man is a spectacle yes. this man is amazing so how many little cities have you redeemed mm. since you put yourself in proverbs 1917 mm -hmm. you ask people to help you i'm poor mm. the bible talks about me <laughs> <laughs> and we also ask you the question would yes any man remembered you uh -uh. he said yet no man remembered yes. that same poor man yes 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 i hope or kupiwa hapo utara kuti vanhu varikukuragarira people are remembering you yes. that's why they are hoping you yes. mm -hmm. but according to scripture mm -hmm. men do not want to remember this one mm -hmm. the poor man no. do you see believers that are it Yeah, that is impossible yes. for you to be the poor man yes. that the scripture was talking about mm -hmm. in proverbs chapter 19 mm -hmm. verse 17 your qualifications should transcend and beyond the, that poverty you have mm -hmm. you must have other credentials according to scripture the man was wise according to scripture he has redemptive capability yes he yes. was able to redeem and uh, am i if you look at it there must be a relationship between you and god for god to take that debt upon himself to say i i yes. the data you borrowed you let you yeah. helped my poor yes. yes yes so yes yes you are right so The Bible says in the days of his flesh. Mm -hmm. The days of mm -hmm. Jesus flesh. Mm -hmm. Of course he made prayers and supplications yes. and was heard mm -hmm. because he feared God. Mm -hmm. Those are the days of his poverty. poverty. Yes. Those are the days when he was poor. Mm -hmm. yes. All right? Mm -hmm. Let me show you how the Lord was poor with another scripture just one mm -hmm. to cement this mm -hmm. uh Matthew chapter 8 verse 19 mm -hmm. and a certain scribe came and said unto him a certain lawyer mm -hmm. came to Jesus and said what master i will follow thee whithersoever thou goest master i will follow you everywhere you are going mm -hmm. so the man was offering to follow jesus mm -hmm. yes. he said i want to be your follower mm -hmm. everywhere you go mm -hmm. please allow me to follow you yes. is it a hard request <laughs> <It's not. laughs> 
Fazem na galera o dia, não é problema já. Não. O dia ande. Ande. Provei de rosto, não comprei nenhum berenque já. Se para o berenque já ande. Cala o juiz, vai ver já. Ande. Eu, do you know that there are certain scriptures that are so exciting? Yes. And so we are wondering, why is this in the Bible? There should have been a problem. From the surface of things, there seems to be no problem. The man wants to follow Jesus wherever Jesus goes. Jesus must allow this man to follow him. What did he say? And Jesus said unto him, the foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the son of man hath not where to lay his head. You see, the problem is I'm not going anywhere for you to follow. <laughs> I'm, I'm summarizing this. The Lord did not say, I don't want you to follow you, follow me. He simply said, the son of man has no way to lay his head. That, that, that's the part I'm summarizing. He simply said, I have no home. <laughs> there will be no destination if you follow me. I have no sanctuary. I have no base. Yeah. You understand? Yes. <laughs> Can you comment, Pastor, on the Lord's poverty concerning this scripture? Yes, he didn't even have anywhere to stay. <laughs> he didn't have anywhere to stay. Yes. <laughs> Elder, I want to say something. No, no, but <laughs> Urombogo. Ya urombo e. Ishema no garakup. Shuka ni no problem yuo. No problem yuo. Watu taka yuo. Adina. Saka muri mpe ni say. Ah, pano kodo gasuba. Pate tiri pa putora. Tongo zozo na kana tete say. Kana tamuka. Elder, what have you got to say on this matter? Yeah, he was this scribe who wanted to follow Jesus. But as the Lord answered him now, he was showing him that there is a, a limitation that I do have. Yes. At this time, uh, the Son of Man had nowhere to lay his head, inasmuch as we understand the spiritual aspect, yeah, but it brings out the aspect of our Lord having another limitation. Uh, of what he was doing here on earth. Mm, all right. <laughs> the bed was richer than you. <laughs> <laughs> the bed was richer than you. Yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Can we can we look at verse ten mm -hmm. of Colossians chapter 2. And you are complete in him, mm -hmm. which is the head of all principality and power. Yes. In whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Yes. Buried with him in baptism, yes. wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who has raised him from the dead. All right. Continue. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision all right, of your all right. flesh. Verse 19. Start from verse 18. We want to skip another matter mm -hmm. which is not relevant to the subject at hand. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary Humility. And worshipping of angels, intruding. intruding into those things which he has not seen. Vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. Yes. And not holding the head, from which all the body by joints and bands, having nourishment ministered and knit together, increases with the increase of God. Aha. Uh -huh. Not holding the head mm -hmm. with a capital the H. H. Yeah. Which is Christ. Yes. From which all the, the body, body by, by joints. joints and bands, mm -hmm. having nourishment, mm -hmm. the body finds nourishment from the head. head. Yes. yes. Need together mm. to increase with the increase of God. Yes. So according to this passage, mm. Christ is the head of the church. Mm. Yes. The church needs in Christ mm -hmm. for Christ to nourish mm -hmm the body with ministration. Mm -hmm. 
So, the Lord spoke in Matthew uh, and said, Foxes have walls mm -hmm. and birds have nests, mm -hmm. but the Son of Man has mm -hmm. nowhere to lay his head. Mm -hmm. Chapter 1, the book of Colossians, mm -hmm. verse 21. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now has he reconciled yes. in the body of his flesh through death. Look at it. You. Look at it. Very carefully crafted. The apostle did it there. Mm -hmm. In the body of his flesh, mm -hmm. the Bible says he has reconciled you. Mm -hmm. You Colossians. Mm -hmm. Remember, the Colossians were Gentiles. Yes. You were enemies of God mm -hmm. because of your wicked works yes. and your wicked mind. Mm -hmm. How did he reconcile the wicked works of the Gentiles with God? In the body. In the body of his flesh. Yes. So I wonder if people read Paul's letters mm -hmm. with keen interest to understand. Mm -hmm. Such a conversation has never happened. Mm -hmm. We have never heard the pastor Rengui say, my flesh is sick. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you always say, I'm sick. <laughs> I am sick. Pastor Rengui says, I'm sick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my body is vomiting. <laughs> we have never been mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. I said, I said, I said, I said, Paul was very clear. I want to separate Jesus from his body. Because he pre-existed that body. Making Jesus his body is making him a human being. Mm. An absolute human being. Mm. But he wasn't. Doesn't. He once existed, number one. Mm -hmm. He once functioned mm -hmm. and operated, number two, mm -hmm. from another realm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is not the case with us. Yes. In our lives, our manifestation is simultaneous with our existence. Mm -hmm. Our operation is simultaneous okay, yes. with our existence. Mm -hmm. The day you are conceived is the day you start to function mm -hmm. and to exist mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. But Christ was once in heaven yes. and he was not a, a part of Christ, mm -hmm. a fraction of Christ, mm -hmm. a piece of Christ. Mm -hmm. He was the full person of Christ, mm -hmm. but in heaven without a body. Mm -hmm. Calling Jesus his body mm -hmm. is like calling a person because of his clothes. You can still remain you without <laughs> your shirt and your trousers. Uh, so yeah. Jesus took and considered his body, body. a yeah, temple, a, a piece of clothing. Mm -hmm. I can still remain myself mm -hmm. without my body. Mm -hmm. But that's the problem now with the Christianity. People think that the body of Jesus and Jesus yeah. are the, the same, same thing. Yes. They don't know that you can talk to Jesus without him wearing that body. Yes. So it was in the body of his flesh mm -hmm. through death mm -hmm. to do what? To present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If you continue. If you continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel. Yes. Which you have heard. Which you have which heard. Which was preached by whom? To every creature which is under heaven, where of I, Paul, am made a minister. All right. You are a minister. Yes. Verse number 24. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake. Which right. is the church. I am fulfilling yes. the afflictions mm -hmm. yes. of Christ, Christ. Mm -hmm. in, in my, my flesh. flesh. <laughs> Where are you fulfilling these afflictions? In my flesh, <laughs> for his body's sake, uh, which is the church. Mm -hmm. Now you have forgotten. Mm -hmm. You have forgotten that we read verse 4 of Isaiah 53. Mm -hmm. 
which said, surely he had carried our griefs yes. and carried our sorrows. Mm -hmm. Yet we did esteem him stricken, mm -hmm. smitten of God, yes. and afflicted. Yes, mm -hmm. And I said, just being in the body mm -hmm. an is an affliction. Yes. But on top of the affliction of being in the body, mm -hmm. There are also pains and inconveniences and, uh, and sufferings mm -hmm. and torments that come to the body because of the gospel of Christ. Yes. So Paul says, there are outstanding pains of Christ mm -hmm. which he left prematurely in courts. Mm -hmm. yes. Apparently, he went too soon mm -hmm. before finishing those yes. afflictions. Yes. And he said, are my apostles and pastors and mm. teachers mm. and evangelists mm. who finish up this work. Yes. There are certain pains of Christ mm -hmm. which will come upon Pastor Erengui, mm -hmm. yes. Pastor Baloy, mm -hmm. Evangelist Mafolo, mm -hmm. yes. and Apostle Chwenga. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Why should you have these pains, Paul? Well, they belong, they are supposed to happen for his body's sake. Mm -hmm. Which body? Well, mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking about the church. <laughs> the body is the church. <laughs> yes. You understand? Yes. So take note of Colossians 1.24. Mm -hmm. We'll soon come back to it. Yes. But looking again at Matthew chapter 8, mm -hmm. the Lord had actually received a very good offer. Yes. Lord, it's a good thing that you are <laughs> preaching like this. <laughs> I like your method of preaching. Can I follow you, follow you wherever you go? Mm. Jesus says, that's the problem. Mm. I have nowhere to go. I have no center. I have no destination in my journey. Yes. I'm just walking around. Mm. I have nowhere to lay my head. So we were seeking to understand, what do you mean? Yes. Are you saying you can't afford to rent a room mm. in this town? with all the gold mm. that the wise men from the east left you, mm. could you not buy a garden flat mm. for your own accommodation? Yes. Why don't you go home to Joseph's house? Mm. Go and submit to your papa, Joseph. You will never <laughs> sleep in the streets. <laughs> Are you a homeless man? Mm. The answer oh. is no. Yes. The Lord was not a homeless man. Mm. Mm. The problem he spoke about in Matthew 8 mm -hmm. has nothing to do with accommodation. Yes. It has something to do with a place of rest. Mm -hmm. The house of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, Acts 7 says, mm -hmm. what is the place of my rest? Yes. The church is the place of God's rest. Mm -hmm. yes. So when he said, I have nowhere to lay my head, yes. Mm -hmm. We now know, according to Colossians 1 and Colossians 2, mm -hmm. Christ is the head. Yes. The body is the, the church. church. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when he said the son of man mm -hmm. has no way to lay his head, he simply meant that I don't have a church for now. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a church. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a board. Mm -hmm. And this is why in Matthew 16, 18, he said, Upon this rock, I, I will church. build my church. Mm -hmm. Not now, my dear. Mm -hmm. Not now, my apostles. Mm -hmm. I can't build a church now. Yes. It's impossible. I have to do some work, mm -hmm. some groundwork yes. to build a church. Mm -hmm. Remember, in order for me to build a church, mm -hmm. I must die first. Yes. Because a testament only takes effect after the death of the testator. Yes. So those are the groundworks I'm currently doing. Mm -hmm. And this is why I have no way to lay my head mm -hmm. at the moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. So imagine a preacher who asks people to come to God. Look at mm -hmm. me. And the people ask him, where is your church? Mm -hmm. And his answer is, it doesn't exist. <laughs> 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 Can we imagine, Pastor, mm -hmm. if there was no church mm -hmm. and I meet you in the street and say, Pastor, let's mm -hmm. preach. Mm -hmm. And your question was, we preach in which church? You say, there's no church. We just preach and go. 
Vanhu vatasangana vamuse Monday ka. Atifanwe kuva ona kuti mzoe choose. Kana vachingoyo vatokwest all time. He said in a church. So Jesus was a preacher without a church. <laughs> Three years. As my church. Apana church. Ye chokwa dika na ende ma apana. This is why when he sent the apostles to preach in Matthew chapter 10, he made sure he never asked them to come with anyone. And so when the apostles went to preach, they came alone. They brought no follower. They brought no follower. So go into all the evangelical efforts of our Lord. Go to Matthew 14 in Mount Tabor. He preached there. Mm -hmm. And after his service, he sneaked away from the people. Mm -hmm. He didn't have anywhere to yeah. put the people. Mm -hmm. Go to Samaria in John chapter 4. Mm -hmm. He preached to the Samaritan woman. The Samaritan woman brought the whole city. Mm -hmm. And after preaching, he ran away from them. He walked away. <laughs> he never said, let's go. Mm -hmm. Go to the house of Jairus after yeah. raising the, that daughter from the dead. Mm -hmm. He warned Jairus to be quiet okay. about it. Tell the people that she wasn't dead. Yes. She had just gone sick. She's yeah. fine. I don't want anyone to follow me. Mm -hmm. The truth is, he had nowhere to put those people. No kupaichi, mugandi tevera. Because remember, these people needed a place where they can remain mm -hmm. gathering together mm -hmm. in his name. Mm -hmm. They couldn't follow him everywhere he went. Mm -hmm. Remember, he was moving on foot. Yes. You understand? Yes. So he would go to Samaria go to other places, back to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. The people of Samaria would not go with him to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And when he leaves Jerusalem to go to Samaria, mm -hmm. the people of Jerusalem mm -hmm. would not go with him to, 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 to Samaria. Mm -hmm. They said, this is our home. Where would, our, where, where would we go? Mm -hmm. Tell us. Could we not be in Kupi? You ought to open a problem. Apana pe kupindira. Saka... And in a big way, some sorrow. Dodam's go, you go, we scribe you, eh? I made no squan say. Kungo farm. But this is not what happened in Acts chapter 4, from, uh, let's start from Acts chapter 2, from verse 42. Yes. This is not what happened. People did not continue to be homeless mm -hmm. in the church. Yes. Yes. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. 44. And all that believed were together. All that were believed were where? Were together. We're together. All that believed were where? Were together. together. They were together. Yes. This was not possible. Mm -hmm. in the Before. days of our Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. They could not gather in one place. Yes. Not only was it not possible, mm -hmm. but it was politically mm -hmm. suicidal. Yes. Jesus could not have started a movement like that mm -hmm. in the terrific times of a road mm -hmm. and the temple system. Yes. Remember, the temple system was that the Roman government only allowed the Jews to worship by way of the temple mm -hmm. and the synagogues. Mm -hmm. Anything else outside that mm -hmm. was going to be considered unlawful gatherings. Mm -hmm. And this is why our Lord was beaten up mm -hmm. in Acts chapter 16 yes. and, and trouble brewed even in Acts chapter 19. Mm -hmm. He needed to be careful. Yes. Yeah. The Jews were under the power or the authority of the Roman government, mm -hmm. the empirical system, and they needed the political clearance mm -hmm. to do anything that brought people in huge numbers to, to themselves. Mm -hmm. And this is why whatever he did, he dismissed the people after every end of day to go back to their homes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. But after Jesus left, the apostles became bold mm -hmm. to say, we are no longer following the Judaistic teachings. Mm -hmm. yes. We are now followers of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And now we gather in Jesus' name. Yes. But he had left 
in person, he himself had left. Yes. Verse 45. And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. Yes. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple. So where were they continuing? In the temple. temple yes. And where else? And breaking bread from house to house. From house to house. Yes. Mm. Did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. So they were now gathering in houses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They would visit each other's houses, mm -hmm. convene there, mm -hmm. do services. Mm -hmm. So anyone who said, where are you going to meet? They would yes. say, we are going to meet at this brother's house. Mm -hmm. yes. Remember, they couldn't build a church building. Mm. It was not permissible. Yes. They were not free. Mm. Israel was a colony of Rome mm -hmm. at that particular time. Mm. Yeah. You understand? Yes. So the building of church buildings was done much later. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't there in the early church days. Mm. One of those reasons is what I've shared with you. Yes. The believers were not in those huge numbers. Mm -hmm. They would be in small groups and mm -hmm. they could meet in believers' houses yes. and meet from place to place and, and do such things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, we wanted to show you that one of the elements of his poverty mm -hmm. was that his body hindered him from starting a church. Yes. <laughs> In yes. Matthew 16, he said, on this rock, I, I will build, build my, my church. church. Yes. Yeah. Why not now? It's impossible. Mm -hmm. I have a hindrance. Mm -hmm. I am in this affliction. Mm -hmm. This body does not allow me yes. to start a church. Yes. When I die, I will then get rid of this body. Mm -hmm. That's when the church will start. Yes. And so inside the church, the body of Christ is not allowed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 5.15 forbade us mm -hmm. from knowing Christ after the flesh. Yes. Because the church is a house of faith. Yes. And faith is antagonized by sight. Mm -hmm. What you see, you don't you believe. believe. Yes. yes. That's why verse 17, verse 7 says, we walk not by, by sight, faith, yes. but by faith. faith. Mm -hmm. So verse, verse, verse number 15, what does it say? And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Yes. Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh. We don't know any man after the flesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, though we have known Christ after the flesh. Yes. Yet now henceforth know we know him no more. It's not allowed mm -hmm. to see Jesus walking on his feet mm -hmm. yes. into the church. Yes. <laughs> it antagonizes the doctrine of faith. Yes. yes. We believe in him mm -hmm. based on us not seeing, seeing him. him. Mm. which means his body also made him poor yeah. because it stopped many mm. from mm. believing mm. in him. Yeah. Can mm. you see these believers? First yes. Peter 1, verse number 8. For whom from verse 7. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of God, that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Yes. Whom having not seen. Jesus Christ, whom we have not seen. You love. We love him. In whom, though now you see him not. In whom, even though now mm -hmm. we see Jesus not. Yet believing. Yet we believe in him. You rejoice with joy unspeakable. And full of glory. This is the law of faith. Yes. The law of faith requires us to believe in Jesus mm -hmm. without seeing him. Yes. 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 So you see how he was made poor. Yes. Those who wanted to believe him were burned <laughs> by his flesh. Yes. They were disturbed by his flesh. Mm -hmm. They were disrupted by his flesh. Mm -hmm. And this is why Romans says, God had told Israel, mm -hmm. I lay in Zion a stone of stumbling. Mm -hmm. That he was in the body. Mm -hmm. 
is one of the reasons why Israel could not believe in him. Yes. Because faith is actually hindered by sight. Yes. So by giving, a, by putting Jesus into a body mm. and sending him to Israel, yes. God made sure Israel could not believe in him. Yes. yes. Because sight uh, hinders faith. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the elements of his poverty. poverty. Yes. Preaching a message but unable to start a congregation <laughs> that could then continue with that message. Mm. Yes. Where is your church, Jesus? I have no, no church. church. Did I not say it? I will build it later. <laughs> Why can't you build it now? <laughs> Look at the multitudes who thronged him until the, the apostles said, how can you say somebody has touched, touched you? you? A lot mm -hmm. of people are gathering around you. Mm -hmm. If it was starting a church based mm -hmm. on crowds, mm -hmm. Jesus could have started uh, a sure. multi-billion church empire. Oh, yes, yes. He couldn't start a church. Change mm -hmm. share my verse my Viripa family group, Magdo Tanga Church Magunzi Pastor. Dai Jesaka Fani Mari. Dai Aicha Gaje Mari Mazwe. Yes. So many people followed him. And yet he continued to say, my problem is, I have no, no church. Yes. Mm. The son of man has no mm. way to mm. lay his head. Mm. Imagine when they convened at an international gathering of denominations. Mm. Every pastor stand up, tell us your name and the name of your church. Mm. Jesus stands up and says, I, my name is Jesus. Mm. I have no church. <laughs> do, do but do pari zam jorsare ma as church and dina mara kan batsira ma kurano tera and chatanga church. Pas pari zino van vane vashiko vo ma church chow kan da pezo pari zao zokera ku ma church chow. Otherwise, do ma mira zogaita. What about your physical address? Mm. We have no physical address. <laughs> 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 huh? A church with no physical address, mm -hmm. a church with no place mm -hmm. that it is domiciled. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was Jesus for you, yes. and that was his poverty. Mm -hmm. yes. There were constructions that God had said to him, he had to make them mm -hmm. to qualify to start a church. Isukuno Gunongo Tenga speaker, Nesuti no Penya. Wato pastor, nichi beg, chini kicheka zarama pepa, kanyiru wa nonsense, chi portfolio, chini kichi chipenya, wanu waka chuonu wano fungota mene, nchaka vahudenga, chiri portfolio ya imomo, uchaka mwa mzunga hiri wako, kana vahiri, wani vachikoti yes papa, yes papa, utanga kutawara nonsense, unaita marish singa ita. Yes. Do shaka ita mazivana. Mm. Chi imagina kuti, shaka torira jeso three years, Kutanya so ziva kutinduda utanga chichi yangu sayi. Mm -hmm. Kuti govepo. Mm -hmm. Shuka mtori la rufu. Yes. Shuka mtori la kutunga mirira. Vanu na mwayamche na katukuwa apostora. Musawa na chamune ita. Yes. Kuchika mwayamche na uya. Mm -hmm. Yo wangu wana sutu chete ya white. Mm -hmm. Ne buti ya white. Hey. Ojibu watanga chichi. Ne buti ya white. Ah, Pastor, but no was one. Look at the game, and you know, that is a muscle. I get to go soon as the white tea upgrade the game. So, dear white game, and the upgrade one. He game in the one or two. The most concept in Gori Mujer. Kutoka Chena. Kutoka Chena. Agusu Chena go good is smart. They go to the Muchena. What about the Muchena? What figures in Chena? Can't I read the rules of Virica? Majaka Pendama make a black, a kite, a white. Chaka Zaramba would change a man. It's here, Zak in a foot. Zaka 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 as a gander in the ground. Yes. And the Zoti Tambo, the Rimu speaker, Nemo Mike, in the Zaka Pet, who are footed in white. Was Gana Maraca Venga Blake, Moto for a footy speaker, I open the Tambo, they said Zeta White. Now turning in me, am I where I stay? My Janish family, I keep her killed on a long second road. Yes. So they have these tables. 
Yes. They were all painted white, and it's dawning in me now to say. Well, they yes. painted white. The speaker, the tables around, everything was white. Everything was made white. <laughs> <laughs> it's madness, Pastor. <laughs> all right, believers. So, coming back to verse 24 of Colossians chapter 1, mm -hmm. I find that scripture to be highly useful yes. as we wind up our service. Mm -hmm. Paul says, I rejoice in my sufferings for you. Yes. Now, th let's, let's pause a little bit and ask, as we sit here right now, mm -hmm. how many pastors can talk about suffering for your congregation? Mm -hmm. Or better still, what constitutes suffering, suffering. for the believers? Mm -hmm. Just ask yourself, has your pastor suffered for you? Has your bishop suffered for you? Has your prophet suffered for you? <laughs> Has your evangelist suffered for you? <laughs> and what really constitutes suffering? <laughs> because if a man does not want to work, <laughs> it depends on church money. <laughs> and the people in his church are poor, they can't give him enough money. He ends up saying, I have not paid my rentals. Mm -hmm. I am suffering for you. Mm -hmm. That's not what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. We are talking about something gra more grave mm -hmm. than inconvenience. Mm -hmm. Because that's not suffering. That's inconvenience. Mm -hmm. Don't confuse yourself. Yes, the men of God suffered for the people that he preaches to. That's the, the, the question. Mm -hmm. Because we, we don't have that. Yes. Mm -hmm. We don't have that today. If there's anything, our pastors and prophets and apostles are now celebrities. Mm -hmm. They are now treated as the V, 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 IPs. Some of them are even given presidential treatment. Mm -hmm. They now have more comfort than even the president in the of the state. Yes. Number one, they are not the ones who do the don the, the donkey work. Mm -hmm. You don't see the man of God with his hands laboring in the daily activities of the church administration. Yes. He appoints people who does or who do all the hard work. Mm -hmm. The best he does is he comes in his shiny or expensive suit with his bodyguards, and he goes onto the pulpit, and he's the last to arrive, mm -hmm. and the first to leave. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even know what happened in organizing the church. Mm -hmm. Those who are seated at the overflow, the poor people, they can't even shake hands with him. Mm -hmm. He can't shake hands with his own people. Yes. In order for you to meet with him, mm -hmm. he needs to be paid some money. Mm -hmm for a special meeting with the men of God. Mm -hmm. Can that man suffer for his people? Mm. But let's not ask a lot of questions before we find the answer, mm -hmm. because others might say, but if there are so many people in the church who are able to do that, why should the men of God do any work? Mm -hmm. Galatians chapter 6, mm -hmm. verse 17 even if we might hear that you have a, a memory problem, mm -hmm. try never to forget Colossians chapter 6, verse 17. Yes. As read with Colossians 1.24. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. These are some of the scriptures that made me very affrighted when I was asking myself, do I really fit the criteria of a preacher? when we look at the standards of servants of God, yes. which are in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And this is why the way I work, I don't compare myself with those that are in the churches. Mm -hmm. I do what I know is what is written in the scriptures. Yes. Because these things were written for our learning. Mm -hmm. yes. That we, through comfort of scriptures, might have hope. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. The practice of the church the conduct of the church, the conduct of the men of God. It's all there in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Why are we preachers treating ourselves as emperors in the house of God? Mm -hmm. Why are we preachers treating ourselves 
as the royal families mm -hmm. in the house of God and the rest of the church are commoners. Mm -hmm. Why is the man of God the most comfortable mm -hmm. and the less in terms of laboring mm -hmm. in the house of God? Why? Now look at an apostle to whose name is credited 70% of the New Testament books. Mm -hmm. They are the works of his hands. Mm -hmm. He said, I am suffering for you mm -hmm. and yes. I rejoice yes. in those sufferings. Yes. Let's read verse number 17. Let's find out how did he suffer. Mm -hmm. Yes. From hence for the let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. <laughs> Again. From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Ah. Mm. You bear in your spirit the marks of the Lord Jesus. These things are spiritual. In, in my, my body. body. Am I right? It's, it's not the spirit, it's the body. It's the, the body. body. Mumuviri wa pauro. Mune maronda a Jesus Christ. He has wounds mm -hmm. poor in yes. his body. Yes. They belong to Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those wounds were supposed to come to Jesus. <laughs> so we were wondering, how do people bring the wounds of Jesus mm -hmm. upon a man yeah. called Paul? Yeah. Are the people unable to distinguish between Jesus and Paul? Paul. This is Paul, man. Mm. This is not Jesus. Yes. If you want to beat Jesus, mm -hmm. find Jesus. Mm. Don't beat Paul. Yes. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the answer is the doctrine of the poor man. Yes. Yes. The devil knows that Jesus loves to hide. Mm. And he looks for Jesus mm. until he finds him in Paul. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> huh? Yes. Uh. <laughs> then he is <poised> beaten. <laughs> so, what you have right now in your life that you claim it came to you because of Jesus, mm -hmm. it's money. Mm -hmm. The money you have, you walk around saying, Jesus gave me this money. I was given, I made this money because of Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, how comfortable and how convenient you have become in your testimony. Let's bring Paul and ask him, what do you have, Paul, mm -hmm. that you received because of Christ? Paul says, I have revelation, revelation. because of Christ. I have hope of, of eternal life because, because of, of Christ. Christ. I have an assignment to redeem a little city mm -hmm. with, from the bulwarks of the great king yes. because of Christ. Yes. And based on that, mm -hmm. I have wounds yes. because, because of Christ. Of Christ. <laughs> what the stark difference yeah. that we see between you. Mm -hmm. You bring out dollars mm -hmm. to prove Christ in your life. Christ did not bring dollars to Paul. Mm -hmm. He brought an assignment yes. to save sinners. Yes. Yes. And he also said, I will bring wounds mm -hmm. for this assignment. Mm -hmm. So, you understand now that in the New Testament era, the poor man is Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. but he is in the preacher. Yes. And we know what happens when this is done. Mm -hmm. We see a suffering man mm -hmm. yes. with an assignment of redemption. Yes. Amen. The man must rescue a little city. Yes. Whenever you hear the story of the poor man, mm -hmm. there's a little city to redeem. Yes. If there's no little city to redeem, mm -hmm. to rescue, mm -hmm. then there's no need for a poor man. Mm -hmm. God only introduces a poor man yes. when there's a rescue yes. operation yes. that he wants to employ. Amen. So you don't find the Holy Spirit in a man mm -hmm. when God has not committed to redeem yes. those that are held by the devil hostage. Amen. God wants to rescue mm -hmm. few men mm -hmm. in this little city. Yes. But he needs a poor man. Mm -hmm. So what does he do? The poor man principle is a vile body principle. Yes. He is poor 
on account of his nature. It's not on account of money, on account of anything. It's nature that makes him poor. And when you find him in that poverty, blessed are they who shall be gracious to the poor because they shall have God in their debt. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the poor man is Christ in a body, yes. but this time in the form of Holy Spirit. Yes. Christ in a body yes. to rescue those that are in the devil's hands. Yes. Redemption, salvation, mm -hmm. redemption, salvation, redemption, salvation. Mm -hmm. That's what puts Jesus into poverty. Mm -hmm. The poor man was not there to redeem marriages or businesses. Mm -hmm. No. He wanted to redeem souls. Yes. So the Bible in first, uh, Colossians 1.13, it says, uh, who hath redeemed us from the power of darkness yes. mm -hmm. and, and yes, transferred yes. us yes. into the kingdom okay. of his yes. dear son. Yes. We need deliverance from the great king according to Ecclesiastes 9, mm -hmm. 13 to 16, mm -hmm. who builded great bulwarks yes. to subdue the few men mm -hmm. who were in this little city. Yes. Yes. The city is described as little mm -hmm. because the power that the devil holds is too much for the earth to fight and win without the help of God. Mm -hmm. The devil has nothing to fear mm -hmm. in this world mm -hmm. outside what God brings through Christ. Yeah. The devil only trembles at Christ. Mm -hmm. The devil does not tremble at the armies of our governments. No. That's why most of them are actually being used by the devil to bring disorder, mm -hmm. social and political unrest, destruction of property, destruction of lives, economic turmoil and social turmoil, upheavals and conflicts and confrontations. Mm -hmm. Nothing would, good is coming out. Yeah. from these establishments. Yeah. The devil can use any institution of this world. There's no one who can wed him off. The only institution the devil is afraid of is the one established by the poor man. Yes. This one, it has used a surprise attack strategy. He used wisdom. Wisdom, mm -hmm. wisdom not, not strength. strength. Yes. So this is why when we sit here, to preach the gospel, mm. you wonder, is this really necessary? Because the poor man does not come with the th bolts of lightning and <laughs> thunderings <laughs> to show you strength to defeat yes, the gospel. Yes. The poor man does not use his strength, mm. he uses wisdom. wisdom. Yes. This is why the preaching of the cross is a foolishness mm. to them that perish. Mm. But unto us that believe, yes. it is the power oh, of God, God unto salvation. Mm -hmm. As we speak the word of God like this, mm -hmm. this is the power of God. Yes. We are releasing into your spirit. Yes. So, what happens when you meet a poor man without knowing this principle mm -hmm. in this admonition? You would think that is a useless man. Mm -hmm. You will not honor him. Yes. And this is why Ecclesiastes ended by saying, no despite the heroic efforts him. of yes. the poor man, mm. no man remembered mm. the yes. poor man. Yes. Yeah. Even his words mm. are not heard. Yes. Yes. Give us verse 16. Yes. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. You see now. Mm -hmm. yes. So if you had made yourself the poor man in Proverbs 19, <laughs> would you fit into this scripture now? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> yeah. So by wisdom, mm -hmm. which is the word of God, yes. Solomon did not know what is calling wisdom mm -hmm. is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. What is calling wisdom is the revealed word, mm -hmm. which we preach here. Yes. Mm -hmm. By this revelation, mm -hmm. Sinners are redeemed yes. by this word. Even those who are suffering from demonic attacks, mm -hmm. they are spirits that are haunting you. Come to us yes. by the word of God. You will be redeemed. Mm -hmm. 
But as it was in Solomon's matter and in Solomon's story, mm -hmm. yes. you will not be able to follow Christ mm -hmm. even if the Lord uses us to redeem you from the devil. Mm -hmm. Soon after you are redeemed, you will despise the poor man's wisdom. Mm -hmm. How many of us who testified of the goodness of the word of God we are preaching mm -hmm. that have now walked away from the gospel, mm -hmm. despising the wisdom of God. Yes. It's natural. Yes. It's natural. Yes. The point I wanted to bring home is that the poor man principle did not end with the ascension of Jesus. Mm -hmm. It is still around. Mm -hmm. And God wants you to remember that if you do not realize mm -hmm. that the Holy Spirit sent from God mm -hmm. to preach the gospel, mm -hmm. we will not do so outside the body. Mm -hmm. He needs to be inside a man for that man to preach the gospel to you. Yes. And when the man preaches the gospel to you, you are hearing the words of a poor man. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. The problem is, if you are not gracious to the poor man, mm -hmm. yeah. you are not going to have God in your debt. Mm -hmm. You are going to be in debt towards Which? God. Yeah. Because there is a reverse mm -hmm. a, a repercussion. Mm -hmm. If you are not gracious, mm -hmm. God is not in your debt. Dead. You are in mm -hmm. debt towards God. Mm -hmm. yes. That's why in Matthew 25, mm -hmm. those who, to whom he said, I was he thirsty, you did not me. give me drink. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, he said unto them, mm -hmm. go into the lake of fire, yes. reserved for the devil mm -hmm. and his angels. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, they had a debt towards God oh, yes. and God made them pay mm -hmm. by casting them into mm -hmm. the lake of fire. Read that part, Pastor, where he said they should go into the lake of fire. Yes. Yes. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, you cast into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. They are now going into utter destruction. Yes. yes. Why? For I was in hunger. Because I was hungry. And you gave me no meat. You see now. Yes. Because I was poor. Mm -hmm. yes. You were not gracious. Yes. I was thirsty. Mm -hmm. And you gave me no drink. Yes. What else? I was a stranger. I was a stranger. And you took me not You in. were not hospitable to me. Naked. Naked. And you clothed me not. Yes. Sick and in prison. And you visited me not. Yes. Then shall they also answer him. But Lord, saying, you went back to heaven a long time ago. Yes. Yes. Lord, when saw we thee and hungered. We couldn't have seen you hungry. Remember, you are now exalted. Or yes. a Seated by the right hand of God. Yes. Yes. Or a thirst. Yes. Or a stranger. Yes. Or naked. Yes. Or sick. Yes. Or in prison. Yes. And did not minister unto thee. When did we see you, Jesus? Mm -hmm. You are now exalted. Yes. yes. You are no longer in the flesh. Mm -hmm. How could do we see you poor? Yes. So we could replace verse 43. Mm -hmm. All these words, it's, 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 it's verse 44. Yeah. They shall say unto him, Lord, mm -hmm. when did we saw you mm -hmm. hungry, thirsty, stranger, naked, yeah. sick, in prison? Mm -hmm. We could summarize all these situations yes. and say, for I was poor mm -hmm. and you were not gracious to me. Hey. Yes. 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 We could replace the words that are in verse number mm -hmm. 42 when he said, For I was hungry, mm -hmm. I was thirsty, mm -hmm. I was a stranger, mm -hmm. naked, mm -hmm. sick, and in prison. Mm -hmm. We could replace all these words in verse 42 okay. and 43 mm -hmm. and summarize by saying, For I was poor mm -hmm. and you were not yes. gracious yes. to me. Yes. So yes. Matthew 25, verse 42 and 43 mm -hmm. is Telling us mm -hmm. and expanding what is the meaning of Proverbs 19, 17. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Be gracious yes. to the poor man yes. Amen. so that God may give you a reward mm -hmm. for the good deed. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Be gracious mm -hmm. to the poor man. Mm -hmm. God will be in your debt. Yes. What if I decide not to be gracious? Mm -hmm. Well, you are going to be in debt <laughs> towards God. Yes. So we can say, 
one who is not gracious to a poor man mm -hmm. is a debtor to God. Oh, yes. And he shall pay mm -hmm. God for his evil deed. Hey. But the Lord clarified it. Mm -hmm. He said in verse number 42, mm -hmm. I will say unto them, mm -hmm. depart from mm -hmm. me. You mm -hmm. are cursed mm -hmm. into everlasting fire. Oh, yeah. Prepared mm -hmm. for the devil mm -hmm. yes. and his angels. Yes. What are the repercussions of deciding mm -hmm. not to be gracious? Mm -hmm. Eternal condemnation. Oh, yes. 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 You understand? Yes. yes. Why are there so much repercussions? Mm. For something that looks like a, 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 man, a matter concerning an expression of mm. sympathy and mm. pity, mm. Uh, which is a call to my humanity. Yes. Why are there spiritual repercussions? <laughs> huh? So, we are going to go to the city. We are going to go to the city. We are going to go to the city. We are Rubbish, no vandenda. In Ganzi, Mosha, good in the governor, Zigo, or Moto, Yanya, Yuta, Mosha, would have a say. Murgona Pananyancho. So the repercussions of not being gracious to the poor mm -hmm. cannot be applied on the issue of okay. any poor person oh, we meet yes. in the street. Yes. No. Yes. It can't form a doctrine mm. that Elder Jeremiah met a poor person in the street it, and, and it, Elder Jeremiah mm. refused to be gracious. Mm. So Elder Jeremiah will go into everlasting fire. Uh, Your poverty cannot qualify yeah. to send Elder Jeremiah yeah. to the yeah. everlasting, everlasting fire. fire. Yes. The poor men must have greater credentials mm. than ordinary Material world poverty. Yes. The repercussions of deciding not to be gracious mm -hmm. are actually of eternal nature. Yes. Everlasting fire. Kutidin zindaganyi pa zindaganyi ma bo fure pa dombo dombo marunde la dola do vandan zindine da ku everlasting fire. Asi ite. Asi gone. Nekuti da ishitora uro mbo ku endesa nuko zaro moto. Jesus ha isi ita thirty three years hari pan. Asi gone. Aingo the standard ya ku enda zaro moto neku denga ma poor people. Gona na iko kucha gavana maningo ba chita umbra mungu ba chita mwa ku denga maningo ba ramando esa zaro moto anjani degu ya iko. Why did he come? Yes. So those who shall attract everlasting fire mm -hmm. are not those who do not give poor people mm. in our societies. Mm. No. It's all about Christ. Yes. The issue is concerning Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. Be gracious yes. to the poor man yes. and you shall be a lender to God. Mm -hmm. And God will repay you of your good deed. Mm -hmm. So we are going to see Basilei doing exactly mm -hmm. what we have said. Mm -hmm. But we are also going to warn you that this matter will affect even those who are rich in this world with money. Yes, yes. But we won't go without looking at our final scripture. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 7. Mm -hmm. Remember, the whole matter of the weakness of the poverty of Christ is based on his body. Yes. That's why Colossians 1.24 said, I carry the marks of okay, Jesus Christ, Christ in my body. Mm -hmm. yes. He said, I, I now rejoice in my sufferings for you mm -hmm. to fill up that which is behind mm -hmm. of the afflictions yes, of Christ, Christ in my flesh, yes. my body. Mm -hmm. For his body's sake, mm -hmm. which, is which is the church. Yes. Remember, Christ was in the flesh to suffer mm -hmm. for his church, mm -hmm. which is his body. Yes. yes. So the sufferings of Paul, mm -hmm. they are coming because of the church, mm -hmm. yes. to save the church, mm -hmm. to minister to the church, Amen. to nourish the church. Yes. It brings sufferings mm -hmm. to the preacher. Yes. Mm -hmm afflictions mm -hmm. in the flesh yes. of the preacher. Mm -hmm. Why is that? That's the principle. Mm -hmm. yes. The savior responsibility is not a comfort responsibility. Oh, yes. It's a pain and affliction responsibility. Yes. So Christ is no longer in his own body. Mm -hmm. yes. Christ is now in his servant's yes. body. Yes. This time, the servant is poor. Amen. Mm -hmm. What does Christ do 
with Paul's body. Mm -hmm. He takes the body of Paul mm -hmm. through sufferings. Yes. That suffering of Paul mm -hmm. is the poverty because it's a suffering as a result of his nature. Yes. For example, like we said earlier on, if Jesus had a body which is made of a flame of fire, mm -hmm. there is no one who can throw stones and hit mm -hmm. a flame of fire. No. There is no one who can use a shambo mm -hmm. and bring pain mm -hmm. to a flame of fire. Yes. No so anyone who brings pain to Jesus, mm -hmm. it's because of his poverty, yes. his body. Yes. I am suffering. Because I am in a body. Mm -hmm. Like in John chapter 4. I am tired mm -hmm. because I am in a body. Yes. Take me out of this body. Yes. I don't See. get tired. Mm -hmm. So now Christ is in Paul. Mm -hmm. And the limitations of the flesh mm -hmm. continue. Yes. Oh, yes. But they are not belonging to Paul. Mm -hmm. yes. They belong to Christ. Yes. So the problems are a many of them. A myriad of them. Yes. Number one. Those who see Paul, for example, limping mm -hmm. because he was beaten last night yes. by armed robbers mm -hmm. on his way from a crusade to another crusade, mm -hmm. they are going to laugh at Paul and say, we want you not to walk at mm -hmm. night. The robbers will kill you. <laughs> we are going to bury you very soon. Yes. You don't listen to advice. Mm -hmm. They do not know that the pain that Paul is feeling mm -hmm does not belong to him. Yes. It is Christ's pain. Yes. So you are not mocking Paul in essence. Mm -hmm. You are mocking the owner mm -hmm. of those afflictions. Yes. Mm -hmm. To whom do they belong? They belong to Christ. Christ. Yes. He said to fill up mm -hmm. that which is behind mm -hmm. yes. of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh. Yes. So the pains of Christ in Paul are not so that he can pay for the sins of the people. Mm -hmm. As far as the price of our salvation is concerned, mm -hmm. Christ paid alone. Yes. He doesn't need help from me, from Paul, from Peter, from any preacher. Mm -hmm. Christ carried all our sorrows mm -hmm. as far as paying the price mm -hmm. of our salvation is concerned. Mm -hmm. If you study Colossians 1.24 very well, mm -hmm. You will see that the pains that Paul is talking about, mm -hmm. he's not talking about redemption pains. Mm -hmm. He's talking about sanctification pains. Right. Yes. The process of raising a mature church mm -hmm. is a responsibility Christ did not want to take. Mm -hmm. He said, I will give birth to the testament. Mm -hmm. That's the pains I will suffer. Mm -hmm. But as far as preaching, baptizing uh, sinners to repentance mm -hmm. and then raising them in the gospel mm -hmm. that they may become developed believers, mature believers, mm -hmm. in terms of understanding doctrine mm -hmm. and their way of life. Mm -hmm. I will only provide the grace, mm -hmm. the actual manual work mm -hmm. is for my servants to do. Yes. So right now, Christ is only releasing grace. Yes. But the donkey work is done by the preacher. Amen. Yes. And this is why the preacher ends up with marks of Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. These marks are for his body's sake. Yes. They are not suffering to redeem Christ. Mm -hmm. They are suffering to finish up the work that Christ started. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Just like we see our fathers do, all they do is to get their wives pregnant. <laughs> the nine months' pains are not for the men. Mm. The best he can do is to buy whatever the pregnant wife wants. Yes. You want coke, I'll buy you coke. Mm. May you sleep well, my darling. Yes. But good night, I'm now sleeping. <laughs> the woman twists and tosses and yes. turns the whole yes. night. Yes. The man is snoring. Mm. And the women don't like that. <laughs> this man is wicked. He got me into this trouble. He doesn't want to share the pain. Mm. It's not natural to mm -hmm. share the pain. Mm. 
The man can only plant his seed, yeah. but he can't help you carry the pregnancy. Oh, yes. You are going to be alone mm. in the maternity ward, yes. and you are going to carry the pain mm. of giving birth. Amen. That's motherhood. Yes. That's spiritual. Yes. The man paid bride price. He mm. suffered alone mm. to bring you home. Mm. It's now your time mm. to labor with the pregnancy. Amen. So Christ prayed for all our salvation mm. on the cross. Mm. It's now time for me and Pastor Balo and Pastor Rengu and others mm. to labor. Mm. Mm. That's why Paul says in Galatians 4.19, yes. my little children yes. Yes. Of, of whom I, I travail. travail. Again. The way to travel, it mm. means I labor yes. with the grief and the sorrow and the mm. pain mm. in birth okay. until Christ yes. be formed in you. Yeah. This is a woman mm. yes. traveling in the maternity ward. Mm. The man is not helping with the pain. Yes. So Christ is not a reckless a husband. He did his part. Yes. But according to nature, mm. the wife has a part to play. play you will carry this pregnancy, my wife. Mm. I love you so much. Mm -hmm. Make sure you eat correctly. Mm. I don't want no harm to come to my child. <laughs> oh, yes. Remember, this child is not your child. It's my <laughs> child. But your body will carry my child yes. to full term. Mm. It is the design of God. Mm -hmm. So, Christ is in the preacher. Mm -hmm. And he is the poor man. Yes. Will you be gracious? Will God be in your debt? Mm -hmm. What is the plan? Is to rescue the little city. Mm -hmm. Whenever you find him in this poor state, mm -hmm. there is a city to rescue. Amen. That's the principle. It's in Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Mm -hmm. Whenever he's a poor man, mm -hmm. he has a city to rescue. Yes. So let's read it, our last scripture, 2 Corinthians 12, 7. Mm -hmm. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to befet me, mm -hmm. lest I should be exalted above measure. Mm -hmm. So according to Paul, there was abundance of revelations mm -hmm. given to Paul. Yes. And God realized what we have planted in Paul is of great value. Mm -hmm. It's time to afflict him. Mm. Yeah. So there was a thorn in Paul's flesh, yes. the message of Satan, to buffet Paul yes. so that he can become, he cannot become proud. Yes. God gave Paul abundant revelations. revelations. And on that account, mm -hmm. God said, it's to rescue my people. I have to afflict you. Mm -hmm. The rescue operation is an affliction operation. Yes. yes. Did you follow, Pastor? Yes, I'm um, enjoying it and seeing to it that many people would take or would love to personify themselves and associate themselves with this scripture. Yes. But what is more interesting is now the cause. Because he says, and lest I should be exalted above me through the abundance so of anyone, the revelation. Anyone who is sick... So, <laughs> Can you say, my sickness is a thorn in my flesh. I'm diabetic. It's a thorn in my flesh. I'm asthmatic. It's a thorn in my flesh. My husband beats me up. It's a thorn in my flesh. What revelations? What happened? And we want to understand how much revelations have you received from God? No, I don't have revelation. I'm just a wife at home. But I find myself with a thorn in my flesh. <laughs> and we actually have an English proverb yes. that speaks about a thorn in the flesh. Mm -hmm. They wanted to say something. I was saying there's a big agenda here. Yes. <laughs> Apostle Paul receiving this revelation, it is only to rescue, to the, rescue the city. city. Yes. yes. And then you. <laughs> and, and, and we are wondering, <laughs> where have you preached so far? <laughs> <laughs> For you to say, <laughs> you have a son. Am I these scriptures? Yeah. You don't go out that as I go to go go. You are now a ticket or number one go. Do you want to build with thorn in your flesh? Go go. You forty five dollars. You will also. She goes no minutes. 
<laughs> because of the value yes. Yes. that God had placed inside the Paul, yes. inside the earthen vessel, mm. just like in Christ. Yes. Christ was a treasure mm. in a body. body. Yes. Mm. Now Paul has a body. Yes. God has placed the treasure mm -hmm. in Paul. Mm. He is a a, a vessel. Yes. So in 2 Corinthians 4 7, he says, mm -hmm. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. Yes. yes. What he called this treasure mm -hmm. in verse 7 yes. is the revelation That's, of God. Yes. yes. You can go back to verse number 3, 4, and 5, and 6. Mm -hmm. He was talking about the gospel. Mm -hmm. The treasure is the gospel. gospel. Yes. Mm -hmm. In chapter 12, mm -hmm. he calls it abundant, abundant. revelations. Mm -hmm. yes. It's the same thing. Yes. yes. Once God places this revelation inside a body, God will bring afflictions mm -hmm. on the body yes. so that it becomes undesirable mm -hmm. to listen to the preacher. Yes. So that Isaiah 53 remains true mm -hmm. until the time of Christ. Yes. When you look at him, yes. there is no, no beauty, beauty that we should like him. No comeliness. There's no comeliness in yes. the preaching of the gospel. Yes. Amen. God place, places treasure mm -hmm. in a human body. body. And so that's the, stri the strict mm -hmm. application mm -hmm. of the doctrine of the poor man. Anengaka takura uchengere usinga ite. Pata chinza murombo kan. Ona izo chita mfunzo tano gara kupi. Arukuta ana kwa ano gara. Makambo nzuko muna nza ana kwa ano gara. Neo kumba kwenye nde kupi zonza atina kumba nungu famba. Maraja tibatini. Chaifan hotanga chini hai pasta. Mutangi machaka kuku gara. Mwuzo tanga upari. Ay, ay, ay. Amen. Look at Peter. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, follow me. Yes. And yes. from henceforth, you shall catch men. Mm -hmm. Since Jesus has nowhere to, to live, mm -hmm. and poor Peter is following <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> will Peter have somewhere to live? <laughs> no. 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 The state of Jesus mm -hmm. is the sta same state as the state of preachers. Yes. yes. The preacher's life Mm. must be similar in nature yes. with the life of Christ yes. in those 33 years. Yes. Amen. You understand? Yes. Mm. All right. So Paul is telling us that Christ is living in me mm. yes. and that is the continuation of the poor man. Mm. Yes. Remember, if you want to make it to heaven, mm. that is to get a reward from God. Amen. Yes. That is to have yes, God in your did. debt. Mm -hmm. Yes. The rule is be gracious <laughs> to, the, to the poor man. Yes. Yeah. What makes the man poor mm -hmm. is not his wallet. No. Mm -hmm. What makes the man poor mm -hmm. is his nature. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's in a vile body. Yes. And the vile body is where the gospel is preached mm -hmm. all the time. Yes. If Jesus is to come back today, mm -hmm. Even in this studio, mm. he will not preach. Mm. Yes. He will say, I'm not allowed yes. by the principles of godliness. Yes. What I can do is what I did to Paul. Yes. I met with Paul yes. and told him to go and preach. Yes. You see, yes. I could not preach myself yes. to the Corinthians. Yes. I sent Paul to the Corinthians. Mm. Yes. But Paul says, at midday, mm. Jesus appeared to me. Mm. Why couldn't Jesus go to preach mm. to Corinth? Yes. The answer is the doctrine of the poor man. Mm. At that level, ask Paul, mm. Jesus was no longer a poor man. Mm -hmm. That's why Paul was blind for three days yes. after meeting yes. with Jesus. Yes. Such a man cannot be poor. <laughs> Who talks with a man and leaves him blind? Yeah. Yeah. Chapters <laughs> <laughs> 
But for those who want to know why Jesus blinded Paul, mm. I have an answer to that. I am an apostle. Am I not an apostle? You are. I know why Jesus <laughs> made Paul blind yes. in Acts chapter 9. Yes. The answer is in John chapter 9, mm. verse number uh, 39. Yes. And Jesus said, For judgment I am come into this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind. All right, verse 40. And some of the Pharisees which were Again. And some of the Pharisees which were Again. With him, and some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words, mm -hmm. and said unto him, Are we blind also? Yes. Jesus said unto them, If you were blind, you should have no sin. But now you say we see, therefore your sin remaineth. What kind of people talked with Jesus? The, the Pharisees. Pharisees. So they said we see. Mm. Yes. And Jesus said, those who claim to see, see. Mm. when I meet with them, mm. I make them blind. blind. Yes. <laughs> was not Paul a Pharisee? He was. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 3, oh, the book God. of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 4. <laughs> there are Pharisees. Yeah. If I meet a Pharisee mm -hmm. who thinks that he is not blind, I will make him blind. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Though I might also have confidence in the flesh. Yes. If any, ma any other man thinks that he is way off, we might trust in the it flesh. Faster, pastor. I am more. Yes. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel. All right. You were circumcised eight days after you were born. You are a child of Israel. Of the tribe of Benjamin. You are of the tribe of Benjamin. And Hebrew of the you Hebrews. You are a Hebrew of Hebrews. As touching the law. As touching the law. A Pharisee. A Pharisee. <laughs> <laughs> the moment Paul was a Pharisee, yes. he fell into the bracket <laughs> of, those, of those covered <laughs> under John chapter 9, nine. verse 39. <laughs> They walk around uh, claiming that they, they see. see. Yes. So Jesus said, yes. you want to shut down mm. the sight of a Pharisee yes. and open the sight of an apostle. Amen. So the sight that Paul lost yes. was the sight of, an, of, a, of a Pharisee. <laughs> and the sight that he gained <laughs> is the sight of an apostle. Amen. From that Amen. moment he gained Amen. sight again. Amen. He was no longer a Pharisee. Yes. He was now an apostle. <laughs> Clap hands for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Aguru! <laughs> let's let's finish our last scripture. Remember, Second Corinthians twelve. Yes. We had just read verse seven. Yes. For we want to see yes. the poor man in Paul. Mm -hmm. The poor man in Paul. Yes. Each time he is a poor man, yes. he has come to rescue a city. Yes. The rescue operation. Mm -hmm. did not end with his ascension to heaven. Mm -hmm. It continued. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't continue it himself. Yes. So he delegated the poor man assignment mm -hmm. to Holy Spirit. Yes. The poor man assignment continues. Yes. Albeit, it's now in the hands of Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. Verse 8. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice. So Paul prayed to Jesus three times. Mm. That it might depart from me. That Jesus may take away the messenger of Satan, mm -hmm. the thorn in his, his flesh. flesh. We all know from Galatians 4, from verse 11, yes. that the thorn in Paul's flesh yes. was an eyesight, eyesight problem. Yes. yes. We don't have to read it, okay? Mm -hmm. You can read it in your own time. Yes. But you already know he was sick yes. with an eyesight problem. Mm -hmm. yes. His eyes were so all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for the reason that he wanted to be cured mm -hmm. of his eyesight problem, mm -hmm. which is now an affliction mm -hmm. on his flesh, flesh. Yes. Paul pray, prayed three times to Jesus yes. mm -hmm. that this weakness mm -hmm. may depart That's from Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Jesus said, I will heal you, Paul. 
receive your sight, be healed <laughs> in my name right now, mm. by fire, by thunder, mm -hmm. out in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Paul would fall down and start to throw some feet mm -hmm. to roll on the floor. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. after some moments, Jesus would say, you are free, you can go. Mm. Did Jesus heal Paul of this eyesight disease? Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, Jesus said to Paul, My grace is sufficient for thee. My grace, Paul, mm -hmm. is sufficient <laughs> for you. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. What? <laughs> my strength is made perfect, perfect in weakness. What? For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Do you still remember 2 yes. Corinthians 13, verse 4? <laughs> yes. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he lives by the power of God. <laughs> Remove the word power and mm. put the word strength. Yes. For though he was crucified through weakness, yes. yet he lives by the strength of God. You see now. Yes. yes. <laughs> so the redemptive operation, mm. the redemptive ministry, yes. is a weakness ministry mm. which God sustains through his own power. Amen. Yes. The preacher must be weak. Mm -hmm. And God then shows that the preacher is not weak yes. by periodically manifesting his power. Hey. So that when you look at the preacher, mm -hmm. you don't see strength written all over his face. Mm -hmm. yes. You look down upon him. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a poor man's ministry. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that the world may despise the preacher mm -hmm. and in the process yes. reject their own salvation. Amen. Yes. Amen. So Paul is sick. Mm -hmm. yes. And he says, Lord, heal me. I'm mm -hmm. doing your work. Look, yes. I would do a better job mm -hmm. if I am not sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many times did he pray? <laughs> Three <laughs> times. Three times. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, Oh, mm -hmm. this boy mm -hmm. does not understand no. mm -hmm. the poor man's ministry. <laughs> yes. No, yes. Paul. Yes. You will not be healed. Yes. Mm -hmm. The poor man manifests better yes. if you are a sick man. Yes. So you will be sick, but you will never die of this disease. Yes. Go and preach. Amen. And true to his word, mm. Paul did not die of an eyesight disease. Oh, yes. He was killed by the Roman <laughs> emperor yes. because yes. of a death sentence mm. yes. uh, pronounced upon him on account of false accusations mm. yes. made against him by his fellow countrymen, the Jews. Yes. Verse number nine again. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Yes. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities. Why? That the power of Christ may rest upon me. Verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities. I am happy with my sickness. <laughs> in reproaches. In reproaches. In necessities. In necessities. In persecutions. In persecutions. In distresses. In distresses. For Christ's sake. Why? For when I am weak, <laughs> so, then am I strong. Uh, uh. <laughs> Dog <Don't> demon. <laughs> <laughs> For when I am weak, <laughs> then, then I, am I strong. I strong. Yeah. But the least of conditions mm -hmm. that the apostle preaches under mm -hmm. is a description of a poor man. Yes. Look at verse 10. Yes. 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 What conditions mm -hmm. are you preaching under Paul? Mm -hmm. Well, I preach in infirmities. Mm -hmm. I preach in reproaches. Mm -hmm. I preach in necessities. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't have enough mm -hmm. for me to do the work I'm doing, mm -hmm. for me to survive. Mm -hmm. I also preach in persecutions. Mm -hmm. I also preach in distresses mm -hmm. for Christ's sake. Amen. But he says, I take pleasure in mm. these things. Amen. So the apostle does not complain. Why am I sick? Why can't he heal me? Where are you, God? The God that's, that answereth with fire. Where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of Elisha? Mm. The, the God of Elisha answered the poor. He said, I'm here. Yeah. He said, I'm here, but you will not be healed. <laughs> you will not be healed. Yes. <laughs> so, believers, this is the standard life of a preacher, mm -hmm. particularly an apostle. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the standard life yes. of an apostle. Yes. Yes. He carries in his body mm -hmm. the, the pains, pains of Christ for his church yes. to fulfill 
the poor men's ministry. Yes. Because he can't rescue the city yes. if he is not in that poor state. Mm -hmm. I take pleasure in my infirmities. Mm -hmm. So, do you complain that Jesus has refused to heal you? <laughs> he says, no, 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 no. Most <laughs> gladly, <laughs> therefore, I will rather glory in my infirmities mm -hmm. that the power of Christ mm -hmm. may rest upon, upon me. me. Yes. Most gladly, therefore. Mm -hmm. I like the second part. Most mm -hmm. gladly, mm -hmm. therefore. Yes. Will I rather glory mm -hmm. in my infirmities. Mm -hmm. Yes. In my infirmities. Mm -hmm. The man of God is an ordinary man when you look at him mm -hmm. and judge him on the basis of how he appears to you. But inside of him, he is a treasury. Mm -hmm. The man of God is a treasury mm -hmm. because inside him are hidden the treasures of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. The combination of these two are a mystery mm -hmm. because what is hidden in the preacher has eternal value, mm -hmm. but the vessel outside is of a mortal nature. Mm -hmm. So what God wants to do is to make this body appearing to be the most useless so that those who access what is hidden inside him will receive it with the hand of faith. Mm -hmm. not with a natural man's understanding. Mm -hmm. So you see, Ephesians 2, 8 says, by grace are we saved through faith. Mm -hmm. The combination of these two does not mean that they are the same thing. Mm -hmm. Grace is what God gives to us mm -hmm. and that is, is what we needed to become sons of God. Mm -hmm. Faith is just an access point. Mm -hmm. Faith is a hand mm -hmm. by which we receive mm -hmm. from God. Mm -hmm. Grace is that which God has given. Mm -hmm. To sim simplify this, faith is a vehicle that delivers mm -hmm. the finished works of the cross. Mm -hmm. yes. Because grace, it means the finished works of the cross of Christ. Mm -hmm. But it's hidden in a mystery. Mm -hmm. The scriptures must be opened. Yes. The scriptures must be studied. The scriptures must be read. Yes. The scriptures must be interpreted. Mm -hmm. The scriptures must be revealed. Mm -hmm. This uh, whole exercise is done by the Holy Spirit, yes. which you will never meet in the streets outside the body. Mm -hmm. yes. He's in a certain body. What does God do? He puts this ministry inside a body. Yes. And he brings you a body. And when he wants... He brings some afflictions on that body so that you find a reason to say, I don't listen to Moses because he doesn't speak properly. Why couldn't God find a fluent speaker? Mm -hmm. So God presents Moses with his stammering. Mm -hmm. What is he doing? Hiding treasure in an earthen vessel. Yes. It's a rescue operation. Yes. Every time it comes, it is a poor man's ministry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at Jephthah. He is the savior, mm -hmm. but he's also a bastard. Yes. It's a poor man's ministry. Mm -hmm. And this is what Paul has become. Mm -hmm. A very powerful apostle. Yes. But when you meet with him, you continue to feel pity for him. Yes. He's always wiping his eyes mm -hmm. because of an infirmity. Yes. And he tells you that it's God mm -hmm. who brought this infirmity mm -hmm. upon me. Mm -hmm. Are you cursed, Paul? Paul says, no, I'm not cursed. It's just like uh, a control mechanism. Mm -hmm. God does not want me to be arrogant yes. and proud. Yes. Be generous to the poor man. Mm -hmm. For God will be in your debt. Mm -hmm. He will reward you yes. with eternal life. Mm -hmm. That's what Proverbs 19 verse 17 yes. says. Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 1 says exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's actually amazing. Let, yes. Let brother love continue. Yes. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. Yes. For thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Ah. What does that mean now? <laughs> Remember. When you look at <laughs> them, the they are angels. Mm. But they are inside angels. Mm. Are not 
was not Paul talking about ministers of God. Yes. The way the angels in verse number two mm -hmm. is warning people, mm -hmm. be gracious mm -hmm. to the preacher. Mm -hmm. yes. In the Bible, there are people who spoke with, 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 with contempt towards angels. Mm -hmm. They did not know that. One of them was Joshua. Mm -hmm. He saw an angel mm -hmm. and he thought it was a man. Mm -hmm. And he asked the angel in chapter 5, mm -hmm. he said, are you for us or oh, you are against yes, us? Yes. Mm -hmm. The angel almost said to Joshua, Dr. is to go now to no. <laughs> the angel said, I am not against, against you, you, neither am I for you. Yes, I fight I the, the armies, armies of the wars of the God of heaven. Yes, yeah. yes. One day, Manoah asked an angel, mm. What is your name? <laughs> Maybe when you come back, we might give you some present. The yes. angel said, What kind of nonsense is this? How can you ask the name of an angel? Yeah. Angels' names are secrets of mm. God. Mm. You don't need to know the name of the angel yes. that is speaking to you. Mm -hmm. They entertained angels unawares. Mm -hmm. The mystery of Hebrews 13:2 mm -hmm. is simply that. When God has hidden a treasure mm -hmm. in a man or mm -hmm. in a woman, yes. the work of that man is an angelic assignment. Amen. Amen. You have met more than an angel mm -hmm. because what the preacher has, angels are not qualified to preach that. Mm -hmm. We have spoken about it, that angels are not allowed to preach. Yes. This is the message. This is the message. Amen. When others called him the son of a carpenter, mm -hmm. an ordinary man from Nazareth, mm -hmm. apostles called him Lord. Lord. Apostles yes. said, Master, mm -hmm. Master, teacher, rabbi, mm -hmm. they honored him. Mm -hmm. Others saw an ordinary poor man. Yes. And others saw a servant of God sent to rescue mm -hmm. the little city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to have God in your debt or you are going to become a debtor to God, God. yourself? Mm -hmm. That's a, a, exactly the ultimate position. Mm -hmm. When Christ appears, either God is going to say, I have, I have a promise to fulfill to this person. Yes. I'm a debtor. I am going to reward you. You have been gracious to my son, Jesus Christ. You have been gracious to the assignment of my son, Jesus Christ. Mm. Oh, when he comes, he is going to call you a debtor yourself to mm. God. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 How come? Well, I was thirsty. You couldn't <laughs> give me a drink. Now, if a man can't afford to provide water to himself, mm -hmm. is he not poor? He is. I was hungry. You mm -hmm. never gave me water. Mm -hmm. If a man can't even buy some buns for himself, mm -hmm. is he not poor? He is. He is. Matthew chapter 25 mm -hmm. is elaborating the poor man's doctrine. Yes. It's Proverbs 19, 17. Mm -hmm. It's Ecclesiastes chapter and 9, 13 to 16. Yes. That's the doctrine. Mm -hmm. It's 2 Corinthians 8, 9. Amen. That's the principle. It's Isaiah 53. Mm. The doctrine of the poor man. Yes. He is the poor man. So when we meet again, we are going to explore the elements mm -hmm. of graciousness. Mm -hmm. We have explored the poor man. Mm -hmm. Probably on Wednesday we shall continue with this teaching. Yes. Yeah. How can you be gracious mm -hmm. to the poor man? Mm -hmm. Now that we know that the ministry is continuing, the Lord is no longer in his own body. Mm. He is now in the body of his servants, the yes. preachers. Yes. About which he said in, verse, in, 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 in Matthew 25, they are his little ones. Mm -hmm. And we, we saw Paul calling himself mm -hmm. the little one of the Lord. Mm -hmm. When he said, I am the least of the apostles mm -hmm. as one born out of due time. Mm -hmm. We are going to answer that question. How can I be gracious to the poor man? Yes. For God is going to see that as a debt to himself. Mm. He will repay you. Mm. How shall God repay you yes. eternal life? 
Remember, the poor man's assignment is a rescue assignment. Mm -hmm. It's to redeem people from the corrupt world yes. to eternal life. Yes. And eternal life is not going to manifest when we die. Mm -hmm. Elements of eternal life must manifest now. now. We must begin to enjoy them. Yes. This is why Jesus could do that which we can't do today. Mm -hmm. Because the elements of his eternal aspect of life manifested while he was still here on earth. The Basilai gesture mm. is the poor man's doctrine. Yes. I hope you have enjoyed the message, Pastor. Yes. Have you enjoyed the message? Uh, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Not in the issue. <laughs> it was a great message, am I? And you would never think of... Um, Proverbs 19, 17, being expounded to touch all those scriptures, Isaiah 53, 2 Corinthians 8, <laughs> the, the, all the scriptures that were pointing to the poor man, Matthew 25, yes. being expounded from one scripture, one verse, Proverbs 17, <laughs> verse 19. I really enjoyed it, am I? to know who the poor man is. Because when it was written in the KJV, it didn't refer to a single person like what we learned in the beginning to say. Was it a poor community? Was it... A poor was, village. Yes. Was it a poor village? Who was the poor? Well, <laughs> and then we, we saw to it that it was a poor man. A poor One. man, according to the NASB, yes. Yes. as well as the ESV, yes. it's the poor man. It's the poor man. Yes. Murume murombo. Aninga ita uji. Aninga ita moe munyoro. Munyoro kumurume murombo. Kumurume murombo. Murume oche iwana. Wakwere tesa mngare. Iye mngare ucha mbadara. Shakaringa na mabasaka akanaka. Hey, muniye anonzi na mwari. Rufana obadera chikwere. Dine chikwere. Eh. Pane murombo wangu wakaitirwa uyu, wakaitirwa tsitsi. Eh. Iwo vwata ndina mariere. Obot. Dine murombo ayirewa. Dine murombo ayirewa. Ngoma ndipewa mariere. Mwara cha kubadera chikwere tichocho. Yato fraudi. Ama injino shamisa. Ndo sakata tukwa ati magwara ase kungoti. Unungo bata uto tanga kutaura. It was a journey to establish yes. the life of Christ yes. and all facets of that life. Yes. What what it did he not have? Hake, eh. What kind of poverty? Yes. And we saw him offering the eh. bread of life. Eh. And we were asking, can a man yes. who offers the bread of life <laughs> be regarded as poor? <laughs> Ano famba msoro pembo. Famba pa msoro pembo. Agoto de zawamu. Uya mfambeo. Pane sibara di meru. Agomu zawakafa. Yes. Ozo nzi murombo. Murombo pa kudi. Murombo pa kudi. And akumbo de ruamai. We thank God, Pastor. Yes. And we hope believers will listen. It's a lengthy message. Oh, yes. But yes. it was necessary. Mm -hmm. It's like a Bible study. Yes. We had to peruse all the relevant <laughs> oh, scriptures. Yes. yes. And we left some. Yes. But what we covered yes. was enough mm -hmm. to explore the poverty yes. of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Elder. Yes, Amai. We really thank God for such grace. Indeed, it was a great teaching. Yes. To really understand that uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, from verse 13 to 16, was talking about who was the poor man. Uh, because uh, people will think that they can just uh, take themselves, be in the scripture, because it was easier for people to use Second Corinthians 8 9 mm. and to say, mm. Ano, mm. But they did not understand now, and were happy that. It came out in the open today uh, what it meant for Christ to be poor. What is it that he had lost? It was opened the scriptures to us. And we saw that he was not poor uh, in material things. Uh, we saw in Matthew chapter 2, the wise men came. <laughs> <laughs> they had gold, frankincense, mura, mm -hmm. for, and he was born a king. Yes. Yes. And so we can't say that. Imagine uh, a man who has worshipped us the day he was born. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and that man regarded as poor. poor. No, it cannot. 
but also why, why, what uh, was profound in this teaching is he was made poor by God yes. so mm -hmm. that he can deliver this city, this mm -hmm. little city. And in this city now there were few men and these few men were under the bondage of uh, the great king. The great mm -hmm. king. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it was an operation yes. of how the Lord wanted to hide mm -hmm. Christ, to hide the wisdom yes. in the poor yes. men. And we can see now indeed the city was delivered. And today, Tineet Chifara, we thank God for the, uh, we were called unto the gospel, we were delivered. But uh, today, it was so profound to see how this delivery came about. Yeah, and it was, it was, a, it was a, a, a complicated operation. Yes. And it's continuing. It's continuing now. People think that the poverty of Christ ended with his ascension. No. But we have seen that it's continuing. It's continuing now. now. Yes. To the extent that Christ is still receiving wounds mm. yes. through the preacher. Yes. Yes. Paul said, I carry the wounds of Christ, Christ. Yes. because of the church. Yes. For your sake. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. And how convenient it is sometimes that when a, a Bible preacher, mm. a preacher in the scripture says it, People say amen. amen mm -hmm. But when a preacher who is in your midst mm -hmm. says it, mm -hmm. people sound alarmed. Mm -hmm. How can you say that? Mm -hmm. But it's there in the scriptures. Yes, it's there, it's yes. clear. Yes. What's this? Yeah. Because and if a pre preacher does not carry these afflictions, he mm. is not of Christ. Yes. Because the doctrine of the poor man mm. yes. is that which proves who is and who is not a true preacher yes. of yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Imagine that except one apostle, mm -hmm. John, mm -hmm. all the apostles of Christ mm -hmm. were martyred for the gospel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. By the rulers of this world. <laughs> But in our days, mm. we see the so-called apostles mm. yes. being invited to prayer galas at the state house <laughs> by murderers yes, yes. And, 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 and fraudsters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People have gotten rich by stealing money okay. yes. and in the process killing millions of people mm. because of poor social services. Yes. Mm. The people are dying right now in hospitals. Mm. They are dying because those hospitals are not managed well. Yes. They don't have manpower. Mm. They don't have equipment. Yes. They don't have medical supplies. Yes. The money that is supposed to buy those supplies, mm -hmm. we see that money buying Range Rovers, yes. Rolls Royce vehicles, yes. Lamborghinis. Yes. Yes. And the people who are killing people mm -hmm. by stealing such useful money mm. from the social services, yes. they are the ones that are dining with our apostles. Yes. Yes. The people who killed John mm. yes. the Baptist yes. are the people who are actually uh, dining with the, with the pastors of today. Yet the true apostle said he rejoices in those infirmities. In afflictions. Yes. Afflictions. In afflictions, yes. yes. And those necessities lacking in his life. He said, I prayed to the Lord. Yes. <laughs> said, I prayed to the Lord. Yes. <laughs> yes. Imagine Pastor Chris said, when you believe in Christ, mm -hmm. you will never get sick. Hey. And you have an apostle in the scriptures mm -hmm. who said, I am sick, sick. because of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes. because of Jesus, Jesus that I am, I am sick. sick. Mm. Jesus caused my sickness. sickness. That's Paul for you. Yes. Another charlatan says, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> promised me I will never get sick. Hey, hey. That is yeah. not true now. It's not ah, true. It's not true. Let's wait and see. Who shall we believe? We want to see if Chris <laughs> is going to fly to heaven. Yes. <laughs> we will be here yes. if God grants us the, the grace. grace. Yes. So yeah. it's amazing, believers. Let's continue to listen to this sermon. We are going to do a part two mm -hmm. where we shall look at what are the things we can do. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says God will repay him yes. who has done that good thing. Mm. Yes. What good thing can you do mm. for God to repay you? Mm. How gracious can you be yes. towards the poor Go man? On. We shall look into that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have come to the end of the sermon. I just want to remind you of the announcement. We are going to host mm -hmm. uh, a revelation gathering 
we are going to do it, uh, we are going to be in South Africa, all of us, it's a get-together which we have organized for everyone to participate. Those who are in Africa, definitely you have no excuse. Mm. Are you in Ghana? Are you in Nigeria? Are you in Zimbabwe? Are you in Mozambique, in Zambia, in Malawi, in Botswana, in Namibia? Are you in DRC? Are you in Egypt? You are in Africa. You are at home. Mm -hmm. Let's go to South Africa yes. to meet. It's our first uh, meeting yes, since the COVID said. happened mm -hmm. in South Africa as the whole church. Of course, we met during the assignment day, the mm -hmm. anniversary celebrations. Mm -hmm. And we also did a few outreach programs in South Africa mm -hmm. late last year. But this time around, it's a gathering for all believers. Yes. We are going to begin our gathering from the 3rd of May, yes. 2024, up to the 5th. It will be a Sunday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Apply for some leave days. Register with your regional coordinators. Mm -hmm. This is a very important point. Yes. Register with your regional coordinators. Register. We do not want a haphazard arrangement. Yes. Number one, we want to have a smooth flowing program. Mm -hmm. Number two, we want you also to be safe and we want things to be organized in a manner that is convenient, especially to you. Yes. When you are visiting a new country or you are visiting a new place, you need people to host you yes. who are familiar with that place. We have made very, very robust arrangements. There are enough committees to take care of all administrative issues to make sure the event is a success, to make sure the event goes without any challenges. We want to emphasize, let us register our regional coordinators, our mobilization teams are going to inform us what are the requirements for you to have accommodation prepared for you so that when you come, you don't organize organ, uh, accommodation for yourself. There will be accommodation ready for you. We do have an accommodation committee. We are going to be in the Kauteng province. We will announce the exact venue very soon. But... We have already told you where we are going to be. If you remember, we are in the month of March. We have we started announcing this at the beginning of the month, mm -hmm. which means these announcements have given you two months to prepare. Yes. The whole of March plus the whole of April. Mm -hmm. There is no way you can fail to visit. Mm -hmm. It's a once-off arrangement we are probably not going to have another revelation gathering where we are going to meet like this mm -hmm. in this year. Most of our programs, we are doing them virtually. Mm -hmm. But this one, we are gathering. Mm -hmm. We shall all be in one place. So make sure you prepare. Don't be scared. It's going to be safe. We are going to install a lot of uh, security measures to make sure that we are safe and those who are attending the program are not going to have any challenges. There is enough accommodation for everyone, and the wall we are using is big enough to accommodate all of you that are coming. South Africa, this is your program wherever you are. Mm -hmm. If you are in South Africa, you are coming. It's, 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 it's not debatable. Yes. We can't wait to see all of you. Mm -hmm. Polo Kwane, we hope we see you there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rustenburg, we hope you come. Mm -hmm. Pumalanga, we hope you come. Mm -hmm. Cape Town, Deben, mm -hmm. uh, Pretoria, Johannesburg, yes. um, and all other uh, assemblies that we have. Yes, East we London. hope you are going to come. East mm -hmm. London, yes. we are also looking forward to be with you. Mm -hmm. And Zimbabwe as well. Oh, yes. And yes. remember, we also considered that South Africa is the closest, one of the closest we can host this program. Mm -hmm. yes. we, we did that to cater for our Zimbabwean Zimbabwe. believers. Mm -hmm. yes. We have not met with you for a long time. Yes. I have not met you in a long time. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see yes. our Zimbabwean believers coming yes. to yes. meet with us, to enjoy mm -hmm. this, the provisions of God together. Mm -hmm. 
The Lord has never called us to gather where we don't go home mm -hmm. with something to contend with yes. as far as the revealed word is concerned. Mm -hmm. There's abundance of grace mm -hmm. in revelations and the Lord will continue to reveal himself to us. Mm -hmm. So this is the announcement I wished to share with you. By mid-April, all people that are registering should have registered yes. and those who are going to remit their accommodation contributions would have been directed to do so by our organizers. Mm. We won't need to explain those details here. Our administration is also very important. We do not want to allow all strangers to know every little detail yes. about our in-house activities. Mm -hmm. So we are going to learn final details concerning this trip from our regional coordinators, but I hope we are going to meet with all of you. We are going to organize transport to carry our people, all of them at once, from Zimbabwe to South Africa. We are going to organize buses, and we are capable. We are capable believers. We are not lame. We are not lazy. Mm -hmm. We are hard workers. We have been taught that God wants us to work and to eat from our own sweat. So it's not impossible to put our money together yeah. and use a bus mm. or use an aircraft mm. to go to, 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 to South Africa and do the program. So this is the issue. We thank God for you believers. Let's meet on Wednesday for our midweek service. It's bye for now.
Just.